Well, howdy. Getting ready to jump into some Diablo 3 with Bane Falcon. Haven't seen Bane in a while. Gotta miss gaming with the dude. New season started, so we're gonna do the thing. We're already in game. So, uh, buckle up, Buttercup. It's gonna be a fun ride. I'm already in a Discord called Deafened. I don't know what kind of chaos is going on. Uh, we're playing soft course, so I don't have to worry about too much, so. It's not even like. Like. Sorry, how much he eats on a, uh, like, regular basis. It's just like the moments where he feels like he has something to prove. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. Perfect timing. I just left Act 3, but I don't think the uh, I, I, the, the, the cube wasn't there anyways. He wasn't there? Well, I think it might have still been within this run. We can change game after this run. Yeah. Did I like the look on the faces of like the family that runs the place when they see four fat asses coming on? Right. <laughs> and we're all smiling and they're all like, great, well, there goes our bonus. <laughs> There's our profit. No. They no, literally it's just for like... food content that we would have sent back to our family. <laughs> and I'm just like... <laughs> like, yeah, no, that's sad. Uh, can you bring out another pan of rangoons? We're done with this one. Now you guys all did your uh your Challenge. portal. Yeah. Okay. You ready for me to close or you still killing? Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, did yeah, you go something or was that just all my thorns damage from the uh, horse? Oh no, I showed up. <laughs> I used earthquake. Oh no, I did that. We we pressed a button or two. Yeah. Ah. We pressed some buttons and then that happened. The Clicky button? click this, mm -hmm. please click that, things die. Uh so I want to give a shout out to uh, Akira Worldbreaker. I apologize. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the follows too well last night. Uh, Darren the Wizard, who I gamed with last night on Risk of Rain. Uh, the dude's incredible. I enjoyed it. Uh, Ty Time was absolute fun. Uh, he was also one of the people we streamed with. And I uh, thank you for that follow. Grump Nuggets, thank you for the follow. And Neon Pop T. Like, like when the, when the, like it first launches. Like, right. they're like, Shh, we just have to survive four months so that only the like, people who don't eat a lot come. <laughs> as long as we can make it through March. Well, no, like, they have, a, they, have, they have a schedule system, right? They're just like, okay, all we need to do is identify the regulars, right? Like, yeah. you, like it's a three-tier system. So if two people point out the same person as a potential regular, you know, we pay attention to what they eat so we know what not to make right. <laughs> oh, so that's why they do just like the beef with broccoli, but they make it um, uh, broccoli with broccoli. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Say, they, they make it fucking uh, cowboy bebop style. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Perfect. Where's the beef? And the thing I want this pad. We know their trick. So we just march into the back kitchen, and then I spear them like Goldberg. <laughs> and then, then spit on them and some motherfucking sucks. callbacks tonight are absolutely slicing, and I am here for it. All right, uh, let's go to Act One because fuck any other act. I'm going to get this kid as cute. Yeah, but and I'm also porting to I'm porting to Act One first, so I don't keep accidentally ending up there because fuck being. And not Act One. What was the other beer I grabbed? I know I grabbed one of my cider because I was talking with one of my other coworkers about uh, different ciders. He kind of got me in the mood for one. I got something else that was decent. Oh, I got the Stone Tres Leche uh, Zoka Vesa. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to cracking that. Actually, I'm cracking that. Uh, I think I liked uh, Bee Nectar's Dwarf Revenge because it was a mead cider uh, blend. I saw that and I just didn't look at it close enough to oh, it's... keep going, but like... I also wasn't trying to like. Ah, one shot. Hard yet. 
like, you know, first first page first payday at new job, and I'm like, okay, yes, that's good. Uh, you just paid your rent with this check as well, so uh, don't blow it all in one night, okay? Yeah, and this stuff is not cheap. Well, I mean, it's cheap enough here. You know, it's probably going to be between eight to ten dollars for any of these, for like a stone giant bottle. But also, you know, if I'm getting five of them, it's a little different. Keep talking about beer, make me thirsty. I'll be back. I wish I could drink stuff. Their zombie killer apple cider is pretty dope too. I kind of like how. Oh, motherfucker! Are you okay. Bandit shrine on me. Uh, is there uh, too many other enemies nearby? No, it's the fact that it's a bandit shrine. I'm level thirty fucking five. True, but the shrine is level to your difficulty. Right, but like we can't just leave this here. It's no. the RNG of it happening. That's sad. Yeah, like. Even if we blitz to 70 and we come back here, it's still going to be a level 35 bandit shrine. True. Where, why did you leave him? Teleport to me, Bojack Horseman. <laughs> God. Yep, you're, you're officially Jojack Horseman now. Actually, I think it might, when he said that he was getting thirsty, that might have been his cue of, uh, I am walking away to, to get a drink. Imperial <laughs> Stout, inspired by Mexican hot chocolate and tres leches. All so right. Fruit, chocolate, coffee, pasilla peppers, vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, rice, and oats. I gotta make you some of my cider. Is it a uh, hot Dickens? No. You don't you don't have hot dick and cider? Not for many years. More, more. And then you're like, yeah. you know how that worked the last time. <laughs> the potential problem here. Hmm. So hear me out, right? So many people my age in Chicago are going into the whole brewing boom, right? All right. They're like, oh, we want to be brewers or own our own business. And it's like a lot of people want to do it, right? Just just step away from, from the shrine while you guys are doing that. Yeah. The problem is, right, so if all of these people start brewing, at first it seems like a good thing. Everyone oh, no, is making more. Garbage. Yeah. doesn't seem like a good thing. more. And there's different flavors and stuff. But then I was like, but then there's so much competition that the people that are actually good at what they fucking do don't make it. And that makes me no. sad. Oh, yeah, that happened to me in IT. It is not that big of an issue here, I swear to you. Um, the good brewers will continue to rise and rise and rise. The mediocre and bad ones will remain. The bad ones will get chased out. The mediocre ones will remain because you need a spot to go to when the big brewers are too packed. Well, there's there's another problem with that. Because the good ones usually source better ingredients, so the price is up. So you wind up getting a certain clientele, which uh, is not necessarily always ideal. I'm sorry, run that by me again? All right, so say you're doing uh, ciders, right? Yeah. So you're going to be, if, if you want, you can just go buy apple juice, be mediocre, or you can, you know, do a raw cider. And get champagne yeast sweetened out. Orchard. Yeah. So the cost will go up. Welcome back. Port to us as a goblin shop. So you wind up making, you know, a bottle of, like, a bottle of cider, and it's $11 versus your competitor's $4 bottle. And it's like, well, that's a problem. Is it a problem, though? Yes, because then you have to deal with uh, being priced out of your own thing. See, I don't really... All right. It might be specifically because we're having this conversation about breweries that I can speak to this with confidence. You can have an $8 stout. You can have a fucking $6 stout. People are still going to turn and buy shit from the brewery. They will. But you're going to have less success... 
Oh no, no, it is one of the biggest fucking names in the area. Like it, that's also regional. Sorry, I'm squishy and being chased around. Yeah, I'm trying to just kill as many of these as I can before they run. Yeah, I was trying to aid in that. But no dice. Uh, but yeah, so specifically when it comes to craft gear, you're not going to run into a very big issue of somebody with a really, really solid product gets chased out of town or run out of the business because they can't afford a clientele. Well, no, it's not that they can't afford the clientele. It's that they, if they survive, their clientele becomes a non-desirable clientele. I, I still beg to differ. Well, I don't beg at all because I ain't no bitch. <laughs> sorry. I, sorry. No, but like, uh, we have, you know, all the distilleries and breweries that were over here. Most of the good ones are gone. Actually, most of those showed up after. Well, a lot of the breweries are that were good are gone. The ones that are churning out just cheap IPAs are the ones that are still standing. We also can't use that as a very... Uh, it's very hard to use that model at this point in time because this past year and a half killed a lot of really good small breweries. No, no, no. This was before that. Oh, well. And we have... and going to go somewhere. A lot of our breweries have delivery now yeah florida allows that like you can you can actually like walk out the store with it in a, a sippy cup more or less right uh california's got that for a lot of stuff too the issue is that most of the deliveries unless it's their own internal service uh phantom uh uh joe jack phantom had delivery through uh grubhub postmates uber eats for a while and yeah. then they actually looked at how much they were getting ripped off and how much uh, basically how much of the upcharge these services were doing which cut in on both the words um, profits it increased the cost of the item for the user it also cut in on the profit margins of uh, of phantom themselves so like they charged phantom and they charged the users both for the product I'm so, gonna try Huh? I'm at the shrine. Oh, I thought he said bandit shrine. I'm like, motherfucker, another one? No, I'm at the cube. Yeah. I will be right there. Uh, who is that that was there? And then said that, no, you know what? We're, we're both losing money or losing too much profit on these, as well as you guys are having to pay even more insane rates for these. So, no, we're stopping delivery. If you guys want our shit, come in a person. All right, who's on it? Uh, me and Jacob. All of us. All of us. But good brewer, good brewer. will continue to. Good breweries will hopefully continue to survive, but it isn't always the case. Um, and. Yeah, uh, any sort of time, I'm going to Act 1 with this fuck Act 4. I'm with you on that one. Yeah. Um, any other... Anytime there's a big boom of a bunch of them showing up in the area at once, which there normally is, uh, it's normally not, you know, a slow trickle of just really good quality and then another really good quality. You're going to get a lot of chat you're going to get a lot of breweries which are just not that good uh we've got one that took over one of our favorite spots that uh you know it, it was paparazzi it was this amazing place and we were tied in with the family and you know the, the owner's daughter was dating one of our closest friends and shit like that and it, it was just some really cool shit and we were all in there like it, it easily once a month if not far more frequently than that um, I mean, Matt works there. Yeah. And like when, when, when the rest of us were sitting there trying to be like, well, where do you guys want to go? You want to just grab a quick beer? Well, we can go to Marty's. Well, we can go to Hopper Rocks. And we can probably go in there and not have to pay for it. All right, cool. But it was good stuff. And now they've got a place called Red Beer. Or no, not Red Beer. Red something. Red. No, Broken Timber. 
which they're not bad. They're just not good enough to talk about. Like, legitimately, their beer is just mediocre. That kind of makes me sad. But we have a lot of mediocre breweries in the area. We also have places that put out things like this bottle of bottle logic, which is $26. So yeah, I can go to a brewery and I can get them to pour me a crowler, a 36 ounce or 32 ounce can of beer. Which will run me. See it's an eight percent stout. Depending on where I go, probably sixteen dollars, maybe more. Or I can get something that's half the size, twice the ABV, a bunch of flavor adjuncts, and whatever else. Or even fucking more. But, again, the, the market will regulate. Yeah. If you've got a bunch of new breweries no. pop up. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You just, like, hitting that little, uh, what's it called? Bait. Oops. He gave me a huge upgrade. Ooh. What is that pool? Uh, it, it, his name is just bleeding. All right, so uh, dig this. Bean actor zombie killer, uh, out of Michigan, five point five ABV. Uh, right. zesty apple cider made with sweet thistle honey, Michigan tart cherry juice. Or Dwarf Invasion. All right, I'm sold. Um, I don't even need to know. Wildflower name. Honey, Balaton Cherry Juice, and uh, Styrian Golding Hops. And Worcestershire Sauce. Sorry, Six point one ABV. But then you do mine. The brown sugar spiced cider that comes in at uh, between 11 and 14. Execution of pace. <laughs> oh, yeah, Red's like, why is he still talking? Crack it. You had him at Dwarf Invasion. <laughs> it's legitimately a. Do you want this one or that one? Well, that one says dwarves on the bottle, so. That why one? are we talking and not drinking? <laughs> Like the, the, I think the only thing that would universally get our group to, to just immediately pop open a bottle faster would be, uh, so this is the Men of Constant Sorrow Rye. <laughs> For what it's worth, I can't go in the door. Wait, what? For the rift? Yeah. We just hit a shield pylon. Well, I was forced outside. Ooh. That sucks. You should, you should uh, port to me. We've got a nice little corner for you. And of course, you're. There we go. I'm like, yeah, let me toss you a piece of gear. Oh, wait, no. No, that sucks. It's like right after you, or you said that right after we hit the shield pylon. And I'm like, yeah, I think. Teamwork is. Oh. So, Bane. Yo. Uh, how do you feel about kill switch engage? Uh, I think I'm familiar with their. Story. Howard Jones era. Oh, Howard Jones era is like fast and slow. So what do they do? he teamed up with. Uh, Are they the ones Jer that with my name on it? No. No, that's non point. Oh. Who's still switching gauge? They did your um, uh, Sound of Silence cover that you like. Disturbed. Oh, is that disturbed? Oh, my bad. So. That I have no idea what the fuck you just did. Send fuck. port to me. <laughs> Still you never speak. Salvation 
They're the songbirds of the new metal generation. No, they're not new metal, but. Was that very early metal. discussion about uh, new metal uh, at work today? Or yep, yesterday? Very early metalcore. And we're like, no, no, not N E W. N U. New metal. Um. Yeah, I mean, I still love new metal. Oh, dude, I miss same. New metal. If anything, I'm enjoying it even more now. That yeah, did you hear the new <laughs> song with the lead singer Disturbed and that one chick that plays guitar? Yeah. No. No? All right. It's on the radio, I think. I so, don't... Have, yes, I listen to it every time I drive. So I'm going to give some uh, music news. <laughs> All right, so just give me a Kill Switch Engage song that I might know so I can determine whether or not... I, I know that I know the name. I sang it for you. I didn't understand English with what you were singing. End of heartache. My curse. They did a cover of Holy Diver. Oh, okay. Holy oh, Diver. all right. Oh, yeah, that's really Oh, wait, you guys got the... Uh... So... Uh, yeah, go ahead. Their old vocalist, Howard, the jacked, huge black dude, oh. uh, he teamed up with Jared Dines. YouTube guitarist put out an album under the band Sion S I O N. Hmm. Um, it's an independent independent album, and it seems like it's DMCA friendly. Ooh. Also, we've kind of been just saying it's been long enough that that we're, we're back to the fuck with DMCA. Strike me, daddy. Um. Strike me, daddy. And since you said you like new metal, the band Dead D E D is solid. But I've heard a lot of shit about them recently, yeah. Um, however, El Nino put out a new album. At Planet Earth, new album. My strength has increased. Why are we back in Act Four? Okay, no, fuck this. Who didn't go to Act One? I'm in Act One. My uh, cousin Elise went to an Atreyu concert last weekend, and I just thought that was so cool. <laughs> like, God, I, I love, they put on a solid show. That are vampire albums, so like Atreyu or like original My Chemical Romance, but whatever. Yeah. Vampire albums were the shit. I went a legit 10 to 15 years without ever hearing the name Atreyu, and I've heard it three times in the last couple weeks. Treyu was great for what they were. For what they are, I guess. Yeah, they yeah, are. They are still, still doing their shit. Good for them. <laughs> Your flags should definitely have unicorns on them, by the way. Uh, just throwing it out there. Uh, they didn't like my beer. Or they, they liked it much and got drunk and wandered <clears> off. <throat> Shield... Uh, legendary ability take a which slot for a key weapon weapons and off hands are the main number one slot yeah I'm special yo I gotta kill Diablo kill Israel reach level 50 yeah I'm gonna get yeah I'm gonna get Your face is another like, one clock. That pisses me off. I was like, new metal bands. Because there's a band I'm thinking of, and I can't remember the name. But they sound a lot like Korn. And they just came out. Hmm. And I was like, all right, new metal bands. Google's top response. And I didn't type NU. I typed in NEW. And I was like, Slipknot, Corn, Black Sabbath. Like, no, that is not what? new. What? Knocked Loose is pretty solid. There hasn't been good metal bands. <laughs> oh, disagree. Strong disagree. As a person who is. Like, that is their identity? 
I, I grew up with uh, all the guys in, uh, well, they're called Rosecrans at the time here, but they're called, uh, oh, fuck, I, I just brain farted on it. Oceano and, uh, Born of the Sires. And fucking, I was heavy into the Chicago, like, underground scene for that. So, like, I, I'm just kind of fucking with you in that respect. Like, Rings of Saturn, Born of Osiris? Oh. I mean, Cameron is Born of Osiris, but... Like, Cameron, when they did the, their original, like, signed record... It was just him and Ronnie who fucking went out to L.A. And then Cameron recorded every single part of the album, and then Ronnie screamed over it. <laughs> All right. He's a genius, but he just does so much drugs. I hear God All right, what flavor? I will be honest though, like Rings of Saturn and stuff, like I loved that shit for a long time, but I've kind of grown out of it, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, there's a lot of groovier stuff. It's just, like, it got to the point where, like, I missed the melody of Metalcore. Hmm. I actually do understand that. Yeah, it was like, it was like, like, I missed Metalcore. I was like, actually, if you just dumb this shit down. I, I started, I was like, I'd enjoy it more. Sometimes I'm, yeah. It's okay to just groove out now. Well, then you'd probably like Knocked Loose. I, don't, I just listened to like 2000 to 2013. And, and 90s grunge. He's like, I know where to find it. I just have to go back. I just, I just like, like, industrial music is fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, one of the ones that I've really gotten into is the, now I'm going to make this very, very specifically phrased, the Japanese non-J metal scene. Okay. Bands like Crystal Lake. Uh, yeah, Crystal Lake's Jesus. Again. There's just a point for me. I, I like, I'm not, I, it's obviously great music. It's just, I don't know, something like changed where I was like, I just didn't want it to be that hard anymore. Every now and then I'll turn on like JFAC and like Whitechapel and relive that. Uh, going for the first, the also, first, uh, battle. The first White Chapel concert I ever went to, five seconds into the show when they dropped, um, the kid next to me got sp uh, spin kicked in the face and broke his jaw. What? I believe it. What? Yeah, that's White Chapel for you. Who the fuck spin kicks? They're good dudes, which is ironic. We used to call them the Indiana kids, but there was a really big. Uh, Hardcore scene in Indiana that would come to okay, Chicago. Uh, uh, did you port? Uh, sent? No, I'm coming down now. But oh. they would come to Chicago and just try to beat the shit out of everyone. They were all oh, straight yeah. edge. Fucking up country DJs. Yeah, they were all like straight edge motherfuckers. That the, the straight edge scene is always like that. Like straight edge <laughs> hardcore. Yeah, yeah. We don't do this shit, so we're just gonna fuck everyone else up. And I'm like, this, this, get, get a fucking beer. Fuck you. The funny part about it, too, is like, they would be like, they would go after hardcore dancers, right? Which, I mean, I can understand you don't like hardcore dancing. But at the same time, then they would make fun of like regular moshing too, and it's like, dude, you get, you can't like choose. People something. are gonna be rocking on some way, and if you don't like the flaily shit, then you gotta take this shit. If you don't like this shit, 
then go ahead and let them do their fucking rainbow bright ribbon, ribbon dancer. If you <laughs> don't like either, then go to the fucking seated section. Yeah. Like if you if you're if you were literally just here to shit on anybody else or everybody else having fun, go to the bleachers. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to. We're not saying you can't sit with us, but you don't need to. Yeah, I agree with you, and that's coming from my like opinionated fucking ass. <laughs> I talk a lot. Yeah, that's why I stream. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it all boils down to let people enjoy things. Unless the only thing that you enjoy is shitting on everyone else's enjoyment. In which case, you don't get to enjoy that. Fuck you. All right, I gotta try moving. Uh, How I dare you? Well, there's a legendary here. <laughs> Back I tried moving. Go. <laughs> uh, so, so now you're getting it a uh, Squid Game edition. <laughs> Will you survive getting a legendary? Oh, I'll survive. That's the bigger concern. Is Yo Sin? I was actually like really upset when uh, Baby Metal broke up. When who did? Baby Metal. Kind of a weird one to like. I never gave them too much thought. I only bring it up because you brought, like... The Japanese non j Well, it's just it. They are very... They are... They're the epitome of J-Metal. Yeah. Like, they're the new J-Metal. They're such a well-known band. That's why I was saying it. I was just... Saying. Yeah. Like, it, the, the attention... They got attention from people who didn't even know about fucking metal or J-Pop. Well, and the reason is because it was shtick. Yeah. And the fact that it lasted as long as it did. Yeah. All right. In agreement. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to be back later. But ch channels. Yep. All good, man. Fine. Watch out for tigers. <laughs> Any other channel? Sit in your chair. Yeah, yeah, I like what Red I like what Red's saying, you know, all the fucking straight edge fuckers. Sit in your chair and listen to goddamn eight track grandpa. Korea. God, I always I fucking hated the straight edge kids. I'm like, you were literally more obnoxious than every fucking drug user I know. Fuck off. It's true. Like I'm a pretty annoying motherfucker. I don't even act that way. <laughs> you don't need to broadcast to everyone. Look at how nifty and unique I am from abstaining from something. <laughs> yeah, no, like you're, you're you're trying to make being an incel pop. Fuck off. No. <laughs> hey, uh, resuscitate me. Welcome in. <laughs> this pisses me off that I can't find this band because I know Heath would love them. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, you know, I think Red. Uh, hold on, I gotta. Yo, Heath, can you check your general in Discord? I'll check in a second here. I just posted something that has me laughing the fuck off on me. Yep, uh, Red, that is officially the fifth quote in my channel. The fifth one that I add to the quoted list. Because Red just dropped, light up, jerk off, and have a drink. It was meant to be her counter to the hardcore kids, or the, the straight edge kids. However, out of context, that is fucking amazing, and I want that to be something in the channel. Just, yeah. just I, I jerk off and have a drink. 
See, when your friends are talking about buying the new PS5 and you're putting water in your shampoo so it can last. Oh. On the bright side, I finally have all my paperwork work in for disability. Yeah, and now the waiting game. Now I have to wait for them to decline, and then I can get a disability. And then you can apply again! Yay! Yeah! Uh, well, congratulations! Starting a process that totally won't last the next six to 18 months. Also, Sin, if you're... God damn it. I just want to tell them my dream... Oh, my. Is I had to get off. gear on. Well, I was about to say, Sin, if you're not in yet, you should get in here before we pop the shield pylon. Uh, that's too late. It is too late. That's just, that's just not gonna work out. Red, that would be an amazing pillow. Also, Red, I would love for you to, like, not, not now, not anytime soon, but I would love if you could make me a thing at some point. Because the only thing that I have right now is, uh, what was it? The, the pin, the initial pin. Uh, cause Thrall ended up with... Hey, that's not uh, a fun time. Yeah, huh? <laughs> There's boss there. Or not boss, but elite pack. So. I'm coming. I'm an airplane. It will totally give me an excuse for us to hang out sometime. I think oh. I left Red. Red, can you be my friend? And we're also going to do a karaoke thing closer to my new place. Because the one of my favorite karaoke rooms is apparently like less than a mile away. Yeah, I live still far the fuck away. So Definitely, yeah, you're invited too, but... I can't come. But you don't love me enough to show up? Dude, I freak out going to the grocery store. Yeah, no, it is. <laughs> You're cool. You're cool. We, we my it. dream is to one day have you out here, to be honest. Man, I will fucking... Uh, I'll fucking do that. Hey, this is my real name. So I don't have a raffle running right now, but, uh... I mean, if we get if we get a couple other people interested, I'll totally run a raffle. Run, 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 run. I will want a waffle for you guys. Run, run, oh, wait, wait, the wiffle waffle. Run, 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 run. Hey, where's our friend? Send get oh, in. Friend, port to us. We've got a, we've got a shocker. Easy no. boys. Here he comes, here comes, he breaks it. He's a demon. He's a demon and gotta be chasing after someone. Got a way to tally, you can work on drawing in the email. Oh yeah. Oh, actually, you know what, Red? It would be absolutely fucking amazing if you could make one of the emotes that I have specifically for followers only for the channel. So like one that can only be used here. Um, and I give you free reign for whatever the fuck it is. And and just the moment that you say, yes, I made this for you, I will I will upload it. I will have it be a thing. And that way every single person who's in here and every person who follows can use it completely for free. And and that would be absolutely amazing balls. Cause who's where we were? We were we were in Desi's when we were talking about that, right? Desi Hart. Or was it Travis's? That's familiar. And yeah, so and especially because if it's one of the free emotes that everybody can use, I could be like, oh yep, so that 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 one right there that every single person in here is using. Uh, that's from Red. Here's her channel. Go to her and, and get stuff and do things and follow and share the love because she's amazing and this is the things she do. And give her chocolate. <laughs> what would you do to her the first time? Legendary. <laughs> As Red's now like, okay. What does he have? What does he? What is he missing? What can we do? All right, Vince, I need to step away for a moment. Uh, Issa has arrived to pick up her child, Hello. and then I'll be right back. Attached yep. to you, you right. step away hurts my feelings. He's he's gonna get um uh postpartum depression. No, <laughs> what do they call it with the pets? 
postpartum. Yeah, I'm like, that was not the right phrase. Separation anxiety. I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so excited to get the drawing going. Uh, it's not a draw. There's no o oh, oh, oh. You know what? what? You know what, Red? I kind of dig that. I kind of really dig that. If we if if we like take the face bacon, have the beard, have the have the bowler cap, and just go like the straight Walter White style, so like you don't even get eyes, you don't get the nose. It's just beard, bacon, bowler cap, Battlestar Galactica. I was like, what just happened? And then realized we got ported back. Uh, you know what? What do you? What do you? Well, yeah, actually, you might need, or you might be able to use this. Sorry, words are apparently not my thing anymore. I've just decided I'm not going to use them. Is <laughs> more damages. No, more damages is the, one of the best flavors. So I keep looking for the things to upgrade these, and I'm like, they're not here yet. What the fuck do you mean they can't be- oh, wait, is that a helm one? Oh, fuck you. I don't care what he's done, I still love Marilyn Manson. So I just haven't paid attention to what he's done. Me either, but it's probably bad. Yeah, I mean, he kind of, he's never really been stellar. And work designing some fabric and some dolls that can be uh, printed on fabric for people to buy a yard. Oh, that's cool. I, I just, that's I just really stay cool. in denial about people. He, huh? I just stay in denial about people. Oh, okay. Like, I still love uh, J.K. Rowling. I just, I just stay in denial. All right. You're just like, nope, no, nope, yep, no, nope, not, not, uh, you're like, not, not happening to me. Not, I see nothing. Nothing bad happened. Crystal, where are those from? Because those are amazing. Are those, are those the streamers? Or are those, like, the public thing? Like, apparently there's new Twitch, like, there were some, there were some Twitch emotes for, like, Halo, Halo Infinite, that I didn't get, because I didn't know that they were happening, and I'm kind of bummed, because I want some... I want I want Halo emotes. Ha holidays, get the one of the holidays. Hear me out. Okay. Okay. You get an emote of an emote. An emote of an emote? Like the emote says emo. Oh, that's meta. And then you can get another one that says meta. Or beta. No, that, that attracts the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> and you're all just going, oh, ballers are adorable. I wish I had a pet of my own that I could use for, for uh, stream production purposes. For the obsessed. Uh, I don't remember if it's on Instagram or if you can just find it by Google, but uh, Crystal Joe, look up Ripley. Ripley, the cosplay corgi. Yep, I have beer and beard and bacon. And Jacob. You're, you're not one of my emotes. Oh. That'd be cool, though. Like, that's... It's pretty intense if you're like, yo, I'm an emote on someone's channel. Yeah. In someone else's channel. That, that, that's that next level shit. 
Yes. Uh, so Ripley, the, the the corgi, my roommates, they were the ones that had uh, the corgi as the payload for Overwatch. She cosplayed as the uh, as as the 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 junk town. Sorry about that. Uh, payload. Wait for a minute. One sock. Wait a second. Look at this map. What the fuck? Yeah. It's not. It's not uncommon. Oh, just like my life. Yeah, I'm a not unusual <laughs> to be loved by <laughs> anyone. Wanted to buy one of the corgi watch shirts. Yeah. Bracers of Destruction. Got a black header track called Door. Not Dorable. See, like not like everybody's of the, or not everybody but like so many people are of the impression of like oh but but it's a corgi so like it's got to be iron it's got to look like that standard iron you know the brown head the brown with like little white accents but like there's so many other flavors of corgi out there too which are just as amazing mm -hmm. like raspberry like raspberry Actually, if I were to get, if I were to have a tricolor corgi like that, I would probably name it uh, Neapolitan, and I would just call it Neo for short. And then I'd tell people that it's snozberries taste like like not just like snozberries, and I'd get like really weird looks, and they'd wonder if they needed to take my dog away. One of the non main lines. <laughs> Just wanted to stick to Pembroke. Yeah. Parking lot with my Sears store. Mm -hmm. Damn, I'm sorry about that. I'm back. I do that is because I know that I could go in there, grab my shit, and be at the register within yep. two and a half minutes of walking in the door. Yeah, and that was that was going to be the caveat that I brought up for it is if I know exactly what I'm going mm -hmm. for and exactly where yep. it is, then I will go in. Yeah. But otherwise, nope. No, I'll yeah, I'll come where, back a different day. Sorry, the guys. People who are sitting there shopping for a half hour before me, <sighs> and I beat them to the fucking register because I'm just like this here, that there, uh, which cheese? Hmm, yep. Maybe this one. And then I'm like, all right, cool. Bread, beer, chicken, seasoning. All right, next. Uh, all right, we're good. Let's go. Yep. Like I I jumped into my Trader Joe's before when the main door was closed. Only the <laughs> exit was open. And I'm like, hey, I just need to grab my shit real quick. And they're like, they kind of look over to see if there's some little lady pushing her shopping cart around. And like, yeah, she's going to be probably another 10. Yeah, you, you got you, you go ahead, man. Go, you know, go, go. He's like, they're like, you know what you're doing? Go ahead. Uh, register three is probably going to be free by the time you're done. All right, Bane. I finally found that band. Okay. Then the music channel. Let's get Thelonious right. then if you want. Yeah, and then we can have Thelonious and Sid. Who, who bounced? Uh, give if me like, to. give me like ten minutes, and then I'll be able okay. to uh, to play. I mean, we we are literally going to keep doing this until Sunday. Sunday, 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 and Saturday. Yeah, well, I'm gonna be doing some of this on Saturday. I've got Stream Raiders PvP, and I'm gonna be running this. <laughs> Doing the, my diables in the background. Uh, oh, fuck it. God damn it. Hey, uh, Jake. Where, 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 did, where did Jake go? I know it's not strength, but pretty sure you can use that. Right, let me check this shit out. That's right. I gotta just switch that skill. Chaosium. Oh yeah, it's it's a lame name. It's a super sticky band. Hey, no, no, no. Like if they can if they can get a claim with a name that dumb, 
I'm fucking down. Like, that speaks for a quality in and of itself. I mean, it's hard to say if they get a claim. If they can get a level of commercial success. 140,000 likes and 5.4 million views. 5.4 million views on this video alone with a name that dumb. I'm fucking down. All right. And, and listen, <laughs> listen, look at all the top, co like, top compliments. Corn in 2021 sounds great. Corn is my favorite band of all time. It's nice to hear an awesome new band highly influenced by them. I'm sure, Corn is very proud. Uh, bring it, bring that early 2000 new metal sound. A lot of corn influence, but I'm loving it. If anyone could cover a corn song, it'd be them. I'm officially old when I'm listening to a band inspired by. Jesus fucking Christ, it's corn. You you found the song, like parts of it. No, no, it, it just finally they started to play about a minute into the video. Oh, holy shit. Maybe you are not <laughs> hey, I paid for the whole seat, but I'm only going to use the edge. Oh. Do you hear the guy sing, though? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's corn, like, for better or worse, it is undeniably corn. If that's your jam, if this is a new corn single, I would not argue against that at all. Well, did you hear the one from a few years ago that corn did uh, the black or whatever? Uh, I don't know. Black is the soul. Uh, oh, my God. It does not sound like corn from 2017. Like, like 20 years later that what does I'm still gonna listen to it and be like man corn sounds good no no but like if 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 i was corn and if my band sounded exactly the same 20 years later i did something wrong true so i just linked corn's uh 2017 song black is the soul i just want to listen to more of these guys <laughs> like I don't, I don't want, okay. you're like, hey, hey, you want, you want, like, this really, really, really awesome mac and cheese, like, like, the best mac and cheese that you've had since, like, middle school, like, absolutely fantastic fucking mac and cheese, great, uh, now to follow that up, I've got the mac and cheese at your old one, the same company, but, like, it actually doesn't taste like cheese at all. Which I that one for you next? Which, by the way, um, if I make it to two thousand follows, I have to make mac and cheese with Tang. Nice. Um, yeah. So I, I, for the memes, I started doing a thing where I was trying to get sponsored or partnered or whatever, some sort of deal with, uh, with Tang, the drink. All right. Because everyone was like, oh, use my uh, my code for G Fuel. And I was like, fuck G Fuel. Yeah, orange flavored mac and cheese, Dan. Can, 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 yes. can I just say, I, I have tried like five different flavors of G Fuel and none of them fucking taste good. Yeah, that's why I was like, give me Tang. Like, I know what Tang tastes like, Sunny Delight. Like, like yeah. cheap Sunny Delight. And I'm okay with that. Is, I heard let's tank is, and I'm let's like, be what? honest. Well, uh, if tank want, is good enough for power. NASA, it's good enough for me. Dude, I've always right? loved tank. I've got a, I've got a thing of tank in my in my uh, in my cupboard right now. Uh, G fuel is an energy drink powder. And Samidi, welcome in. Thank you. For and then there's. Follow, and I hope your day's going well. And there's like rogue energy and stuff like that. And so a lot of people are like trying to sling their own powdered gamer drink. And I I'm. Yeah. Yep. emailed uh mandalas international who owns uh tang and i was like hey guys i think we could position ourselves to be the next big e drink out there so come on let's do it 
Dude, with all the space race shit going on right now, too, you kidding me? Easy yeah. fucking fail. Here's that was a quick follow like 20 minutes ago. Hey, I'm not going to tell you when to click follow, but I'll appreciate it whenever you do. Uh, if you like drinking, shenanigans, bacon, beards, whatever the fuck else we do here, and uh, liberal use of profanity, welcome in. I hope you enjoy. And a profane use of liberalism at that, too. Don't get the fuck. I mean, what? <laughs> No, we're, we're a bunch of good people here to try to have a good time. Uh, <laughs> you be a good person. <laughs> well, okay. We're a bunch of mediocre individuals here who are varying levels of good and or person. I, I'm on the negative, negative side of that part, yeah. so. <laughs> Fine. We roughly resemble humanoid shapes and happen to function with communicable words. It is, not ready yet. Is, that, is, that, is that better? Does that more accurately describe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a die. I'm dead. <laughs> Sound like your kind of people? That's good. Like that. Literally, the only reason I stream is for that reason. Like, it gives me a chance to vent. It gives me a chance to just take a load off and, uh, and legitimately surround myself with the people that I want to. It, it's all it is. Like... Fuck, we got Sin here. He's he's streaming. You know what? Let me. I'm gonna get that multi link going. Give me a second. I'm trying to see if they if they ever got back to me. But yeah. So we've got Sin Schism, which I'll give him the shout out in a second, as well as Sir Lumberjake. And uh, these two are awesome, awesome friends of mine. And uh, they're the they're a couple of the other voices you hear. The other one is Talonius, who, and another dude I've known for fucking Hello. years and years. I'm an island boy. So. I'm an island boy. They never got back to me. I'm insulted. <gasps> Those bastards. I had, to, I had to have a talk with my uh, my kid today because he got in a little bit of trouble because they had a lockdown drill. And someone in our class talked, and I was like, yeah, you need to keep people quiet. Like, I don't care what you have to do. If it's a lockdown drill, you keep other people quiet. Like, yeah. why? I'm like, because that's actually called an active shooter drill, and it's making sure you guys yeah. uh, stay quiet and don't get shot. She's like, I got it. <laughs> like, there you go. Like, is it sad that I had to have that talk with a five-year-old? Yeah. Is it really sad that my five-year-old was like, yes, I'll keep them quiet? <laughs> Well, yours is, yeah. Hold on, mine's starting to. What's up, resurrection? Yeah. Not this. All right, there we go. I had to deal with that shit. Can we talk about gun reform yet? No. Well, because you needed mental health care reform first. Yep. Because you can't take, you'll never get the guns back, but you will get people getting the medication they need to not shoot each other. Truth. Because uh, Germany has 5.5 million registered gun owners and zero school shootings. Look at Switzerland. They fucking train their kids from a young age to be comfortable around firearms and everything. And they've got one of the highest per capita ownership of uh, rifles and, and other types of guns. Don't you hate <laughs> the arguments for that, too? It just makes me really mad. There, there's a... Well, argue that by saying like oh well they're so much smaller than us and it's like dude things still scale individual states things it scale doesn't matter well, if you're that's the other part like individual Ooh. states and all those kind of things yeah switzerland is mandatory military service which i mean if all right all right we're about to get into the parts of the conversation here where we're going to say some things that not everybody's going to agree agree about only thing that i ask is for everybody to everything to remain civil and if you don't want to be civil, well, you don't have to be here. Also, uh, do you know I did not try to bring this conversation here? I was just saying. Yeah, no, 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 no. This is, <laughs> but, but it's fine. Like, we get into this shit. Like, it's not the first time that we've talked well, around yeah. similar issues. But yeah, like, cool. just know that I'm always if, right. If America <laughs> tries to be as gung-ho, gun-heavy, gun-centric as it is, it should be... I, I, you know, I can't even... I, I don't even know if I want to say that it should be mandatory military service for it. 
because that just means that we're going to get even more countries fucked up because we need to find a place to send these guys. Well, not just that, but a large number of the people who do many of the shootings wind up doing it either before they would have military service or they do it oh, after yeah. serving military service. What it is, is we have a gigantic lack of mental health care. Yeah. Um, and to that effect, like Switzerland, as was mentioned, has a large number of firearms. They also have one of the highest number of prescribed antidepressants. Right. Why? Because... So maybe... Um, yeah, our military is stronger being a volunteer. For I, I, uh, yes, I also just... I kind of just personally believe that like in order to fix a bunch of the shit here let's defund the military by like 80 percent and invest all of that money into actual mental health infrastructure health care poverty things like that to actually address the base level issues that are otherwise causing these things root cause mitigation yes income inequality okay. let me let me pick up piggyback off of that real quick bane so yeah. It, I think defunding the military needs to come from specific portions of the military budget, um, it, but as well as the the reformation with uh, police budgets, because yeah. pol our police budgets are growing at about the same rate that our military budget is. Los Angeles Police Department has more money spent on tactical vehicles and equipment. So like in addition to your regular patrols, tactical mm -hmm. vehicles and equipment, then what is it like? All the military budgets of any country in the world outside of eight? Yep. Los Angeles Police Department is like the eighth or ninth largest standing army, most paid standing army in the world for one fucking city for yep. the police department. Yep. I guess we are just fucking going on this, aren't we? <laughs> uh, I can break Let's it. Go! I, I agree with the, uh, with the uh, mental health being the main, yeah. the main point, talking point. Um, I also think that there aren't enough regulated areas, and there are more areas of... Uh, Oops, wrong button. I, I, guess, I guess the words not society, but uh, think about it this way. For, like, for children growing up and teenagers and even young adults... Um, mm -hmm. There are more places for toxicity that's unregulated, and because of this, mm. the society has definitely changed towards being more toxic than it was ever before. Uh, and I'm gonna disagree on that one. Places are just like like before. You would go to school and somebody would make fun of you. Um, now you now, go home and they're making fun of you on the internet and behind your back and in every possible every every possible well, like living situation. Like, there's always there's negative there's there's no outlet and you, you now, can't escape it anymore well i'm gonna disagree on that one hold, hold on to that it's fine um now unfortunately the like entire worth of most individuals in the ages coming up uh be probably 25 and under is based around your internet presence more than it is really therefore it's it's all one upmanship now and uh, i think that greatly affects mental health worse than it has ever been before see that's just it it's always been one upsmanship no, uh, no but there yeah. used to be a chance of an escape no there really wasn't because when you got out of school if you weren't part of varsity or part of debate team or part of something else you were nothing and it was going to amount to not getting into a good college and to not being successful so this was a, there was a heavy burden on you know, not just academics. Joneses. Yes, that phrase has been around a lot longer than the internet for a reason. Yeah, like that that was legitimately the driving force of pretty much the, the, the economy in the 50s. It was the whole... Yeah, but after school, you could go home and, like, be in a ride your bike. No, you had to be in an extracurricular. You had to. Fuck off. <laughs> well, you couldn't, because then you were going to be a waste on society. Yeah. So you weren't just getting it from your your neighbors you were getting it or your classmates you're getting it from your classmates your neighbors your parents you're getting it from as many places now a lot more parents sadly are like hands off in that regard 
because they're getting it from everywhere else. So you think that there's less areas than there were before? Or there's more? There's I, about the same amount of areas shift. as there were before. Yes, it's just shifted. All right. Well, I, yeah, I disagree there, but I understand your your point. Yeah. You because, and I will say this, I was the kid that got rocks smashed into his face before internet. Yeah. Yeah. Kids were getting bullied a lot more violently. Uh, um... Violence doesn't equate to, like, the mental. Yeah, it does. They were... It... When your fear is, are you going to get knifed? Before. Yeah, I mean, being from Chicago, I, I understand, but, well, like, there's there's a certain level of, like, sickness in youth now that I see. It's, it's, like, I know that this is, like, has always been there. Like, this, there's no exception. There's always going to be people like this, but, like, nowadays, the go-to is the extreme yeah. instead of it being the exception in a way before, in my mind. Well, and that's the thing is a lot of it is there's that looking back on it fondly. You're you're going to have those ruby lenses. Every generation looks but goes, oh, we had it better. Yeah, I, I yeah, that's that just our points. Yeah, I got you. I think part of that also, though, is like it, I don't think it's necessarily the ruby lenses. I think it's it's also kind of the the march of society the march of progress because like if you look at our parents uh or even our grandparents generation they didn't talk about mental health issues like we do now right yeah you know it was one of those things that if somebody had a mental health issue they were touched in the head or they were a they had little, fits a little funny yeah they didn't they didn't look at it and try and break it down and be like oh this what might actually problem. be a fucking problem yeah um also red brought up uh i mean this is just a one-off comment that you made but this is this is actually the biggest the biggest fucking difference from the then verse now um that swirly at lunch is going viral yeah you all of us you know we could have somebody you know pants us or give us a wedgie or give us a swirly or, or kick our ass and we dealt with that once. It happened. Never. No, because no, because that was your identity. You were the kid that got swirlies, and then it would escalate to you getting put in a locker. Right. It was. It became a persistent. Right, but now you don't have to physically watch it over and over and over again. Like, yeah, people aren't going to make the comments, but now they're making comments and replaying the video and remixing the video and re-releasing the new thing once it was about to fucking die off. Yeah, that, that's the thing with that is the internet fair. is the internet is forever, and so the you know, the thing that may have tormented you as a kid that was you know something that some people would really hold on to and and you know dredge up every once in a while now is oh. subject to actually that's uh, amusing the world at large. Reds other comments in chat. And there's photographic evidence of normal teenage sexual exploration and translates into kitty porn when it's brought up later in their lives. Yeah. yeah. On the flip side, and to that regard, I will, I'm first saying I agree entirely. <laughs> um, Sorry, I'm just, I'm literally laughing that we, you know, got a new follower, got a new person, be like, oh yeah, no, I, I like the vibe, I like the energy, I like how you talk. And it's like, yeah, we're just a bunch of we're just a bunch of chuckle fucks who just barely do whatever and now we're like legitimately getting into the foundational flaws of our modern society <laughs> and in both the country as well as living on the internet in the modern age <laughs> yep. welcome to our channels if you haven't been a part of any of ours before this is actually somewhat relatively normal but here's the thing a lot of the people who are perpet who are committing these these acts right the ones that are, you know, the the ultra violent acts. Yeah. Oh yeah. A lot of them, if you look, a handful of them are the ones that were bullied. But the, a lot of them, are the bullies. Yes, that's what yes. I was gonna say. There was one where he tried to be like, 
I'm the bully, I'm the bad guy, I'm the one who, whatever, and everybody else is like, yeah, we bullied you, because you're the fucking weirdo in class. Those harassing people. Who, 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 yeah, who's sexually harassing the other girls, and also tried to share pictures of dead animals. Like, you were fucking weird and you were creepy, and we didn't hang out with you, and you weren't part of us, because you disturbed the fuck out of us. You needed help, you wouldn't get it. We have tried to get you it, you refused and lashed out. So sorry, no, there is no well, sympathy for you. Well, and I, I assume most people here have uh, either watched or heard uh, Bo Burnham's uh, special, right? Uh, so he, one of his songs, Welcome to the Internet, uh, has a line that is, um, here's why women never fuck you, here's how you can build a bomb. Yep. Every statement he made was from different camera angles, except for those two, because that was coming from the same source in his narrative. And there's a reason for that. Um, what's happening, and we're a little bit old for it. We're not seeing it uh, directly, but um, a lot of young dudes are being given these really off-color jokes or these really, you know, these really negative thoughts. And being told, hey, it's n it's not you. They don't get you. You're fine. It's the cancel culture that's out to get you. It, yeah. It's these things yeah. in your life that you're owed. It's, oh, yeah. you can't do this? Well, that must be some beta male talk. Why not man up and fucking take it like you should? Yeah. Take what you take what you have the right for. Just like your, your parents did this. Their parents did this. Correct. And that's... And it's very big online, and that's what's causing these these extremist views to be pushed onto younger men. Like, and it that's really where the danger comes is we see that sort of behavior on the regular now. Yeah, like I saw it start happening uh, a few a bunch of years ago on Xbox. Like I was sitting there playing Call of Duty, and someone was essentially grooming kids for that sort of lifestyle and i'm like bros don't listen to this dude he is that that is some messed up mentality that is definitely the weaker stance yeah but uh yeah Bar uh Smitty, when when you're saying that sound uh, very specific and am i okay the reason that i dropped those specific references the, the everybody picking on them the photos of dead animals something like that that was a legitimate mass shooter in our country yeah like, yeah. for the details that I was giving, actually fucking happened. And he was sitting there trying to post the fucking, uh, uh, a white supremacy bullshit, um, whatever else. Uh, you know, like, fake Nazi salutes, uh, America first kind of bullshit and whatever else. And, like, and, and he legitimately tried to play the sympathy card of, like, well, I'm just a misunderstood kid and whatever else. And they're like, no, no, we fucking understood you. I don't remember the name uh, but it's like, no, we understood you. You were just a fucking weirdo. You were an awful person. <laughs> you know, like, you legit were like dead neighborhood cats level weirdo. And like, in all honesty, that, that brings us right back around to the entire beginning of this conversation. If we don't... Mental health was more, more exactly. open and available, it's more acceptable... Number one, it's it's viewed with taboo, which needs to be gotten rid of. Like it, it's it is not taboo to talk about how you're feeling or what you're thinking or anything like that, because it could be very cluing to be like, hey, you know, you, you you're having a, a mental breakdown. We need oh, to get you some help. Back in the day, sin. How often do you remember hear me or hearing me say like? Man, I'm just really burned out right now. I'm just really fucking tired right now. Like, even even just us all being social and hanging out, like, my mom got fucking tired of hearing me say that. And I didn't realize that what I was actually saying is, I am fucking depressed. Oh. And I cannot function. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't have the language to use back then. No, so, because it's, it, once again, it's one of those things that is not discussed in an open forum. Yeah. So, TLDR, uh, wrapping up all of that. Well, two, two last things I want to add before we wrap it. 
Yeah. Uh, the term that we want to use in this instance is uh, root cause mitigation. We're looking at the underlying cause and resolving that to help resolve the higher uh, issues. You know, you can give everybody in the country a thousand dollars, but if you don't fix why everybody's getting into debt, that thousand dollars ain't gonna do shit. And and the second, um, one thing that a lot of people don't discuss that has a negative impact, uh, especially on these people, uh, is that the North American male is one of the least physically contacted individuals out of all humanity. Oh. There. Male, yeah, I misheard yeah. that. So like, like oh, you look at your female friends and you look at the chicks and they're hugging each other, they're being buddy buddy. That is a lot bigger of a barrier for guys. Yeah. Uh, but it's almost exclusively in North America. Uh, if you look at everywhere else in the world, you're hugging your your homies a lot more. Yeah, King Mars, one of our one of our uh, one of our regulars here, one of whatever. He specifically instituted within my immediate friends group. Every time one of us shows up, like if it's just one person going to the other's house, we give each other a hug. We we say hello. It's like, hey man, come on, bring it in. How you doing? If we're all hanging out together, the moment somebody new shows up, we all get up, we all hug each other, we all you know give each other the hug. Yeah. Every and that's important. Leaves, we all get up, we all give them a hug goodbye, and be like, all right, cool man, yeah, get home safe, ping us, let us know, like. Yeah, so many that that's actually uh, very much on point. Like other yeah, countries, that's common just about definitely everywhere show it everywhere about. else. Yeah, that's why I said North American because be viewed yeah. that you guys are feelings. Why why are you touching your other guy like that? Yeah, oh. well, as somebody similar to that, I saw a post, and I'm trying to remember where I saw it. Probably on Facebook through one of my doom scrolling sessions but uh it was talking about somebody who grew up in north america uh who then moved to japan and seeing the difference in culture between japan and the u.s and how boys and girls act around each other is significantly different guys hug each other they sit yeah. there they you know hold guys hands hold while hands. they're sitting yeah. next they to them because yeah. they're they're buds they're best friends and they girls do the their, same thing they want their the, friends to know that i'm right here with you yeah like for us in north america for us in america itself the united states like that is such a weird fucking concept mm -hmm. like two dudes just holding hands just sitting there holding hands and like maybe watching something on tv like that's yep. it that there's nothing else like there's no ulterior motive there's no you know physical attraction that they try to whatever angle that that would immediately be thought of no it's just two guys sitting there and be like hey no. yeah just just two straight dudes being bros in a hot tub you know or or the female equivalent they must just be roommates well, in, in even um, even male and female relations in in the United States, if you see a guy and a girl hanging out with each other they and they're fucking. laughing and having a good time, they're probably together. They're probably fucking something like that. It, it, it's weird. Dobbin down south. So hypersexual and still be so fucking rude. Yep. Puritanical. Oh, God, all that fucking repression and everything too. <laughs> and the repression is why why you then see some weird fucking kinks show up. Yeah. Uh, port to me once you guys are clear there. I got the next floor. Conservative Not King Jamie, Harvard, by the way. Oh, dude, straight up. There, if you statistically look, at least in the United States, how many different people have had uh, sexual misconduct, sexual whatever, and if you look to see how many of them were... Uh, the more liberal crowd or the more conservative crowd the majority of same sex uh, 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 <laughs> not not cabin, what the fuck, what's the word I'm looking for bad shit on news what do they call it uh, uh, John Blank sorry dude tabloid uh, fucking uh, 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 yeah 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 whatever the number of 
Scandal. Thank you. Scandal. The number of same-sex scandals are very, very heavily leaned to conservatives. They're the ones who are ashamed and whatever and, and like, oh my god, did you see what such and such did? And the hyper-religious, too. Well, it's mostly because they preach so hard on one thing and then in yep. practice... I, I can tell you... Uh, from, uh, from... Here, I gotta close my window. Yep. I mean, you keep talking, I just gotta get up. Um, from personal experience, I used to work on the general public's computers. And... Yeah, Rose, I actually in, go like, a long time back. Uh, with some a... of the worst porn folders were generally found on people who were like Bane and I went to high school pastors together. Pastors of churches or like <laughs> the people that we knew were like hyper religious people. Also, uh, how are you they had a beautiful the worst person porn folders, and you're just like, oh, okay, I just saw the name of those two videos come across, so I'm just gonna minimize the data transfer and I'm gonna walk away. Also, I I need to play one specific song uh, for this. Tape. Sorry, I missed you last night. Okay. My my friend Rose says uh, Canadians are kind of all buddy buddy too, depending on where you are. Not like Ontario, but Defo Newfoundland uh, in Newfoundland, you're either drunk and bar fighting or you're buddy buddy. That's that's fair. Right, where's the good version of this? And yeah, it is. I have my windows on an NVMe, and it's like, oh, oh restart. Oh no. One hundred and ten percent not singing along, but thanks. <laughs> well, there are Buddhists, Hindus, and Mormons, and then. Of those that follow Muhammad, never been one of them. Hey Tyler, how's it going? I'm a Roman Catholic. But uh, on, on our on our heavy subject, this one I'm gonna actually gonna give a uh, a trigger warning. So this one's gonna get a little dark for a second. Um, but but, the... but uh, but uh. When it comes to a lot of those violent acts, though, the number one, uh... Hey, Civil. What was that? Oh, no, I was saying, hey, Civil. Oh, hey. the number one sort of uh, result to those, especially when it's firearm-related, is uh, unsubbing from life. Unsubbing yourself from life. Unsubbing from life, yeah. That's... Um, and that's, you know... If it wasn't gonna be that, it was gonna be something else, which is why we need the root cause mitigation. Because yeah. otherwise it's going to be pills or it's going to be, you know, driving off of the road or it's going to be any of a thousand things because it always has been. Yeah. yeah. Somebody who wants to take their life will always find a way. Yeah. And yeah, that, that I, I think that is officially the place to wrap that. Tangent. Nope. Yeah. Uh, that is literally the final point to wrap that tangent. Um. But yeah, and be said after that one. anybody in any of our chats, <laughs> if you ever need help, ask. But yeah, absolutely. DJ, if you ever need help, ask. We love you. Yes, that goes for every chat, and goes for me. If you need, reach out. Uh, my socials are there. My Steam is there. My, you can whisper me on platform here at Twitch. Yes, yes. reach out. Again, we might be a group of a bunch of fucking degenerates, but we give a shit. Might be? Okay, we are a group of a bunch of fucking degenerates. Okay. I was trying to, you know, placating talk. I don't fucking know. Whatever. Trying to save faces. Uh, I have a... Cr don't close this. I have one of those uh, special crystals. I just can't quite reach it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, well, it's we're... long... Black and red? Remnant of pain. Alright. Uh, I'm trying to remember if that's one of the good ones. I'll let you know in a second. Ready? Oh, 
Company sacred. Oh, sorry. Wrong layer. Miss Fine. Oh, Anyhow, Rose, I'm sorry I missed you on uh, Siege last night. The kiddo wanted me to tuck her in and, like, cuddle her, and the end result, like, having a cat. This song is fucking Monty Python, and if you are not familiar with them, I am so, so happy for you, because you are about to explore some shit that you never knew could go that way. Uh, which song? Oh, I'm playing Every Sperm is Sacred. Eh, that one's alright topic of you know all the, the sexual misconduct and everything every firm is, is sacred is an appropriate follow-up right oh yeah <laughs> i think you go a few directions with it Take it easy. you go the universe song and make people feel like you know i was thinking about playing that one next level 20 oh yeah always look on the bright side of life Hey, Kurapika Rose, welcome in, and I hope your day is going well as well. Hey, that's, oh, well, well. that's what I was just talking to. Rose is one of my friendos. Is, is Python actually named after Monty Python? Because that would be fucking great. The remnant of pain looks like a croissant. Croissant. Hon, hon, hon. Uh, take a look at the the picture. Oh yeah, that one's pretty good. Uh, it does kind of look like a croissant. That one's the support one, or like a grub. But yes, welcome in everyone. Uh, Kurapika Rose, thank you for dropping that follow. Hope your day's going well. Tyler, welcome in. Hope your day's going well. Civil, fuck off. <laughs> I don't like this one. How do I rank it up? Top right screen. We need to get the uh, the shit to drop for them that we haven't seen yet. Okay, because it's like your crit hit chance is reduced by 15%, but attacks against incapacitated enemies are automatically crits. Well, that's lovely, but like... Shit, from Python doc FAQ, when he began implementing Python, Judaman Rosen uh, was also reading the published scripts for Monty Python's Flying Circus. Python is actually legitimately named after Monty Python. I never fucking knew that. Yep. Huh. That is amazing. Oh, hold on. I got to start this one back over. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sin. Oh. So I, I went to that, uh, the, the, the thing. Fucking words. The initial song that you linked, I then went into the play all on their YouTube. And I'm on this one, the Breaking the Habit cover by The Broken View. No. And this shit's pretty fucking fire. Little, little peek there. This is actually some good shit. Well, welcome in everybody. I hope your days are going well. Don't know how everybody's finding me today, but uh, hey, crazy. Oh, oh, you know what? I'll play the fucking one that breaks my goddamn heart each time. I'll play that one next. Hey, crazy blue ass. Dude, this is giving me goosebumps. All right, so I just sent another song into that. That is Cross Faith, None Your Business, featuring uh, Japanese rapper Jin Dog. None yet. And it goes hard. This is, like, I don't even want this to go hard. This is just sounding like... Oh, there it goes. Dude, I was at Howl, the local tattoo parlor. They also have a venue. And I was there for my friend Tim because his band was having their uh, reunion after like five or ten years or something. It's, it's been a while. And one of the opening bands did a couple, did a Linkin Park cover. And the dude who was singing it did a great job. 
but he tried to have like full club energy to like 15 people oh <laughs> and it was this Crosses like like i appreciated it but at the same time i was like oh oh my son no oh you gotta fucking you, i don't know if you've heard this one before but this is amazing The breaking the habit one yeah this yes song i have heard it yeah it is this, solid this is some good shit i'm gonna use this fucking youtube now like i'm gonna i'm gonna be using this shit this is this is fucking good this youtube shit is incredible kill me yeah well you sh you should not let them do that hey jake you're hosting me Did, did you rap for the night? Yeah, I don't feel like streaming. Still, that, still good, uh, still good to rock out with us, though? Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Goblin. Why do you keep finding... You keep just finding green goblins. They're my friends. They're your friends? Hot friends. reference <laughs> oh all right it is it is called an odious goblin but the goblin's color is green it isn't we're not specifically killing the osborns here but i'm just kind of psyched that i got a group of uh like literally just started a new job already made a nerd subgroup of work and uh we got a handful of us going to see spider-man together this week uh hey All right, let me, let me pause this before it keeps doing its thing. And I'm going to end up having like 18 fucking YouTube window, windows open. Only 18? All right. No, 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 no. Oh, YouTube just recommended some new tech death to me. Cool. I don't know if I've ever heard this band. Oh, Japanese. Wanna, like, this isn't to pull anyone into like a, po a politics talk, but I, that just made me think of uh, I have two other YouTube accounts, yeah. and one is uh, like deep left and one is deep right and i just think it's so funny the stuff i get like like you should watch this oh yeah because i made them that way because i wanted to see what like oh what the differences were what you get from yeah. either side what what news trickles in at you yes no, rose that is best team I, I am not a cybersecurity consultant from nsa um <laughs> I, I just have a big beard. Uh, no, I'm uh, I, I basically do fucking uh, the the phone work. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm a call center kind of guy. I used to be an appliance salesman at Sears with the same fucking beard, which, which is funny. They try to get me to shave it. I laugh. Kind of told them to fuck off. My mind is stronger. Uh, and the term is uh, cybersecurity systems analyst. <laughs> analyst. <laughs> you just, have anal in your title. Just saying. <laughs> and that applies to the NSA and the DOD. From the NSA would say. <laughs> uh, knowing Bane in high school, he definitely doesn't work for the NSA. Fucking right. <laughs> Like half of these people are 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 friends that I knew from yeah from high school from back in the fucking day and they will be the first ones to tell you Bane NSA nah dude can't keep his fucking mouth shut and we don't trust him with anything. <laughs> All right, 
that said, there we go. We'll play this one. Give everybody a little bit of feels. But it's it's super important to remember that it, it's it's a systems analyst position when you're in the NSA or DoD. It's not an analyst? agent. Analyst. Well, you do backdoor a lot, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Kinetic. I've secretly been uh, a government secret keeper since middle school. You'd probably be better off at Raytheon. Like the dude from 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 World of Warcraft. Oh, um, I I posted one, two, three songs. Uh, and I think you love all three of them. Okay. Right now, I'm playing the clip of uh. What's line sing so loud that even Chester will hear you? The first one is is pretty heavy. It's like if if, uh, if Lincoln Park went heavier hmm. uh, and was Japanese. Okay, so like if Hybrid Theory just kind of took a right turn. Yeah. Um, the rapper in the thing is Jin Dog, who is known as one of like the the hardcore underground rappers of Japan. Nice. And then Cross Faith uh, is an English singing but all Japanese band who have songs like uh, Jaeger Bomb and Monolith. The second one is a band called Poets of the Fall. They're a Northern European band. Um, very radio friendly. They're considered to be a pop band uh, in their in their native land. But uh, you listen to them and you're like, that's not pop music. That that's definitely like rock music. Like, no, we're a pop. And then the bottom one is Sleep Token, um, which is uh, heavy metal ballads. Like modern gent but metal ballads, and this one in particular is a lot of piano and clean singing. But then the guitar comes in. Like... Nice. Explain this one real quick. I offer variety. Next room. Oh wait. Wait, chat. Who's who's getting horny bonk? Who's getting horny? All of us. No, horny bonk. Like someone got bonked. Oh, yeah, getting. All right. Oh, probably us for saying analyst. Ah, maybe. <laughs> Do you remember? Pepper the, okay, Rose confirms that is exactly why. It's it's all the oh. anal talk. Hey, I mean, they came from behind. behind. Music just stopped shifting every couple of years. It's been the same since 2013. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean I've you're not wrong. To anything newer than that, so it stayed the same for me. Whereas I'm constantly searching for new music. I think I think part of it also somebody talked about how like you develop your musical taste right around the age of like 17 oh the age of 17 i should play that one it, I don't know and then it that. just doesn't really change from that i i oh. regressed back to 90s and 2000s all right so i just posted a fourth one bane i recommend this one the most it is a band out of boca from the age of 17 we were in high school when this song came out Ed, edge of seven age of seven whatever close enough sings the sound sounds like she's singing oh baby oh baby ooh. <laughs> okay so the album that i just uh brought or the song was on an album um that dropped in 2001 the album peaked number 19 on Billboard Heat Seekers chart. Mm. Um, this is another band that did like the uh, Linkin Park style, except instead of having the screams be from the clean singer, the screams came from the rapper. 
Hmm. So you could have very clear singing on top of like screamed raps. It was incredible. Eyes on him. <laughs> Close enough spoken like a true karaoke singer. As a former host, I knee jerk correct you. Yeah. Song sounds like you sing. Yeah, and Dan Captain, I'm kind of in a uh, passively, uh, slowly growing war against the DMCA shit again. Like, I'm kind of just going to keep pushing the boundaries until the first one hits. And then I'll back off again. Not all the time. But hey, no. man. Whatever doodles your noodle, but like, as long as it doesn't. I'll play that one next. Next up. Yeah. Jacob again. We all on floor? We're all on floor. Fuck yeah! Power pylon. What we so like they'll play music on the on the floor at my at my new job. Like the managers will pump it through their speakers. So it'll be interesting because like in one corner the dude will be playing uh, like not Rage Against the Machine, but shit pretty much just shy of that. And then on the other one, uh, the, the the other guy will be playing like Kiss from a Rose by Sting or by fucking uh, Seal or or. Uh... All right, I'm gonna pause right there. I will say. If Sting did Kiss from a Rose, it would be the trippiest fucking thing. That would be so fucking weird. Sorry. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> also, I am good with words. This is the cover I never knew I wanted, but... Right. No one at work likes your electro swim? Well, they should develop a taste. Dude, I listen to Psyopus, and then I'll go and listen to Polyphia. Like, some of the most aggro, some of the most aggro music that you can find, followed by some of the most technical clean you can find. Also, not gonna lie, I've kind of been getting into Post Malone recently. And, like, some of his old country stuff. It, it is weirdly good. Like, I was very much taken aback. Big band to make a comeback. I mean, we are in the 20s. It wasn't big band big in the 30s. So give it a couple more years. And we'll get a Cherry Pop and Daddy's reunion. Oh, God. Real crown review. Oh, is it doing that thing again where it's just stacking all the fucking automated commands? Looks like Saw here is doing pretty good on his season start. He's got his chapter 2 done. Uh, what was he going for next? Oh no, we were doing uh, Gunter next. Gunter? Ooh, you touch my tra la la. Oh. Mmm, my ding ding dong. Ooh, speaking of ding ding dong, you guys are making it like rain from here. Right? 
like I feel like the worst Euro dance possible for this song. Like the worse you dance, the better it gets. Did you see the one I I DM'd earlier? Uh, I'm gonna go with no. I'll I'll repost it into the thing. I want you to actually play this one. Okay, because like any of what you we were talking about, I've just been doing my own music. Now, I want you to play this one. I think you'll get a laugh. I think you will want to dance as terribly as the music is. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, food leveling process. Oh, now I know why Jake stopped streaming. Because mm -hmm. cause he wants to get his own channel banned, not banned from my singing. <laughs> it's like, I want to earn it. I don't just want them to remove it. No, I'm, I'm just gonna like zoom my way up to you guys. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, there's a whole lot of like buffer like dudes over here for our level. I didn't take out the Huntress. Like, that's not a big deal. But the number of spawners back there sucked. Truth. Oh, Bane lost his internet again. God damn it. The town. Yeah, slow internet does go burr. Oh, and Rose, trust me, I do know about listening to stuff that's way too hardcore. Listen to much. I listen to inaccessible music for the most part. So, I now have Scarbringer and the Rivera Dancers. Means my lashing tail kick is now stupid. So what are you guys up to? Uh, Jacob, oh God. And I are clearing 
Well, technically he's clearing and I'm just trying to help and kind of helping at times. So how about you check out uh, Bus Driver and Aesop Rock? I'm kind of an autopilot. Oh, I appreciate it. His internet really screwed him this time, didn't it? Apparently. Bane did do an explode. Yes, kinetic. Also, howdy. Kinetic says Bane did an explode and we laugh. Yes. Ha ha ha. <laughs> object i'm gonna do five bounties well four bounties four bounties apparently one of you guys did a bounty while i was in there uh diablo is your wall and reach level 50. yeah yeah i usually wait till i'm seven i'm just reading my chapter completion stuff what the we're only on hard difficulty Fully equip, uh, craft level 70 open armor, reach level 70, kill rack and off 60 on hard, still king hard. Gotcha, it goes well. At least better than it's going for Bane. Yeah, at least we have internet. I have become the whirlwind. I have become death. No, I'm I'm sorry, dead. No, the, the game has given me a uh, synergistic. <laughs> Rivera dancers, lashing tail kick it attacks fifty percent faster and deals two hundred and seventy five percent increased damage. Uh, and then it also does an additional five hundred eighty four percent damage to the first seven enemies hit. Womp. Yep, trying. Can I oh, have you heard yet? We hear you? Can you hear me? Did you lose power? Papa, can you hear me? No, my fucking uh, internet went out. Roommate was still raiding. My computer refused to find the internet again. 
Ooh, Roll Rose. I hope you enjoy Seven Days. I gotta get a copy of that at some point. What's that? Uh, Rose, who was in uh, Bane's chat earlier, is in my chat. And mm -hmm. since I'm fighting, I don't have the ability to mute on the other keyboard. Because I dual PC this shit. Um, right, well, you were saying seven days, seven days to die? Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I know, I just don't have it. And, like, I want to get it, but it's also, like, I will only buy it on a sale. Because it's not like, uh, I need to have it. Yeah. It is, um... It's definitely a game that feels like it will forever be in beta. Yes, and that's why I will never buy it full price. Um, but Rose, you don't they need to do are that. doing a lot more work on it now than they were before. So... Ooh, that'd be fun. That's another game like I want, but I am Rust? not. I have Rust. Rust is a uh, is a social experiment in uh, how much Mockery. how much bullshit can I take until I just go fuck it? I'm not playing this anymore. Oh, Mine yay, looks like I'm back. The next yay. game that I really, really, truly want to get is uh, Rogue Legacy 2. It's on sale right now. I know. How much is it? Like 15 bucks. No, it's not a big enough sale. I know it's 20% off. Or no, it's 20 bucks. It's $25 and it's down to 20. Rogue but Legacy I'll get it 2. For, once it hits 10 or less, I'll snag it. But yeah. Then, so. Mm. The original Rogue Legacy was a was a favorite of mine. It's a Rogue Light Rogue Me Legacy two, uh, Frodo. Oh, okay. Ro it, it's the Rogue like one. I think I saw Markiplier doing. Yeah, he just did it. Stream for it. Yeah, the the original one was one of my favorites because like there were things built into the game where it was like like there was a male statue that was uh mana and a female statue that was energy, but or. Uh, health and but if your character was gay they inverted due to you know whatever reasons they had colorblind ones they had one yeah they had ones that were like oh you're colorblind and you'd had to play it while like colorblind mode well, the entire mission was black or the, all the maps were black and white yeah yeah um they had one that was like a a genetic uh unawareness of pain or something like that oh. where your character where all of the damage numbers that would pop up were zero even though you're actually getting hurt mm, redheaded genetics um and then there was the opposite where it was like oh you know you're a hypochondriac so every time you got hit it was like oh you just got dealt nine thousand damage and it's like mm. no but did you die but did you die and every time you would like die, you'd save money from your run to build up your castle, which would then allow you to get upgrades, buy new gear, etc. It was just a blast. Gotcha. And it it was so cool because it would also run on a netbook. Like you could run it on bare bones gear. It's like playing Valheim. But you took way less resources than Valheim. Like. Almost Minecrafty levels of minimal. Mm -hmm. Like I used to run a blog about like low power gaming, and Rogue Legacy was one of my strong recommends. That and uh, was it Dynamite Jack? Dynamite Jack, you could pretty much run on a toaster, <laughs> and it was like a Bomberman puzzle game. Ooh, a legendary. In the morning, I'm milking cows. Jebediah, piece of chickens, and Jacob plows. Fool, I've it. been milking and plowing so long that even his eagle thinks that my mind is gone. Man of the land. Uh, who wants to go see Weird Al with me? Empty. I, I, I've got I Weird Al marked Weird on my bucket list. Mar mar oh, yeah, marked off of the bucket list from BlizzCon. Yes. And that was oh. such a fun fucking show. No 
like the yes rose league can run on a toaster but uh, i would rather uh, put my hand in the toaster but does it run good I would rather throw the toaster into the uh, bathtub. Blue goblin. Oh, blue goblin? Ooh. Nope, there's that blue goblin lag. Yeah. Oh, Doom trying to escape. Get him! I got the rest. These are your guys, right? I'm low level. Oh no, I'm still photo time. Photo cards, really, Dan? That's where you go with that? Actually, I gotta listen to a different song. Hmm? I have a song I need to listen to myself. Ooh. It's actually the extended version of a an intro song to a late night talk show. Oh. Yakin' Sax? What's that? <laughs> Yakin' Sax? No, no, no. I'm the pious guy that will almost want to be like on my knees day and night. So it's like Thelonious is singing along, but you're singing along to the stream, I'm guessing. So it's like just delayed enough that it's throwing me off. I like a speech jammer. Stream turned down, so I'm oh, not just, like having to hear myself. Free bird of it. You're free. Just going. Um, you know, if you mute the tab, they can't detect that. Oh no, I'm frozen. That's why. I'm like, why isn't this doing anything? Why isn't this dying? <laughs> because I was frozen. Ooh, bracers. All right. So that's a much more reasonable version. Oh, I gotta re-enable that now too. Fucking hell. God, I hate it when my. All right. So fun fact. Um, Craig Ferguson, who used to t do the uh, Late Late Show. Synapse. Uh, okay. So, fun fact. Uh, Craig Ferguson, who used to do the Late Late Show, uh, was a drummer, and he was actually in a band with Peter Capaldi, who would become really? Doctor Who. Yes. Yeah. They were. I think they were called the Lover Boys. Is what they called themselves. Uh, that sounds about. It was something like that. If it wasn't directly that. But Craig actually recorded his own intro song, doing the drums and vocals. And it sounds incredible. It was so catchy. And, uh, yeah. Hey, Death, how's it going, man? And Samidi, no, uh, my internet went out, hiccuped, and instead of just coming back like it normally does, my computer decided that it just refuses to see the internet as something that exists. My roommate kept streaming, or kept up uh, raiding in Final Fantasy the entire fucking time. My computer decided to just up and fuck off. Yeah, it was fun. So I did a restart and tried to do some updates. And hi, Death. How's it going? So I hate Windows. Yeah, well, I tried to run it on a door and it just didn't play the same. I'm surprised that Sin isn't kicking me out of my own chat right now. What? Oh, good. You didn't hear it. No, I didn't. What would you say? Uh, he, he said, uh, that's why I hate Windows. And I'm like, yeah, well, I tried to run it on a door and it just didn't run as well. I don't need to kick you out of your own chat. You're showing yourself. <laughs> and he's like, and Bane Falcon, everyone. Now go. Take your bow, do your somersault, break your neck instead of your leg. <laughs> Ouch. Water break. Yep, take your time, man. I'm gonna keep doing our shit. I don't know why I've been on such a fucking weird owl stint lately, too. Just, so it's I weird out. Need for simpler times. So Bane, I posted the full theme song in that as well. Right. Um, and the reason why is because the song is about staying up way too late. Oh, Giggity. Well, the song is like. If it's longer than four hours, you should consult your doctor. No. Hmm. no, it's uh, 
it, it it's about um like the one of the cooks is tomorrow's just your future yesterday. <laughs> that that that's not incorrect. Yeah, that's not wrong. All right, let's let's see what chaos you have in here. Uh, okay, let's get cover this up. <laughs> when life was good Fine. before the dark times, before the empire. So the lyrics go, it's hard to stay up. It's been a long, long day. You've got the Sandman at your door. But well, hang on, leave the TV on. <laughs> Let's do it anyway. It's okay. You can always sleep to work tomorrow. I I can't though. You're starting it. Don't they though? Like why bother? This was the theme song for a late show. And the host is the one playing the drums and singing. that you can live without. I don't hate that. Damn straight. And the whole theme song was like, hey, you might have had a shit day. Stay up for the late show. Come on. Uh, so what you're saying is Craig Ferguson was a bad influence, yes. That can be summed up by YOLO. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> Did you guys hear Fred for, or Craig Ferguson's YOLO song? I, I think you left something out of the phrase in there. The world can be such a fright, but it belongs to us tonight. Oh my. What's the point of going to bed? You look so lovely when your eyes are red. <laughs> That has, that's not quite the same energy as you smell different when you're awake. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> now, mind you, this guy had a sidekick who was a robot, Skeleton. And he did puppets. How the fuck did he get on American television? Because Craig Kilborn, who was before him, sucked. Yes, he is from the United Kingdom. Oh, I know, but, uh, get, get asleep. You don't have to. I guarantee you, you do not have to stay up just because our, we happen to be here. No, his whole energy was low budget, and he did wind up getting screwed on the budget. No one else would work for that the little amount of money he was getting. Oh, okay. Because that that uh, slot had been performing terribly with his predecessor. He had to. Uh, Craig Kilborn? Huh? He took over for Craig Kilborn, who was... The budget was so low that Craig Kilborn actually did his own intro. I legit with a bad... Was. Oh, he was a terrible comedian, uh, sports commentator kind of dude. Uh, but he was so bad, he he did his own intro with a fake accent. Oh, that's... Yeah. Lovely. And then... uh. But the problem was they were competing against Conan O'Brien, who was just slapping. Well, because Conan was just taken out or taken off. Yeah, it was you know Conan just got off of you know Simpsons and stuff like that and was blowing up. And this guy had just done the Drew Carey show, mm. so it was one of those things where it was like, oh, okay, like yeah. enjoy death and well, that's kind of weird. Um, if you're playing the enjoy new Diablo, enjoy death. Hit us up. We'll get you a power level sometime over the weekend. But yes, get sleep. So, you know, it's 
We are all old enough now that like enjoying sleep is is like a whole ass fucking energy. Mm. What? What you ask is impossible. Like Wait. yeah, we we could stay up or whatever, but like once I'm going to bed, I'm gonna go the fuck to bed and I'm just gonna like enjoy just being in bed. I don't enjoy it, but I also don't really remember it. Like yeah. I, I go from being conscious to being yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then again, like Monday, right? Monday into Tuesday, I slept for twenty three hours. Monday, Monday. Wait, did you say twenty three hours? Yes. Fuck it. All right. Because I hadn't slept uh more than two hours at a go since Thanksgiving. Since Thanksgiving? Oh. Dude, I yeah. So like can I sleep? Yeah, I can sleep when I need to sleep, but like I'm on the Vinci power nap system where it's like, hey buddy. Sleep a little bit and then get back to work. Yeah. Yeah, and uh Dan Captain, it looks like uh roommates kicked the uh Peter on for a bit, so that's why I got up earlier to close my uh bedroom window. So that means like once I go to sleep tonight, I can have that going in and if i need to just like just barely crack my window to get like that hint of cold and then like the weighted blanket and everything else oh. it's like hot chocolate but in 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 a bed form that that isn't it's actually a great messy. song Elsie, i don't have to worry about that i have a cat oh yeah you're like, you just described like three or four different steps where all I do is lay down and it's on me. Yep. I go upstairs and my cat literally looks at me and goes, Bed? Mow. It's like, okay, yes, we're going to bed now. <laughs> yeah, no, my uh, my big weakness is um, I'm a single dad. So like uh, my kid every now and then will be like, dad, can, can you lay in here with me? It's like, okay, yeah, sure. And I was like, oh, God, you're worse than a cat or a dog. Like, no, no, I'm, I'm not going to fall asleep. Smash cut to me, like, passed out. <laughs> Half sitting up. Neck in a completely horrible position that you know is going to hurt for the next five days. Oh, dude, uh, a couple years ago, it was so bad. I got up, like, I, she was in bed. I got up out of the, like, off the edge of the bed where I, like, sat and, like, reclined back. Mm-hmm. Um, I walked out into the living room and I live, I live with my mom because it's, it's hard to be a single dad. <laughs> um, no and, and I'm sitting there talking to her and then all of a sudden I hear Joshua, you okay? And I'm on the floor. I just fainted like straight up fainted from the angle I was at. Ooh. I was like, oh, sliced my back open. It was a bad time. Yeah. <laughs> like so now when she's like, "Hey, can you lay in here?" I'm like, "No." <laughs> For my own health, I'm gonna have to say no. But then if I do, I'm like, "All right, I gotta get out of this." Like I get up slowly. I'm gonna stretch right next to the bed. So if I fall, I'm falling on something soft. <laughs> but uh. I miss the days of real sleep. I'm a monk. How dare you? Here, 5.56 in queue, then you can continue this happening. Hell yeah, kinetic. I got my fart pants. Oh, you too? I don't I don't need them, but I got I'm them. Wearing, I'm wearing some since level 16. I haven't found any that were better. Oh, also, I have Nemi Bracer, so let me hit the stuff. Oh, nice. And since you messaged me, Bane, I assume you saw the two pictures I sent? Oh, yeah. Those, those are the two that I'm going to combine to make my bot into a VTuber. Why are you making your bot into a VTuber? So I can double dip on Twitch. 
if, right. if I have to have a chat bot and it has to have an account so it can have a name, I might as well have it do a thing and make money on you, make money for you on this. Okay. Ta -da! Yeah. You know what, Samini? You're, you're right. Stonks. Stonks is exactly the fucking goal there. And then what I'll do is I will use him to make clips of my channel. And then I will upload those. Uh, I'll, I will highlight them. And then the highlights will be cut into, you know, like the, the best ofs for one minute clips. And those will get uploaded to Instagram and a YouTube short and TikTok. Meanwhile, I'll just press go and, and then drink and play. Oh, that's music. that's what I've been doing. But now I'm going to be like, no, I'm, I'm going to do the thing. <laughs> like, this isn't even my final form. <laughs> There's three of me. Oh, yeah. And what I'm going to do is my uh, my camera actually has two outs, USB and HDMI. So I'm going to run the HDMI out for my stream and then the USB out for the VTuber. Um, so, and then I'll put a lag on the USB one so that it doesn't look like it's just mirroring me. And then I will reverse it. I am officially too sober for this conversation. I don't know. I, I have plans. Uh, tomorrow? It cannot be done. Ah, nope. Good. Remedy it. <sighs> And Dan Captain rolling with the cheers. He's like, so am I. Plus, think about it. The worst thing that can happen is I wind up being the real me as a sidekick to my VTuber self. Who is just getting tips. What kind of fucking replicant bullshit are you trying to run? Uh, I'm thinking more Westworld where I'm making robot horrors and making money off of it. So... No, I'm thinking that this is going to end up with am I the replicant or am I the real <laughs> Which one yeah. of me is actually the VTuber? No, no, no. I already had to go through that with uh, the whole Batman like situation. Like, am I am I me or am I sin? And it's like I'm I'm more I'm more sin now than I I am me. That's okay. The Bane. Yeah. Did you know that Stonks is actually a real world real word? Just armor. Just like no. all the other words. You'll get it caught up in the chest oh, armor. Well, yeah, I guess to that point, yes. <laughs> Jackass. <laughs> all words are made up. Chang mail. That pivotal to anybody's build. You know what? I would legitimately not be surprised if if sin specifically was the one that accidentally caused skynet to happen like i halfway assume that it's going to be somebody that i know but i wouldn't be surprised at all if sin trying to find a way to automate regibots as a vtuber as whatever else somehow causes self-awareness that trickles out into some other fucking elon musk bullshit and and legit causes skynet to launch yeah i use computer learning algorithms off of twitch as a whole all of a sudden he becomes the ultimate you know vtuber just based off of algorithmic yeah, nonsense and, and then it gets its learning from twitch chat and then reddit and then it's like you know what we're doing this for your own sake nuke the fucking planet i think the uh the crazier are we all down here that we have um yeah. condi crazy boys uh or we have nanobots that have learned how to self-replicate more or less they didn't learn they were taught yeah and it didn't do it for like it it, it, it was not sustainable My not yet right but the first step is there yeah we also have robot we also have atomic yeah, cars yeah. those are my yeah. favorite yeah we're like legit living in a day and age where maximum overdrive is one hack away Fucking AI tractor trailers. 
listen, as is, I fully would get a uh, get a chip implanted. I know how easy it is to do. <laughs> They're called Xenobots. Nothing with that name can be good. Sweetie, you're gonna fit in well here. <laughs> uh, you know, we, we might love our technology and our and our uh, advancements and whatever else, but uh, you know, I laughed, they laughed, the toaster laughed, we shot the toaster. Good day. Mm-hmm. Now, laughing toaster's my friend. Never shoot laughing. See? Laugh Unless it was laughing at me. And then we're gonna have to have a talk. No, that's what it's going to be. Sin talking to his toaster is what launches Skynet. Automate all the things. I thought you were a programmer. Who, me? Yeah. Damn. That's why I automate all the things. There was a guy who got fired from his job after like seven years because he automated all of his job. Yeah. And no one knew. That that right there is is gold. That is that is legitimately straight up. You know, it, get the Homer Simpson little hot water bird thingy that just keeps pressing the one button and no. do it long enough that when they finally catch me, I've already run off with the money. Like here's the thing: I when I was in uh, college, we had to give a presentation, and I did a presentation on uh, everyday automation. Oh shit! I clicked the wrong thing. Um. Anyway. I was like, yeah, so you know that download folder that you have that's like all sorts of fucked up and you keep telling yourself, oh, hey, I'm going to sort it at some point, but you never do because it, why would you? There's a script for that. Here it is. I just made it while waiting to present it because I didn't have the script made. It took me 15 minutes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I can run it automatically once a day and it'll take everything that's in my uh, download folder look at the uh the file type and send it to whatever folder i tell it to yeah why would i why would i not do that and i don't even put my laundry up after i do it oh that i don't either but if i could automate it i would <laughs> and that's why we need automation once made a pornhub downloader bot for college your teacher loved it oh yeah I made my buddy Joe and I, We, my dad used to work at a water plant, and we would visit him, and there were whiteboards. And one day, my buddy Joe showed me this thing that was all like uh, e-textbook. Hi, creature, I'm not ignoring you. Um, And it was all like a uh, tech textbook. But you had to go through, and you had to like click through and agree, so I made a scraper. And the scraper... Uh, had to go through a couple layers and identify a certain URL and then download. So I made one that would went through and downloaded like, I think it was like 70 gigs worth of like textbooks. Because why oh, not? Yeah, yeah not, not the way I expected that sentence to end. Oh, I forgot to do the level fucking weapon. What level weapon? the level 70 and make it down into a in, into a, a not level 70 eh or you make a level 70 weapon and then you do the lower level requirements so that way you're rocking out with a level 70 on lower to carry true do that at level 55 yeah you can do well you can get them down to level 40 with a uh, rare level 30 with a uh, legendary Uh, let's see. That's the second email. It was something else. Yeah. Cuttlefish and hammerhead. I could use a cuttlefish for my hammerhead. Um. I am so glad that was muted. Um. I'm well.
let's just say pass yes uh no worry first time someone saw penis on that hey my mind's always in the gutter now, real quick i make things marginally faster no, I, I didn't mean it was muted for you guys. I thought it was muted for the people I'm playing with. They didn't need to hear what I just said. Oh, what'd you say? Um, my friend Creature, uh, the Creature Collector, here on Twitch, um, uh, did uh, two of her emotes. Said, Sin, Sin, don't ignore me. And then played Baby Shark loudly in my head. And someone else said, uh, I thought that second emote was something else. And creature was like, it's a cuttlefish and a hammerhead. What did you think it was? <laughs> and I was like, let's just say penis. Dick. Oh, and then they're like, how are you, Sin? I'm like, I could, I could use a, I could use a cuttlefish for my hammerhead. Let me tell you. Oh my. Been eighty-five years. I did my waiting. <laughs> sure feels that way sometimes, doesn't it? Nah, uh, as of February, I will have been single for five years. Woo! Yeah. Top Excel experts will battle it out in the esports like competition this weekend. Wait, what? Oh, wait, is there going to be a punchline? Hey, listen, you can hear that joke anywhere you want. It doesn't have to be in the end. But I guess it really doesn't matter. The future of esports uh, is not the topic spell and it's on ESPN. The, you're, the, the, the punchline, the punchline is that it's actually fucking real. What you ask is impossible. What's real? Top Excel experts will battle it out in an esports-like competition this weekend on ESPN. No, what? Like, fine. Okay, but what's the punchline? The punchline is that it is actually fucking real. No, no, no. There, there is some cool shit that you can do that you would not believe. Like, uh, one of my favorite YouTubers who has uh, gone underground, uh, I think he had a mental breakdown, but his name is Evan Kale, and in Photoshop, he made Tetris, a, a playable version of Tetris using macros in Photoshop. Huh. Alright. So, like... When they're like, oh, we're going to do a competition in Excel. You know what? Let's see what you guys got. Because I've seen some crazy shit. There's also a competition called Code in the Dark, where you create a website. Yeah. Well, no, what it is, is you're showing a website. And then you have to recreate that website. You don't get to see the code. You just get to see the website. Oh, that is the stream rate is battle being ready. And like click through it through the website and then you have to duplicate it in the background no you have to like you have a essentially a competition to see who can re replicate the website as accurately as possible without ever seeing the source code which doesn't seem like a big deal but it's like oh, that you're you're uh all right you need to build a car all right cool you need to build this specific one but all you can do is uh Drive it um, once. Open the doors. Yeah. You can sit in it. Yeah. But you don't get to look at the engine. You don't get to look at... You Correct. Know, under the car. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, no, that is fucking insane. Yeah, and it's a competition. And they actually do it in the dark, and there's... There's some really cool uh, software that goes with it. I Help motivate. I mean, that, that's some, that's, that is... That is not something that I would want to watch live, but that is something I definitely wouldn't mind watching like a two hour recap of kind of thing. Cause like, it sounds, it sounds like it'd be fun. It'll be a blast. Uh, yeah, fi the rules, 15 minutes, HTML, CSS, no previews. So you get to just make, you get to see the site and then make the site. Yeah. If it works, you're good. If it doesn't, you <laughs> All right, Red, that's kind of chill. Yeah. Only thing I would, only thing that I would personally, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me, uh, let me pull this up real quick. So on my, uh, they have a custom editor. Yep. Yeah, take a look at my uh, channel real quick, guys. 
I've got a pop-up thing, or actually just look in the Discord on the uh, stream suggestions. That is Red's possible free emote that you will make for the follower emotes. It's I like it. Free emote yeah. that. Yeah, I like it. Do you think like more beard, less uh, you know, more pointed beard, or is the beard fine there because then it just leaves more, uh, more surface area for just the rest of it? I kind of yeah, yeah, I dig that. Yeah, and that was just her just doing a quick little freehand oh. sketch, but yeah, cool, I dig it. So, are the rest of you guys streaming right now? Uh, Jake wrapped his stream earlier. Uh, Talonius does not stream, to my knowledge. All right, no. so I just posted it in Bane's uh, stream, the editor. So this is what you look at when you're doing Code in the Dark. What is your name? Uh, so sure. then you get the image of, like, the website on the bottom right-hand side. Then you just start typing, and you get combos. I'm and then get the combo thing up by just yeah but then when you hit finish it'll tell you how close you got to the source let's show the results of your code doing this before the round is over will disqualify you are you sure you want to proceed type yes to confirm that's nifty yeah but that's some that's some cool shit. and it's done in the dark with like big screen projectors that like show yeah. like cut through people's work oh it's it's intense to watch it's like sex while camping. It's fucking intense. Very cool way to practice front end development. I mean, that is like if if you can look at somebody's web, like literally just eyeball somebody's website and build it. Oh, I would too, Rose. I, I don't even know if that's just practice. That is just... You, I actually... Uh, you, you have every time, I lost my virginity outside, so... And not in a tent. That, like, that is such a foreign concept. Or in a car. so beyond me. I can't even... I, I cannot fathom it. I... Now, another fun way to practice your uh, coding skills. Uh, there's a game... Well, there's a few games, but one is called um human resource machine it is all assembly and you automate like you solve the puzzles by creating an automated uh, thing huh. the other one is called screeps screeps is an rts where you code all the units and they continue to work even while you're offline it's an mmo rts huh and you, you code your entire colony's behavior. Oh, that's not fun, Kinetic. What happened? Uh, kinetic's, uh, kinetic had to replace his mouse. His right click wasn't working. Oh, I might have to do that soon, too. I'm definitely playing the scrapes. Yeah, so maybe, like, I mean, if, if you guys have the fucking mind for that kind of shit, definitely check out, again, check out Send. And there's some... Uh, and there's some talks about mods for Screeps to do it in other languages. Uh, it's currently in just in JavaScript right now, so that's why it's like front end work. But um, you just got what? I made the mistake of going with a Razor mouse because it was on sale. I only go wired. Even though I've switched to the Razer keyboard, I, I, I really still dig this Logitech mouse. It's the one peripheral that didn't fuck up on me. So, yeah. And my other keyboard. Oh, you got your $17 new? Well, that seems like an appropriate price. I uh, I got the Razer Basilisk, and it was like $29. I was like, that's a good deal. And then for my streaming coding one, I got... Like a Logitech G series, a G203 light sync. Yo, Semedi, thank you. Um, but yeah, I got the Logitech one for my encoder, and I like it so much more. I am returning to town. 
So my next one's definitely going to be a Logitech. Uh, my favorite keyboard, though, is my diarrhea one. I'm yeah. sorry. I definitely miss her. That is your what? Uh, it is a company called Diarrhea. D-I-E-R-Y-A. I'm still not hearing that word right, but okay. Nope, you sure are. Your diarrhea keyboard? Diarrhea. Yes. Diarrhea. Oh, you're adding an extra A. That's what I'm saying. I'm not hearing that word right. I know it's 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 so tempting to add that extra. Hey. But it's a 61% keyboard. Whatever shits your bed. Uh, but it's got like Opteron yellows in it. Just monstrous. Wait, it's a 61%, isn't it tiny? Yes. It sure is. That's going to be a no for me. Yeah. Well, it's for my encoder. So, like, I don't want it taking up a full... Like, I don't have a number pad or arrow keys. I have a function button to do that. Interesting question that, that you might know. So, you said 61%. So, like, the keyboard is 61% of the size of a normal one, right? The whole yes. thing's scaled down. Yes. Is there one that's like 120 or 130 percent? Uh, technically, if you want to get into it, ones with media buttons and like extended number pad would be yes. But like for your normal hand placements, like gaps between or you know. No, no, no. The gaps are all the same there. No, no. Like uh, basically, uh, Mars. Uh, you know, the, the, one of my one of my friends and whatever. Yeah. He um, has big hands. He constantly fat fingers anything whenever he's using a normal person keyboard. All right, so it's a uh, it's on stream now. It's unplugged because but it's like it's RGB and all that. Um, but it's got Opteron switches in it. It's it's dope. But it legitimately. It... A diarrhea. EK sixty one sixty one percent. But I bought it because I wanted a small one, and I'm completely sold on the company now. Nice. I only buy Corsair. <laughs> Uh, one would think it's pronounced D Ria, but except for the fact that uh, it comes out of Russia or China for the naming. Like if it was German. Or... I mean, I just gotta stop making the same fucking joke about it. I gotta find new content. <laughs> like Russia. China, that's not where I thought that came out of. <laughs> what do I know about an enemy, though? <laughs> I thought I agree came from uh, somewhere, else, somewhere else. It appears I'm the NSA employee. Uh... Yeah, yeah, it's totally him. It's not me. They roam in packs. If I said no, you wouldn't believe me. If I said yes, you wouldn't believe me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That it, that it's totally him, not me. Leave the bones of their prey I mean, no, he's not my co. I mean, uh, we're not co. We don't work at the NSA. We are definitely not co-workers at the NSA. Well, the best part about that is you can't prove that, uh, Samidi. It's totally... Like, I would never want anyone to do it to me. But it'd be so cool to look for the FBI and just go all day. You can just watch their search history. No, the, the fun one is DOD. I would have so much fun being fucking nosy. Yeah, <laughs> just, just literally get in everyone's shit. Yeah, dude, just See, like, you say like, that, like, but then you have fucking Facebook comments and shit. And just... 
then you have quotas of people you have to be nosy about. And like, we nosy uh, enough last quarter, so we need so, to get through at least 10% more. It's people. like, no, 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 but like, uh, but, but 20% uh, of this was double named uh, count. <coughs> you're, you're, you're adding on to my responsibility. I, you know, like. Well, it's true. No, because like, mine's cut and dry. I just want to be nosy and read what I want to read. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like, when it becomes work, it becomes a problem. Like, we used to have a company in the area called Net Nanny. And they're so, like you would download their their program and it attached to your browser, like a plugin. But before they had regular plugin uh, systems, and it uh, checked, it made sure that the website that you were going to wasn't pornographic. But someone had to go through and manually <laughs> check every website to put it on the list. So we had people in Fort Myers, Florida. That had to go through and find porn. God, where was I for that? Um, middle school? Huh? No, it, it, no, and you had to go to all the websites. All the websites. No, I know, yeah. but I would have loved to. So what do you do for work? I verify that porn is porn. And then you get burnt out. Like, it, it was not a fun job. There's just so many dicks you can have. <laughs> I, don't know, though, I don't think I can get burnt out of, like, Watching people fight with each other. Yeah, that's why he stays on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, I should work with another guy and just find people. That sounds fun as fuck. No. See Jose's personal FBI agent. If you want a fun one, though, um, DOD has people working in uh, data centers, small little shithole data centers that uh, essentially are tapped large scale lines. So. Like, you'll see entire neighborhoods worth of data go through. Like, like, counties worth of data. And it's like, oh, hey, that thing got flagged. Why did it get flagged? All right, cool. But again, we're totally not NSA. And most of those are in foreign countries, like Peru. But you'll be sitting in, like, this, like, shithole house, like, <laughs> in Peru and watching, you know, a large geographic area's data. Like, oh, this is boring. But you're sitting doing nothing but watching data. I mean, with no overseers, because there's such crazy jobs like that, like that we don't even know exist. I remember one of my buddies. He um, he knew it was like a sub. It wasn't Russian, but it was like a sub language from a certain part of Russia and when he was in the military he was literally stationed in like a fucking shack with four other people in the mountains and all he was allowed to do was basically sit there and try and uh, figure out what they were saying on the radios for like four huh. years that was his job uh, it could have been like Latvian, Estonian um, no, it was it was like it was a like it wasn't like Ukraine or something like that. It was like a sub like legitimately the project. small town dialect from Bucksville. Yeah, exactly. It was a it was a dialect thing. Like one of those kind of pidgin languages that just pops up because it happens to be bordering to other whatever. Yeah. Speaking of that though, I'm still waiting for Estonian is not similar to Russian, which is why it was so hard to figure out. <laughs> Estonian is is not similar to Russian, but Estonia was the Baltics, because Russia was not. Baltics are the worst. You gotta really be careful when you pull it out. Uh, I thought it was the Irish, but I'll take your word for it. That was, that was a joke. My bad. <laughs> Hey Jake, what? how does a penguin build its house? It cannot be done with chocolate. He glues it. Nice, nice. Oh, speaking of Estonia, though, fun fact. <laughs> He's like, speaking of anything other than this. Other than that terrible joke. 
Um, Estonia had legalized same-sex marriages in the 1920s. Nice. And then they lost that right when Russia took them over in the 40s. Fuck. And upon... Damn it. Upon being uh, liberated and gaining their independence back, that was one of the first things to come back. Nice. Did you just get a primal? Uh, no, a uh, gem. Oh, okay. The gem show up with the red things like primal stick. Gotcha. Ooh, uh, I got my poison one. Yep. Oops. Also, if you if you want a fun job, uh, if you have any sort of uh, military background and you want a fun job, check out Raytheon. Uh, they do polar services. Well, if you if you like isolation, let me tell you, McMurdo Air Force Base doesn't get much more isolated. South Pole Station. It is it. Uh, the only more isolated place is South Pole Station. But McMurdo has three bars and uh, a winter population of like 300 people. Yeah, that, that's that's too many people, Jake. Except you never see them. No, I actually, I like when they like near people, but far away enough. <laughs> Jake is actually our resident cryptid. No, like McMurdo is beautiful. They also have a frisbee golf course. Like I can get to Chicago in forty minutes, and I still have like a pretty nice like. like Ooh, I got nuked. Are you close? What do you call an empty can of cheese with? What do you call what? An empty can of cheese with. Oh, what? Cheese was. I will not do that. I will not do that. I was going to say Bane's dinner, but. <laughs> right? <laughs> cheese was. Horrible. <laughs> You're getting booed from my chat, so I'll, I'll consider that one a good one. <laughs> yeah, well, no, speaking of cheese, did, did you hear about the explosion at the dairy factory? There was debris everywhere. I hate you all. I hate that I have to turn you up. <laughs> He's like, you, you guys are on fire. Uh, don't worry, I'm pretty sure somebody is wishing that we were set on fire right about now. <laughs> and since, like, we're gonna go back to my own Discord with uh, humor and and, pack and, and, and and not this. And let's not really get in the Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh... They're, they're all right. Like I, I, I read the comics before the, before the movies came out. So I had expectations, but I kind of like, yeah, I still kind of, I, I liked them for what they are. Have you seen the game? Uh, and now we all lost it. Okay. New Guardians of the Galaxy game. Oh yeah, it's kind of like the Avengers game. Where Star Lord looks like. Uh... Like Jamie Kennedy and Seth Green, or Seth? No, Seth Rogen, or had a baby. Yeah. Oh, you could just name any Seth, and it would line up. No, Seth MacFarlane's too pretty for that. Yeah. Hey Keith. Hey. What's the best way to carve wood? The what's the best way to carve wood? Yeah. I assume with something sharp. Whittle by whittle. Fuck off. <laughs> oh. 
I mean, you, you know why they put barcodes on the side of uh, ships from um, Norway, right? Oh, because I know it. Because if they put it on the bottom, it would be bad. No. No, I know, so no, I know what it is. But... Yeah. Yeah, so I'll say it again because I was talking over you. So they can Scandinavian. I have to remember that I'm still like 10 levels under leveled. Oh, you can yeah. get squatted. Alright, how, how did the man at the calendar factory get fired? They took a few days off? Yeah. <laughs> God. Did you hear about the kidnapping at school? No. He's okay. He eventually woke up. God damn you! Oh wow, why is that going strobe? That is not fucking comfortable. Who does that these days? I have to skip this song and never play it again because that is obnoxious. Oh, the back and forth boomeranging? I don't know, but like no, they the really blinking. had strobe effects. In the song? Yeah, they, they, the, the In the music video. Oh. Going black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white. Why are you watch? Why are you actually watching the video? Well, because I got it pulled up in the background. Then I've also got like a little image of it on the uh, on on my overlay, so that way, you know, everybody can look at the screen and see you're listening to "Take Everything" by Take the Day. Oh, hey, I know this band. Um, but like, so they're able to see instead of just being like, "Hey, what 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 is this?" Uh, but then that one was going strobe, so even with my fucking OBS on top of it, it was still just... <laughs> no. Goblin. Hey, he. Yeah? What do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? A stick. Yeah. Hey, Jay. Hey, yeah. What's brown and sticky? My penis. Also a stick. Hey, uh, Jake. What? What's red and bad for your teeth? A stick. bat. A brick. <laughs> you hear that joke about paper? No. Terrible. Good all over. Wait, which one was the good one? Because we we're, we're, we're these are all fucking horrible. There, there was no good one. Whoever told you it was a good one <laughs> is not your friend. It's Samidi. He's he's new. He, like I, it, blame the new guy. Hey, did you guys hear? You can get iron and carbon for the price of one alloy. No. What a steal! <laughs> God damn you. I like that one. Yeah, at almost seventy. <laughs> no, you're saying the Scandinavian one was good. That, that one, that one is actually good. That one's witty. But uh, the fuck you. You anticipated that one. What's the one I got booed on? The one that uh, you said. <laughs> All these bad dad jokes are making you grateful for your father with his childhood. Well, well, Red, how do you know when a dad joke is ready? When it's mature. When it's a parent. Or when it's full grown. Yeah, there's. Oh, they're so bad. Can we close this rift and start a new one? <laughs> Oh, I think you're like, can we close this hoppers? I mean, we're just gonna do the same thing forever, anyways. But I mean, we get XP from closing it, so. I mean, yeah, whoever whoever presses the button first, I don't think anybody complains. Like, yeah. we just keep doing this shit because we just keep doing this shit. Is that like 2 million XP? Is, is dope. I'm just an autopilot, dude. Like, yeah, same. 
like my hands are doing things. I don't I don't know what my character's doing. I'm not I'm not, I'm not playing the game. I'm chatting with you guys. My hands are just but doing things. To be occurring. That's how Bane got kicked out of Comic Con. My hands were just doing things. I wasn't paying attention. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how I walked into the back. Fucking cosplayers. Behind me multiple different times. That's not good. Dr. Disrespect. Uh, you need to find subreddit uh, HFY and read a series called. Yeah, so Kinetic, I started to read the first one that he sent me. I got a couple chapters in. My issue. Wait, you don't even play the. Oh, did you get in through uh, Stream Raiders? Because you, you had to found me. You had to have found me from something. But. Uh. Yeah, Kinetic, uh, the first one where they, they, like, the one with, like, 150 some odd fucking chapters. I started to read it, but then I backed out to look at a different subreddit, and then I lost my progress, and I'm like, well, fuck. Yeah, you guys remember New World? Yeah. In that game with uh, terrible economy glitches that keeps having to shut it down. I don't know. They haven't shut it down in like I stopped playing in three weeks. Like, like this game sucks. I like the game. And then I watch Zach play it. Only here for stream raiders and table thoughts. Cool. So awesome. So that means uh, definitely check in tomorrow because we always do stream raiders PvP, and tomorrow's a PvP day, and we'll probably have. Most likely not as much big conversations, because Friday nights for this is always the biggest one. But, uh... Seems like every time I show up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we have fun together. Like, it's... it's... <sighs> you know, I think the most thing that I liked about New World was honestly the sounds of gathering, like the wood cutting and the That's rock. what I was gonna say, like, I I didn't even play the fucking game, but just watching and listening to other people, I legit spent two hours one day listening to people going around in New World cutting down trees. Yeah, that game is ASMR for sure. So, uh, the vistas that you could find were beautiful. There was a lot of stuff in there that it looks like they just didn't incorporate. Um, like, I found three different graves. One of them was usable. But two other ones were just secluded singular graves. One was in a cave and one was in a ship that was up on a rock. Well, not every grave needs a story. Some fuckers are just dead. But it seems weird that they would put it, you know, in a cave out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, or the other one on a rock inside of a broken ship. Yeah. Uh, working on a project with talking to you. Need to wait for the fucking script to run, and in the meanwhile, you're here. <laughs> I think that they should have played the game and, like, honestly, just put in like just a tip. Like, yeah, uh, if, if that game had the amount of story and shit to do as like any other MMO. Okay, let's get everyone down here because this is speed and pylon. You want uh, Telonius? Report to us right now whatever you were doing. And Sin, you still got memes? Uh, yep. I'll pop Condi and then Speed. Yep. Okay. Give me a second. I'm trying to lose this fucking spider so I can length. actually do it. I have extra length, double length uh, conduits. Or uh, pylons. I have Nemesis Bracers that spawns bad guys. Right. I know, but what's... what's okay? What is You'll still get the double length. Yours, yours will passively happen. His, he needs oh. to right. yeah, I, I don't have to No, you don't have to touch it. You'll just get That's it. That's why you put it on your followers. And, like, it still does the thing. That's it great. emanates. Yeah. Uh, do it. Do it. Shit. Sorry, hardcore mode just kicked in, and I was like, no. Nah. And, yeah, guys, I know the stream rated battle's ready, but we, we're... <laughs> we just got fucking jet fuel. Yeah. Just got jacked, baby. Like, also got sprints. A conduit and a speed next to each other. Legitimately on each other. I think that it's this map that we got it on, but whatever. Yeah, it couldn't be one of the nice wide open ones. 
Yeah, with multiple paths. Right. It's still the same like, fucking thing, too. Yeah, but it didn't have great density there. Alright, I'm just gonna run this battle in the background. Well, no, it's a boss battle. All these... Yeah. Listen, people play Stream Raiders to play it, not to watch it. No, some people... No, people legitimately like watching the battles. Ugh. Some of the streamers specifically narrate the battles. I pretty much saved that for PvP. Start randomly shout casting people's Stream Raiders battles. Yeah. Without them be knowing it. You don't even you don't even stream Stream Raiders yourself. You just stream shout casting other random people's Stream Raiders battles. Exactly. That'd be hilarious. That would be some absolute next level bullshit, and I'm here for it. What you ask is Transformative work. And see how long you get away with it before somebody's like, but he's not even playing. When you name your stream appropriately, that way they can't be a two pissed. Be like, I said what I'm doing. Yeah, shoutcasting Stream Raiders battles. Never said they were mine. You know, some of my favorite channels to watch are the WWE channels where they just act as the announcers for the matches. Huh. They have one, they have a judo one, or no, a sumo one like that. Oh, I don't know of any of the ones where they announce. All I know is that they've got an MXC channel where it's just all of MXC running on loop. If you ever want a fun time, watch Sumo. Nuts. If you ever want a fun time, spare kids at an elementary school like Goldberg. <laughs> Are we back on that shit again? If you want, you can try it to mine. I'll even put 20 bucks that says you wind up more hurt than she does. Uh, I, I will also love to see that, and I won't put money on it because I know Jake will end up more hurt <laughs> than your kid. I mean, I'm not a good person, so I think I would bet on myself. See, here's the thing. I've taught her since she was... I, I put my child through monk like training. So it's one of those things where, uh, like, we were at a birthday party and she had to hold this ball in her hand and they're like, take a yoga pose and don't drop it. So she went full lotus, holding this ball with her hand outstretched. Like, all right, everyone, you gotta not try to get her to drop it. And I, people are like pulling her hair, shoving her. I walked over and like lightly kicked her. And everyone's like, how is she? she didn't flinch, she didn't blink. Like, what is wrong with her? I'm like, oh, I'm training. <laughs> the measure of a person is not how hard they can hit, but how hard they can be hit. Yeah, I mean, I grew up on the west side of Chicago. He's pretty measured. So, it's, it's not really like training. It's more like don't let the other person know you have the knife. <laughs> and then use it. No, no, here's the thing. In Florida, it's get stabbed and not care. <laughs> we don't give a shit about your knife. Stab me again. Yeah, I, I disagree with that. There's a reason it's Florida man stories. I come from a state where people actually die. Yeah. <laughs> So do I. People die in Florida all the time, but they're old. I can't carry any more. Florida we just light people on fire. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Stab me? Man, Punch you their faces off. off. Yeah. Stab, yeah stabbing is taking. Florida are delusional, so everything you're saying is also delusional. I mean, I I can give references. You have references? Yes. Why? Be. Because people never believe that this sort of weird shit happens down here. I know, it's just like, why do people care? Because, like, yeah, you guys get murders. We get bodies in, like, dumpsters on fire. Multiple bodies. 
Lord in moratorium on death. That's where they have the boon of the northeast elderly retired. Yeah. So I mean, uh, why do they call? It, yeah, why do they call the snowbird season? You know, in season if we can't hunt them. Don't tease me with a good time. <laughs> it's not the fountain of youth; it's the absence of death. <laughs> Okay, that's just making Florida sound like purgatory, but not in the good way, and not even in the bad way, in, like, just a really boring way. A factual, like, way? Yeah, but, like, not even that way. That's a good way. Like, people just go to Florida because you can't die there. <laughs> Can I, it's still there. Sounds accurate. It's fucking Delaware, Georgia, Florida. Like 27th on the homicide list. Is it fucking Delaware is more fucking dangerous than Florida? <laughs> because it, you have to like investigate. Is more dangerous than Florida? Well, here's the thing: you have to investigate for it to be a homicide. <laughs> the cops find bodies and they're like, "Nah." <laughs> Dude, what bet... do you think happened here? Oh, I think they died. Yeah, I mean that's just a problem with your cops. I don't. It doesn't change what I said. Yeah, you're saying it's homicide. Homicide is a reported crime. If the crime's not reported... If a body falls in Florida and there's no cops to report it, are they really dead? Correct. Exactly right. Bro, Alaska's more dangerous than you. I Well, I can see that. They have moose. Yeah. Says who? They have moose. They, uh, they have they moose. Have <laughs> they have moose. Yeah. That's moose like, are like uh, animal tanks. Isn't it crazy that there's like almost? I think there's more Americans that live like more north than Canadians because of like our northern states, like Minnesota and stuff, and like northern Wisconsin are higher than most of the population in Canada on the east coast. Huh. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's... It's just, it's an interesting fact to me. Gators and swamps surrounded by water on three sides. Body? What body? Oh, no, no, straight up, like... Dude, just feed pigs, bro. You do. We have feral hogs. Yeah. I know. I'm just saying, like... Uh, you know, uh, what was it? 35 to 43 feral hogs? 30 to 50. 30 to 50? Mm-hmm. We don't need no swamps. We just get some piggies. <laughs> exactly. Everglades, fucking uh, 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 Gator Lane, fucking Tamiami Trail. Like, come on. I will and say, and that's you know, not just saying that we don't just dump it into the fucking canal, which yeah. is so goddamn infected that the water itself will erode the body before anything. No, no, for a fact though that like people just dump in like the fucking Lake Michigan all the time. Oh yeah. You can, you can yeah. like. By the time you get the body, it's not like you have any information. Well, by the time you get the body, the question is, was this ours? Yeah, right. Cool, we got a body. It took us three weeks. Uh, that's twice the size of the victim. Like, the skeleton is twice the size of the victim. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? I don't know. They might be able to walk. <laughs> I think it's a mermaid, Sarge. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna speak to Oric. I just realized that we already did the thing, so. Timer begins. I don't even remember killing the Rift Guardian. I don't either. Yeah, and if nobody clicks the complete, we're just gonna keep killing. You. Yeah, it's, there's shit, still shit to kill. Like, this one's actually good. We probably killed it on, like, fucking second or third floor or something. But then, like, the XP was so good that we just kept going with it. <sighs> <laughs> it belongs to the lake now. They just put it back. You're right. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> this one wasn't ours, Sarge. All right, put it back. They'll, they'll, they'll get it next time. <laughs> it's fucking... <laughs> they tag it. They put a toe tag on it and throw it back. <laughs> it's a fucking shark. <laughs> 
happening. I get Leor. <laughs> like it's a fucking sea turtle that they're trying to make sure gets back to its natural environment. Just throw the skeleton back into Lake Michigan. <laughs> and I can, I can 100% guarantee you, and I say this as someone who's seen it, if a law enforcement officer here in Florida finds a gun in water, they just assume that someone dropped it. And it is lost, and it is now theirs. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like Chicago, too. Yeah. No, like, we don't have any registries. Like, it is illegal to operate a registry in Florida, and guns can be transferred at will. Yeah, but, okay, so... So, like, I could be like, yeah, no, I, it was given to me. Do I have papers? Fuck no, I don't have papers. I don't need papers. I, there's no... The people that use paperwork in Chicago like aren't the ones committing any crime the, the thing is we just drive the 40 minutes to indiana or wisconsin we just There's drive strength, 10 so minutes strength. the, the well, range I, I understand but like we have like the biggest like one of the biggest gun problems in the country is because none of our guns are registered yeah imagine registering guns imagine being able to America. Like, like with us, it is so illegal that if I were, if like, say you had some and I had some and I like, I was like, all right, range day, I got to buy. And I put them like, put them on a list. That's a felony in Florida operating a registry. Oh, nope. but you know what I say, man, it's not illegal unless you get caught. Front of secret registry. Rebel. I will not <laughs> Rebel with law and order. Illegal law and order. Clerical Don't rebellion. Clerical rebellion. <laughs> uh, Sounds like the worst punk band ever. Legal rebellion. No, clerical rebellion. Hmm. Such hits as file this. <laughs> and stamp my form. And lesser cure. Oh wait, no. I have a sword. Single triplicate. Clerical rebellion is what happens when the cleric finally gets tired of the fucking bard's bullshit. Coalated coalition. <laughs> I need faster weapon. Dandy <laughs> here, yeah, yeah. Oh no! Don't 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 yeah! Don't don't misunderstand uh, or don't uh, uh not misunderstand. What the fuck word? Uh, under underestimate us. Yeah, we, we are we are deep nerds. <laughs> we You name Tonight. a nerdy topic, I guarantee that somebody here is into it. The members of the Clerical Rebellion all competed in the Excel Championships. Motherfucker. God damn. Why are we back Strong on Strong callback. Why that is, was beautiful. Why is that on ESPN? Listen. If if you can ESPN eight, the Ocho. No, like it sounds like it might be on like one of the real actual like Listen, uh, if ESPNs. if league is a sport, if Eve Online can get, you know, any sort of visualization. Oh, no, that's the thing, Eve Online is already competitive Excel spreadsheets. I know. Yes. This is just taking away the bullshit element and being like going back to the purity of it. This is just EVE Online with, without the graphics card. <laughs> esports aren't sports. That's why they're called esports. Mm. It's on ESPN3? Alright, alright. Is ESPN3 considered one of the real ESPNs? For a reason. Alright, does ESPN3 play football? Like, American football? I mean, all of ESPN3. Wait, play football. that's your gauge? To determine the legitimacy. ESPN doesn't own all sports. No, but like, but then you'll get into like the non-prime number ESPNs, and those are the ones that have like, uh, 
minor league cricket matches. Yeah, but cricket's played more than fucking American football is. I, then why don't we have it? Same reason we barely have lacrosse or rugby. Or soccer. We really should have better rugby. Soccer's a real sport, though. Yeah. No, like, legitimately, I don't understand why rugby isn't a bigger thing here. It's like, all right, so let's take football and remove the restrictions. Yep. Yeah, I, I kind of like lacrosse for it, but lacrosse and like yeah. Robotech? No, not Muckross, Lacrosse. Lacrosse <laughs> is just lacrosse and mechs. I I would yeah, I'd play that too. I legit pay money for that. As soon as I finish saying that, I'm like, I fucking watch that. This basket of mine is burning red! I was about to say, isn't that uh, isn't G that Gundam. just the plot of G Gundam? <laughs> no, that's um, that's mech wrestling. I uh, don't understand why baseball is such a big thing. I don't either. Tradition, at least in the U.S. Um, and then Americanization in Japan. Yeah. So. Fun fact, for those of you that don't know, uh, you know how a lot of younger people here in the U.S. love Japan? Like, the whole, like, like you're a weeb kind of thing is a we're big thing these days. Going for a sandwich, hentai wouldn't exist. What you ask is impossible. But, but here's the thing. Uh, <laughs> in Japan, uh, most of the youth there are Americanizing. They're westernizing. Yeah. They, they, they like us. Same with Korea. South Korea? Yeah. Yeah. American culture is huge. Everybody wants the culture on the other side of the fence. So what's more American than, you know, KFC and baseball? Oh, I know where you're going with this. Cool shooting? I think. <laughs> there are lines to be drawn, and that's apparently where they drew theirs. <laughs> uh, chronic obesity and lack of mental health care? Uh, they're working on the former. So, given given the fact that it's you know the holiday season, uh, yes. Uh, the fact that uh they think that Americans get KFC for Christmas. Yes. No. K KFC is KFC is legitimately a uh traditional Christmas. Pen. Yes, because they were they were told that that is what Americans do. Um, we legit ordered KFC for Thanksgiving. I think it's also the closest thing they have because they do not have large portions of beef in Japan. Uh, their pork industry and their chicken industry is the closest thing that you'll get to america besides it was just part of a kfc marketing push that caught on well good for them yep. they fucking found their market and forced it yeah, yeah. good marketing team for forcing I'm just saying, everyone so to eat chicken they can afford to eat chicken for christmas and it became a bigger thing but also their christmas menu for at kfc is a lot different than ours so oh yeah well their menu is just a lot different than ours well, yeah, but what I'm saying is, like, so it's the most American thing for them to a Christmas holiday meal in America. Yeah. Would honestly be fried chicken, which is funny. Actually, I mean, most, most, of, family New York, New most York of the people time. that I know for, oh. like, Christmas, it's usually just fucking um, ham. Um, I am an absolute sucker for a nice spiral ham. Yeah. I, yeah Christmas I, is prime rib season. Prime, prime rib, rib works, yep. I'm I'm Italian, so 
every holiday is like a little bit of Americanized, and then the, the rest is Italian food. If that makes sense. All I know is oh, this yeah. conversation is making me hungry. Oh, yeah, absolutely makes sense. Like, to that end, hey, Bane. Like, like homemade raviolis and like Italian sausages and peppers mm -hmm. and like stuff like mm -hmm. that. And, mm -hmm. and then you would get like the Christmas foods too, but like it's not focused on the Christmas foods. Yeah. Hey, Bane, buddy. Yep. So, um, on DoorDash, there are two restaurants that you should check out. If this is a conversation back to the Denny's restaurants, which yes. are fake restaurants, we've got so much better ones. Oh, you'd be surprised. Check out the meltdown.com. I actually can attest to the meltdown. All right. And who's their actual place? No, they come out of Denny's. Denny's. Okay. But they use different they use different ingredients than what's on the Denny's menu. How yeah. do they use different ingredients? It's the same fucking building. Same building, but they have a same. contractual obligation. Same kitchen, same cooks, different pool of ingredients. Yeah. What? Um they make a really good breakfast sandwich. So does Denny's. Yeah. The, the this is even beyond that. Like it's, I, it's fucking next level, my dude. I I'm Hmm. Kinetic, Kinetic, are you still kicking oh, around here? Oh, okay, okay. No, Sourdough like, bread. If you don't know how to make your own proper breakfast sandwich at Denny's, no, no, you're I... clearly not drunk in three to five or six a.m. Denny's often enough. Like, you can... <laughs> stabbing things. All good. No, for, like, ah. for me, it is. Uh, I grew up in North Carolina. And I got really used to my dad's breakfast, my stepdad's breakfast sandwiches. Inbox boo boo. Which was, you know, toast, uh, over hard egg, uh, cheese, bacon, and mayo. Uh, the proper breakfast sandwich, yeah. 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 Um, it's very hard to find that out here. Stretch. All right, give me a second here. All right. Kill this uh, goblin here. first. So dig this, the hit and snooze melt, since we're talking breakfast, sausage, bacon, ham, scrambled eggs, and American cheese on potato bread with maple spice spread. I haven't tried that one yet, but it's been tempting. Oh, yeah. Ah, all right. Is it is it actually really good? No, I haven't. I haven't tried it yet. That that one's on my uh, my radar. The other one, oh. the, the breakfast, oh. the breakfast in, uh, oh. in bread one. Mm. Yeah, it sounds exactly like what you I, like described. Yeah, that's that's the one that I have gotten uh, some mornings when I want something kind of substantial, and it's delicious. Yeah, I really so we've got a bunch of the ghost restaurants out here because we also have like every possible fucking food and restaurant known to man out here. Yeah, yeah. Like, legitimately, yeah. it doesn't matter if I in my stream now at eleven thirty or at like two or three in the morning i'm pretty sure i can order spicy chicken or sushi or steak and have it delivered to me now you want to yeah you live in the middle of everything yeah if you want a fun one check out pasquale's a what it pasquale's pizza comes out of cheese one yes it is the chuck e cheese one what? Is it bad that yeah. I know these? So Chuck E. Cheese went through this whole thing where they couldn't have kids in their play place, so parents weren't ordering their pizza. So they did their own ghost kitchen where they were adding better ingredients to make a more, you know, enjoyable pizza. You mean better nobody than cardboard? Just Chuck E. Cheese food. Even if you're there, nobody wants to order it. Exactly. Yeah, because it was cardboard with toppings. So who the fuck wants to order a pizza when the mascot is a rat? Well, ironically, Pasquale is one of Chucky's homies. <laughs> uh, I'm, I, what? I, I'm sorry. I, have, I, first, I, have I don't understand questions. the irony. Second, how does he have multiple homes? How does Chuck E. Cheese have friends? Is that what you're asking? What? No, you said that's one of that's one of that's his homies. Of... Homies. 
homies. I heard homes. I'm like, you're telling me this rat owns multiple fucking houses? Probably. I mean, he's been around long enough, yeah. Chuck E. Cheese is a boomer, confirmed. <laughs> I mean, the age kind of matches up and, uh, you know, runs multiple businesses. Chuck yeah, E. Cheese, not held because you can order pitches of beer. The later it gets. <laughs> also, Chuck E. Cheese, child casino. Whoa. Not wrong. It's legitimately gambling. It makes me want to go. That's for shit. <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to judge anything on that because I went to arcades and it's no different. Yeah, that's true. I kind of miss, like, the big arcades. Dude, next time you're out here, I'm going to take you to Barcade. What do you mean out come? here? Dude, I live like an hour south of you. Okay, well, next time you're here. Okay, that's better. <laughs> I got I I to find you. I thought you were from San Francisco for some reason. No, I'm Fallbrook, dude. Oh, all right. Yeah, so we actually are going to be getting some uh, some SoCal meetups in the uh, in the new year. Uh, okay. We're going to do uh, karaoke at one point. We're going to do barcade at one point. Uh, we might just do something where, like, hey, let's get a bunch oh. of people together and. Uh, Gilded Baron. Gilded Baron. Oh. Where Where are you? Just right come right, all of us. Oh, I see it. Um, but yeah, come in, uh, come back in. Like a day where it's like, let's uh, let's just have a really cool place for dinner and then like spend the day at the beach or some shit. Yeah, I'd be down for that. Uh, yeah, as long guys... as I get enough of a heads up for me to like request oh, yeah, a time no, off from work. Any of the things that we're gonna do okay. are gonna be like, here's at that. least six weeks. Yeah, that should be plenty. All right, I'm going to close. Get that 2 million XP. Oh, right. I was already talking to you about that. We were talking about doing some of the fucking uh, 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 karaoke and shit. On a dark desert highway. I legit listened to the live version of that twice today at work. It's such a good live version. Heath. Yo. Have you been to Galloping Ghosts? Galloping Ghosts? Yeah. No. Galloping ghosts, Batman. Sorry. Have you ever come out to Chicago? It's an Ogden, guys. But it's literally a warehouse. It's $20 all day. Um, and it's just arcade games. And they're Ooh. literally like, There's almost no place to walk. Because that's how many rows and like other rooms and shit. It's just arcade game after arcade. Like, the worst part about that, I... I... I hear that, and I know that that is fantastic and awesome and amazing. I will literally search out Galaga first, and then I keep forgetting the name of it, but there's this old fucking mech game that you use two different joysticks, and if you pull the joysticks away from each other, your mech would fly, you do whatever, it control, primary fire, right trigger, secondary fire, left trigger, whatever. Mm-hmm. And like that thing was uh, virtual on. Yeah, yeah. I fucking love that thing. Uh, it was like, it was a lot of fun to play. Yeah, but like legitimately, you can have. Oh no, 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 no. There's a third. There's a third. Gauntlet. No, I'm gonna challenge you to something better. The grid. No, like I get that, but like those, those like you can put. No, fuck that, because I'm not going into Tron. No. <laughs> You, but you're missing out like at least two other games that are way better. That being Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and The Simpsons. No, I know, and I know. And possibly the X Men game. Yeah. X Men, yeah. But it's got to be the eight player cabinet, not you the can crappy. You literally put every single one of those in front of me, and I will still just play Galaga Virtual on, and Gauntlet. You know, he, uh, he, it, if you look in your general. Yep. And you Discord. That's just one picture of one room and only half the room. I'll check that in a second here once I'm not getting uh, slightly obliterated by this elite pack. Ooh, what is this? 
So whatever the Stria band is, I, I'm kind of really fucking digging it. Oh dear God, that, that doesn't. That looks like a warehouse. It is. That's Sorry, just, let me rephrase that. It looks like these are room. in here for storage, not for use. Yeah. No, and, and you're only seeing the fronts of them. They're double sided rows. So yeah. There's double of what you see, and that's only half of the main room. Yeah, that is that is absolutely fucking nuts. So there was an arcade cabinet that I also really enjoyed. Um, where it was cowboys and they had to fight like weird psycho bosses like one was lobbing constant dynamite at you and there was a Marvel superheroes one was that the it's probably the X-Men cabinet no 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 um, I'm sorry it was a DC one I'm thinking of There was one where you could be a uh, Vision, a uh, Superboy. I can't remember who else. It was. Because I remember it very vividly because they were at every Dream Machine in the Northeast. Which Dream Machine was a franchise of arcades where they had 43 open locations. I'm sorry, 45 at its peak. Ooh. So. And the tokens and tickets were interchangeable at all locations. That's what I've got to, yeah. So like you, Doing something like that, you kind of have to. It's like you could go to the beach and have, like, oh, I'm going to hit the, the stuff here and then go to the mall next week and have them. And it still counts. Yep. All right. Uh, are we going to get in here and pop this pile on? Let me know. Uh, looks like three of us are in here. Who's upstairs? Uh, Jacob, uh, I think. All right, I don't know if you're cl too far, Bane, but... Okay, well, um, I have Nemi Bracers, so... I am not too far. Cool! Well, they, they spawned on Jacob. That was very, very hilarious. <laughs> Like, literally, he disappeared under spiders. Uh... A personal fantasy of mine. I was waiting for somebody to say that. Like, I, I just felt the setup was there, and I was just wondering who was going to finish. Cat girls overrated. Spider girls, oh yes. I mean, depends on the spider girl. More legs to wrap around you. You know, like, are, are, we, are we talking, uh, you know, some Gwen Stacy, Silk? Uh, and Daryl? Okay, that, that, yeah, no. If you got a spider girl. Dude, I have half a sub out in the other room that I'm going to have to kill in a little bit. Hey, Rift Guardian. I like the things you do. Perdition died. Hey, Rift Guardian. If I could, I would be you. Yeah, I think that's just a pretty good one and done. Right? Like, yeah. That was that was just the floor. Yep. Closing. Running that stream raiders battle in the background, guys, just to make it a little, little faster. Fighters kill and eat the mail afterwards. Uh, that's that's a fighters? that's that's called a perk. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. So I can get head and then you bite my head off. Hashtag aroused. Honey, not Cheerio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, post-nut clarity doesn't become any more clear 
than when your head is not attached to your body. Your body. Just aroused. <laughs> I have six people in my chat and no one said a word in like an hour. Well, because half of them are probably here. Or they're mortified by the shit that keeps coming out of my mouth. Yeah. There's no entry. They advertise that, dude. Like, they should just straight up just tell people, like, yo, this is how it really is. Yeah, just, you know, some people lose their head after post not clarity. Yeah, I usually go blind for a little bit, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know if this is one of you or if it's a bot, but I, if it's one of you, I hate you. What is it? Um, if it's a chatter, I want you to speak up for 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 this. Their account name created May fourth of this year is Wars of the Trek Gate Star. That is absolute insanity, and I gotta love it. I love it, but it gave me a brief stroke. Wars of the Trek Gate Star. Uh, like, definitely a proof no, of the. You're right. You're right. That, that name does smell like burnt toast. I, I can't come up with that shit. I I gotta give credit for the Star Gate nod in the, you know, in the yeah. other company. I appreciate yeah. that. When when people talk about the stars, they they leave they, they leave Gate out a lot of the times. Gate has every right to be there as much as the rest of them. Although I would also add battle into that. If only there was, like, a sci-fi western. Like Cowboy Bebop? Man, you know what I'm talking about. Guys, didn't you I'm, hear I'm afraid, Disney's a, uh, rebooting I was, it? I was about to fucking say, I'm afraid to mention its name, just in the chance that Disney might overhear this. Fuck I'm, I'm not joking, I just read an article about that today. No, I know, but, like, they, I am not a fan of what they're doing. All of the signs are pointing towards the fact that Disney is going to remake Firefly in a way that, re that removes the mature elements from Firefly. It's going to be a teamster show. It's going to be garbage. It's, it's like they watched it and, and didn't understand any of it, except that people liked it. Except that it was Fox and people liked it, and they're like, cool, let's make it a remake. But you know what's even better than making it for the people who liked it before? Let's make it for the teen audiences because there are literally more of them that exist than the older generation. Dude, it's they're gonna destroy it. It's done. It's already done. I can hear Adam Baldwin's aneurysm from here. <laughs> oh, there we go. 13 million damage. That's what I needed. Okay, I'm not useless anymore. That's what she said. No, she always said I'm useless. Oh, so Red, it's amusing that he mentioned the hat. Uh, so my mom crocheted me one. And a handful of my friends and I might be actually heading out to, like, Flagstaff or something for New Year's. Uh, one of the couples is like, we specifically want to go to New Year's where we can see snow. We want a cold, snowy New Year's. The other ones are like, okay, well, we want to still be close enough to somewhere that when we want to go drink, we've got a place for that. So, like, we started looking around in California. The other couple's out in Arizona, so let's, like, all right, let's look over there. I don't really have snow gear. So, if we go somewhere where there is snow, I will legitimately be using the crocheted version of Jane's hat from Firefly as my winter wear as we're there. For what it's worth, apparently I'm such a nerd because when when you said uh if only there was a you know a, a western in space, my mind after Cowboy Bebop was uh, Outlaw Star. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I love Outlaw Star. Which, and I'm also gonna say this: if they want to make a bad rendition of a show, pick Outlaw Star because even if we get bad Outlaw Star, at least we get more Outlaw Star. Yeah. I and mean, I'll, and hold on, I'm also gonna go out and say this. You guys might hate me. Uh, the the live action Bebop didn't suck. I liked it. Now, I loved it. I'm really upset that it's canceled. There were elements that they could have worked on, but before they could have had a chance to work on it, they listened to the people who were hating the show before the cast was announced. Well, I mean, 
mean, at least they got through the whole season. It's not like TV were canceled after like uh, kind of. know, the third it episode. Sort of is. They got they got half a season and canceled. So and like fucking episodes. One of the things that really got me through the story. They they announced the cast, and everyone was like, "You can't have Jet Black be a black guy." I was like. The voice actor is black. His name is literally black. His nickname in the show is the Black Dog. I was like, supposed to be fucking black. I was like, he is the most black-coated dude since Afro Samurai. What are you talking about? Yeah. Even, even yeah. the even Hakeem in the show, who's supposed to be black, is like less black than Jet. Now, my roommate did bring up actual issues with the show. For example, mm. why is it that the moment they actually make all of this live action and that they make Jet skin tone black, they add a subplot to Jet specifically about him being an absentee father? Because, because yes. he's black. No, I believe that was actually... Uh, hinted at in the show and it the might material. Be hinted at, but it was not the major plot development angle. No, they. If you look at the end of the actual episode, they give reference to that. Like the episodes that you see, uh, in the the live action, they tell you which episode or manga uh, it was based right. off of. But they, the, the show did not have this be his main driving force and his overarching story. The sure. live action did. So they're like, they literally finally make Jet into a physical black skinned black guy on the screen and immediately turn him into one of the bad black Yo, men come, stereotypes. Come click. Are you going to click? Or where are you to be able to click this? Yeah, I'm right here. I'm trying to get out and they keep pulling me back in. Um. Yeah, yeah, so like, is, there were some cool. issues with that kind of stuff. Like, so like, if somebody made those arguments, I'd be like, all right, you know what? Yes, I will listen to that. That comes from, you know, I'm not going to tell a person of color, no, you're wrong for thinking this and thinking that this is a bad stereotype. Like, mm, ain't really my place to have that fucking conversation. It's my place to give them the grounds and listen. Uh, yeah. But there were so many people who were just diehard against the fucking show before the show even aired before a trailer came out before they started recording or again before they even announced the cast yeah it was i was to fail before it ever I'll, went live i'll be honest with you though i was one of those people who did not want them to create the show all right you you you, you didn't go out of your way to shit on it though did you no that's just, just that like, my, hey, my opinion is that the, the like, it ain't my anime. thing the original anime is perfect and there does not need to be a show yeah maybe it's a reaction of a death note live action you know the that's death exactly what it was did one thing amazing and and there there's one element from the live action death note that not a single person can argue against willem dafoe is real I mean, Willem Dafoe is definitely a nightmare demon. Yes. He is a fucking cryptid. Alright, I'm gonna start doing bounties. Yeah, 70. I'm not 70, but that'll work for me. Yeah, you guys you guys are soak up. Um, but yeah, so like, even that one isn't like pure garbage. What they did to the storyline was. I just like anyone need a gift of Solara? No. When something is so good that like it's known as one of the best things created, I just get really scared of them trying to make it. Yeah, let's again. do this again, but better. Mm, and like no. the thing with Cowboy Bebop is just like, like no, like like I'm sorry, maybe like I know there are, but I'm gonna say the comment of nobody asked for this. Like whether you liked it or not, like somebody yeah. realized right. how good the anime was and was like, we can make money off of this. Yeah, nothing like, else. I never asked for it, but I was I was okay with the fact. Like, I would rather have had 
Cowboy Bebop than whatever the Disney kidified version of Firefly will be. Like, I, 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 yeah, if I have I to take either. one, huh? I said I would like neither, but... Yeah. I have some hope for it. Hey, Blark, how's it going, man? Or... They didn't try to make live-action Ava. Live-action Halo? No, Ava. Ava. I, think oh. I do have Ava. some hope for I'm Firefly. I'm looking forward to the, the Halo on... What's it, Paramount? Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure if they made in live-action Ava, people's heads would just explode. Oh, no, it would just be garbage. Like, there like is, in the show, or...? There is no a, yeah. fucking like in the show. way. Zero possible way to do that show any justice for a live action Americanized audience. That I will flat out say is impossible for them to, for them to do. Agreed. How about give me a Gundam movie? Uh they actually are. They are working on an Americanized live action Gundam. Or is it is it actually being made Japanese? It, it, it should up. not be fucking Americanized if, but they if are you're gonna a, do they Gundam. Are making Gundam a live action movie. Yeah. yeah. If if you do a Gundam movie, it better not be fucking Americanized because it it doesn't it doesn't work that way. That's, mm. I agree. I agree with you. And the easiest way to tell that is like if you look at a a lot of theatrical perfect example girl with the dragon tattoo if you look at the american trailer for that movie mm -hmm. versus the international trailer for that movie and knowing what that movie is and what it's based on the international version fits perfectly the american one makes it seem like it's some overtop uh, violence, murder, plot, and everything. It's like, no, it's like suspense, thriller, like, book. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Ooh, oh, legendary ring. You guys want to come to me? That's on import to me. Uh, for what? Bounty. Oh, I thought you had something. There's a chest above me. I'm trying to figure out some of my stuff. Like, I'm dropping, I'm dropping legendaries pretty aggressively throughout here. So I was like, I don't know if it's just me. I just got a consumable. I got a Hellforge. Wait, no, I got a Hellforge Ember. Congrats. Nice. Is that good? Yes. yes. That's what upgrades your gems. Oh, should I upgrade my gem? They should, yes. Depending on which one. It's the the stain of sin one. I will not do that. Is it a leaf killer one, which means probably... Oh, probably used. not. No? It's not that great. Oh. It's a gamble. What's the anime with the like the Gundam cats? Samurai Bolt pizza cats? Voltron? Was Voltron? Zoids? Zoids. I want Zoids, bro. That's what I want. Which right. which yeah. Zoids? The one with an actual story or the one with the uh, not a story? Or no, I just want the actual mech. I just want mech, dude. No, wait, did someone ask if Voltron was cats? I mean, technically, aren't they cats? But yeah, yeah. Uh, Voltron, yeah. they're 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 lions. They're lions. But lions no are cats. Hey, Lionel. Snarf. Now imagine that you're you're getting ready to get intimate with someone. You slide right on it, and that's the sound that comes out. Snarf me, baby. I mean. I just it was off when you get intimate with someone. So. Yeah, Jake's like, you, you don't get off of that? What kind of... I hooked up with this person and they were like, uh, snarf, snarf, and I was like, mm, no. But yeah, no, Samidi brings up another good point. 
uh, Americanized Gundam. It's just called Pacific Rim. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but Gundam's Which, better. I'm also a massive fucking fanboy. Yes, ab absolutely. Gundam. But it's it. You, they're right. It, that's exactly what Americanized Gundam is. Is it's all shitty Gundam. Fighty, fighty, it, fighty, punch, punch, fighty, fighty, self, uh, giant, you know, big, like, it's, white it's savior, good with, self with, with okay. very little story element to it. So Pacific sad. Rim of Black was pretty good. The, the, the I, Netflix anime. I feel like I'm really mm -hmm. just here that didn't really like Gundam. No, I'm not huge into it. I am, but I just love giant robots. I like Gundam, no. but it's not like no. my, All right. my, my, Yo, favorite America. anime. All right. No. Yeah, no. I the like actual Mecha. fucking answer to this. Americanized Gundam. Megas XLR. I have a fundamental issue with most uh, anime to begin with. Like, I like anime as an art style. I hate the cultural desire to categorize um, that is rampant in anime as a whole. No, like ev like everything, you have to identify the class, the the level, the the move type, and it's like, Category. yeah. Okay, I understand now. Like it's it's in everything from like Dragon Ball Z having to name out their moves, and having power levels, to you know knowing what class your Gundam is. It's like that's why a lot of the newer animes. And like the non-Japanese animes have kind of broken out a bit of it, and I kind of dig that. Uh, one of my favorite animes, and I don't watch a lot of anime, uh, is a Chinese anime um, called King's Avatar. I and... watched the the live action show. I think. Mm -hmm. Is that the the esports type one? Yeah, he's a. He's basically an old esports player, and they blackmail him and kick him off the team. And he isn't yeah. allowed to compete for, I believe, a year for anyone else. Uh huh. Um, so basically, he like goes and like trains. He he makes friends with people and just trains them without them knowing to be fucking amazing. Yeah. The uh the the live action. He ends up working in a um uh fucking uh, uh internet cafe. Same thing. Yeah. It's the it's the same story. Yeah. I actually liked it. I was getting into it and then I just kinda of forgot to watch more episodes one day and yeah. It's really, it's uh, really one of the animal. like kind of non traditional ones that I uh really liked was um God of High School. Which is based off of a uh, uh manhwa. Yeah, it's and one of the webtoons. Uh, yeah. yeah. This is Japanese? Uh, Korean. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, well, it's based off of a, a, a Korean webtoon, but it's done in Japanese style. Um, but it it's really fun to watch. Which one? God of High School. You would hate oh. it. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, mean, I I really dislike teen shows in anime. It, for me, it it varies. Like, uh, Welcome to the NHK. I thought was brilliantly done. 250 ton likes, God thing. Yeah, Kinetic, I'm not sure if you heard the comment that I was saying earlier, that I was reading one of yours, but then I had to go to any other Reddit thread on my phone, and therefore I lost track of where I was at. So is there a way to do those that isn't just try to click on the next article, the next page? I am returning to town. But like, uh, welcome to the NHK was beautifully done, and it it elaborated on like mental illness and like cultural identity issues. Mm -hmm. And it was it was really geared towards teen though. Okay, I need um, to um, find way of the house husband and watch that one. I I think by teen, what I mean is like for the teen audience more so i mean i do not like high school like characters and stuff like that no more more of the time no this was absolutely geared towards a teen audience 
Okay, but they took on mature subjects. Yeah. Okay. Like... You don't like slice-of-life anime. Yeah, I don't really like... I don't know, because I do, like, I do, at the same time. There's, like, I love Violet Evergarden. Um, what's another, uh... There's another Netflix one that was really good. It was about Street Fighter. Like, these two kids growing up, I believe, in, like, the early 90s. And, um... They make friends through Street Fighter. It's a girl and a boy. It's kind of weird. But it's it's a really good one. But, um... Yeah, the whole, like, high schoolers with secret powers in animes... Just... Mm -hmm. I, it just bothers me. I don't... It's just personal. I don't know. No, I get that. That's why I like Welcome to the NHK, because there's no secret, like, they joke about having secret, like, superpowers, but it's more just paranoid delusions. Oh. I, I think I've watched a little bit of it, to be honest with you. Like, the first episode was like, I was like, eh, I don't know, I'll watch another, and after the second one was like, this is dumb, but, you know, I'm already two episodes in. It's a short series. I'll give it a go. Is, By the end, I was like, this was really good. Is there an episode where, like, there's, like, a door in the gym that leads them down? No. Okay. No, Welcome to the NHK is, like... So, like the storyline... Yeah. So, in Japan, because they have so much subsidy in their life, uh, people develop what's called Hikikimori. Uh, which is essentially just being a hermit. You're shut in. This is the guy where his, his friend is like the anime porn. Yeah. Well, this one, uh, his friend like was uh, addicted to those games. Okay. Like the girl games. I've watched, I've watched it. Yeah. That was a good anime, yeah. I don't know... I don't know. I, I, again, I feel like that that show was a little more mature. I, I do enjoy. It. I, I like that show. I guess. So you're saying you you feel it was more like gauge towards teens, though. Yeah, not like not like you know twelve and thirteen, but definitely it felt like it was geared more towards like you know sixteen, seventeen, like teenagers. For sure. Okay. Yeah, I was just. Because they, they portrayed those almost as like older characters to the, than the viewer, if that makes sense. And that would make, you know, if he's you know nineteen. Here when I join is anime porn. <laughs> Welcome in, Deep Streamen. <laughs> um. So are you missed the other part? Addicted to anime porn. Speaking of addictions, uh, are we ready to go? Uh, put Skele King in the grave. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. No. No? Hold on. Hold on. Because I swear to God, if I ran all the way to fucking Urzael just for us to get ported somewhere else, I'd... All right, I have, I have a portal. like he started but he didn't um now one of the animes that i like that was a movie it was like an ova it was uh twilight of the dark master and it was essentially the antithesis of most uh anime especially at the time like the moves don't have names um <laughs> and like oh, this one gone and no like at one point essentially it's the opposite of Dragon Ball Z. Like, when these characters are fighting, the more angry they get, the weaker they become. Huh. And one of them, who is, like, his element, I guess, is, like, uh, is, like, wind. Or, no, fire. He snaps his fingers. Just once. Snaps his finger, and one of his enemies just, like, beautifully dusts away. Damn. After they were raging, trying to hit him with, uh... I don't even know who you are. Snap. Um, another one that was really good that came out recently. Um, Megalobox. 
Yes. That one was fucking solid as hell. You know, I just thought of something. Who was it that said, um, like, we, we don't like Slice of Life? I I really enjoy uh, J-dramas, though. And those are, like, all, like, like, I think Japan dramas are so good at taking normalized things, or, like, situations, <laughs> and making them, like, really good TV shows. Like, there was one about, like, this young, like, 20-year-old, who was thought he was so good at cooking in a small town and was sent to like cook Italian food and in, in this Japanese, you know, bigger restaurant and like he learned how he fucking sucked there. And um, it was it was such a good show. And then like my favorite of all time is Engine, and it's about like a failed race car driver who ends up like going back home and his dad runs an orphanage. It's really good. Hmm. Uh, do we have room? I gotta. S hmm? Do you have room for Tyro's package? Uh, hold off. I'm trying to get in. Okay. Um, I just got another essence of anguish. I got the flesh. Lucky. Yeah, I got an essence of anguish as well. What do you do if you get two? Like... Well, you can either hope to re roll one of them into the proper things that you want it to be, uh, cool. or you can shard one. Where do you right, re-roll it? Okay. No, no, you can you can de it, and it could become uh, gems. Does it disenchant it? Yep. Yeah. Blacksmith. Okay. Um. How do we feel about doing uh, Diablo and Isual? Diablo what? Diablo and Isual. Yeah, we can we can do that. Yeah. I mean, we're doing bounties. Right. Well, I figure for those of us that haven't done, that'll be chapter one. I don't think anybody's done those yet because we've all been playing in the same game together. Yeah, we, we haven't done that because we kind of wanted you guys to get to 70 before doing and getting the chest. Okay. Because then when, but then when we do the chapter one, all of your gear will be 70 gear. It's going to be 70 gear no matter what. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, bad gear is always 70. Well then, yeah, I mean, if you want to, we have to do the bounties everywhere anyway, so it's actually... Actually, you need 70 to complete chapter 2, don't you? Yeah. But you can't even put the, the gear on, but just getting it done, that way you have, like, stuff ready to just get tossed on. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm down. Oh, Let's it's do it. my Monkey King garb. Yes. I would say let's just not turn in the bounties until we hit that's right um, 70. yeah yeah so who is on their way to where when you go to uh, it like you can just uh accept it you know So work on see if I can work on two. Are you heading in or are you heading out? This is my real name. I think you popped in earlier, didn't you? Or am I losing my mind? Where is my mind? Where is my mind? Where is my mind? In a loot box. Probably. It's in that one chest that you didn't open like three levels ago. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'll do this by myself. Coming in. <coughs> Welcome in, everyone. Let me get you one of the. Actually, Kinetic, can you uh, hit him with that shout out there? Thank you, thank you. And welcome in, Raiders. For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Bane Falcon. I like uh, beards. I like beer. And, uh, I, I like bacon. bacon. Yeah, I'm like, well, what was my other thing? It's been so long since I've been raiding. <laughs> Maybe if we weren't on the wrong coast, I'd raid you sometime. But I don't know. Well, it's also been a while since I've been able to really do my streaming shit because of the new job. Which, again, congratulations. 
We've got the new Stream Raiders battle being ready, so let me go ahead and do this. Let me port to the other thing. Fire off the battle. Do the buttons. Get the stuff. But yeah, so yeah, new job and new job is good. Uh, but yeah, Hydra, welcome in. You keep streaming. You've been losing what? Yeah, that's fucking true. How's it? Dude, we are having an absolute blast tonight. We are doing our standard season start of absolute fucking Diablo chaos shenanigans everything got a handful of people hanging out on our discord got a decent grip of people in the game itself and we're just fucking around and having fun like we've been going for oh Jesus it's midnight holy no, shit it's midnight yeah all right uh, speaking of midnight I'm going for I, a I'm taking off. huh it's time for me to leave all right hey game captain always always a pleasure having you around man uh, if you want to play it, oh no, you said you're working tomorrow, right? Today, technically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I closed like the next couple of days. Why? What's going yeah. on? Oh no, I was just gonna say that if you wanted to, if you wanted a hand in the Diablo season to ping me, but I don't know if you're getting into it. But yeah. Wow, well, I, I don't even own Diablo okay. the expansion. Yeah. Okay. All good. Well, then we 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 might play Halo. I don't know. Ping me. It's all. Thanks. I still gotta do my weekly in Halo too. Follow best time, especially when we lose track. Yeah, seriously, we've been going for about a solid six hours here. Iron and that did shit out about two hours ago. Um, but yeah, no, we just like you know, some lighthearted conversations, some deeper conversations, and a little bit of everything in between. It it's legitimately a oh, DD session. We really should. I might actually try to do like a Saturday afternoon type thing, which is probably detrimental to you. Dude, D &D sounds so, fun. Yeah. so, I have a homebrew tabletop uh, game that I think might be really interesting to a lot of people. And the beauty of it is, unlike D and D, you don't have to worry about like massive character sheets and like huge inventories. Oh, I think I saw. Yeah, actually, Dan no, like I made my own. Yeah, Dan Captain, post that in the post it in the Discord in the suggestions, or I think there might be another channel for it. I don't fucking remember. Is that a card game? Nope. Um, but yeah, because uh, if I get all. about four thirty, if I get home and ready and settled by about six, six my time, nine your time. That's actually fucking doable. Hit hit that. Yeah, give me a second. I gotta. I uh, wanna port to town first. You guys could kill him without me. Well, don't we need this for one of them? Oh. Yeah. Is this a will one? Yes. Uh, yeah, my bad. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Port to town. And can, then. Can uh, you cancel? Yeah, I'll cancel. Yeah, cancel. Yeah, canceled. All right, let's see if this works, Kinetic. And if not, I'll see about fixing it at some point. But yes, can Raider, you, can yay, you welcome in. Happy to have you guys. On that. Huh? I'm like I'm about to finish this bounty. Can you just wait one second? Yeah. Sure. Appreciate it. Yeah. So what'd you guys get up to? You were rocking. Uh, were you just doing? Yeah, just doing the stream raiders tonight. Cool, cool. Looking forward to some PvP tomorrow. There. That's that's pretty much all I'm gonna be doing tomorrow afternoon. Stream raiders PvP, and. Uh, Mindless farming in Diablo. Yeah, so it looks like that is not still not working yet, Kinetic. Uh, if you can ping me, I'll try to take care of that tomorrow as well. All right, so uh, where where are we at for the? I'm about to kill this, and then we'll be good. He's half health. Okay. Yeah, so we're having uh we're having we're having ourselves good times and it's it's nice to be able to stay up late with my friends because it's the weekend now and I don't I don't have to be in tomorrow morning. Yay. Oh my god, just die. Why? Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Fires and missiles.
Oh, now you run fast? Yes. Get a shower if you're going before backup. Yeah, friends, we should be up for a little bit here. So I kind of um, started hitting real hard. Why would you do such a thing? Monster. <laughs> I changed the picture and smacked my bitch up. Joy Saturday's off while I got him. Yeah, so like this is my first... Uh... Full fucking, uh... I call it a big boy job. Even yeah, big boy job. Yeah, not, not a bad way to say it. Like, every job should be a big boy job, but you know what I mean. Yeah. No, I'll be straight up honest. I didn't give a shit about most of mine, and Sears wasn't a job so much as a, uh, a, a personal, uh, uh, uh torture. And, ends to means. No, no, it wasn't an ends to the means. It was, uh, it was a, it was a punishment leveled against me for past transgressions. That is the only way that I can convince myself of whatever the fuck Sears was. Yeah, I'm happy you're out of there, my friend. Uh, everyone is. And yeah, I think what I was saying is that even if I do work Saturdays in my new gig, that, uh, it's basically like, okay, cool, uh, you're gonna be in from uh, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Do a five-hour shift. Just get a little bit of something in there, and I'm <laughs> like, so I get to sleep in because I'm used to coming in at 7:30, and I'm out at two. So that doesn't interrupt anything that I would plan to do on a Saturday, anyways. All right. Hmm. I just one-shot the aspect of terror. Poopy. That's where I gotta go, but that's not. I wanna finish this bounty. Yeah, Sears sucked, and then you know, as much as much fun as I had during this last year and a half of growing my stream and my community, and it was fun and it was great. I'm kind of enjoying getting paid. <laughs> you, you know the best part about you know a big person job big person oh, paycheck big person paycheck oh jesus christ strong's here is coming in now too what did people run out of other people to raid <laughs> welcome in hydra just hit me strong's here i'm not sure if you uh if, if you if you guys are collaborating or anything uh, you were just rocking the fucking phasma all right Which I will be playing more of soon. We've got Goop streaming, and we've got Is That a Streamer? I'm starting to sense a theme here. That beard, though? Yes, yes. Thank you, I grew it myself. You know, I, I started it one day, and after a while, it just kind of grew on me. I hate you. <laughs> uh... But, uh, no, it's not. It's a big Newton of your imagination, right? Uh, but yes, to the new raiders of event, the other raiders who just jumped in. Hi, my name is Bane Falcon. I like bacon. I like beards, and I like beer. So cheers. Hi, my name is. My name is. My name is. Bane Falcon. Uh, are you ready, kids? Are born with a beard. Yeah, I want to kill. We were Diablo. actually talking about that. Uh, Let's uh, go. Oh, that's what it was. So on my lunch break at work today, the Grinch was on. Oh, I got to do that one. All right, give me a second. You Come mean back. one, yeah. Mr. Grinch. Yeah, so it was a Jim Carrey one. And they're like, what was it? Of course she doesn't like you. You're eight years old with a full beard. And I'm like, I oh, feel attacked. I feel attacked. <laughs> but welcome in, Hobson. And Red, I will get you another cheers there. Cheers. That's how kids with unibros feel. I have seen Bane without a beard. Gross. I have two on his Facebook. It is kind of gross. No, I've seen it in like real as you reels life. Uh, I'm so sorry. Like he he was around when I first started my beards. 
banished to the shadow realm. The funny thing is, I had a beard before he did. Yeah. <laughs> is it as long as him? No, because uh, I work in childcare. That's so uh, a non. But it's a non. Uh, I literally got like three words in. I got bacon pancake making, and then it's stuck in my fucking head. Shazam! Pancake making bacon pancakes. Can't imagine me without a beard. All right, so deep screaming. Are you? Are you who I think you are? Are, are you? Are you my coworker, friendo? My other coworker, friendo. I got the thingy else? thing. Or are you just saying that even just within this short period of time, you're like, I can't think of anything. Yo, a sliver of tear sounds pretty sweet. No, so so Strong's here. That's not what Kinetic is referencing, and I fucking hate you for making me pull this up just to verify or just so they can see what this is. You shouldn't hate people. I need to go back. I need to go back. Oh, okay. Well, that that part of the typing. No, no, no. You the the way that you typed right there that just fucking summed it up. Uh, I, I know who you are, cause one, the use of the profanity like that, and two, the way that you fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even have to specify what you fuck up, and you're like, God damn it, he actually does know me. Oh, no, wrong button. Oh, All right, so it's this me. fucking garbage that Kinetic is referencing. Kinetic visits me sometimes. I like him. I guess I should accept this. I hate you guys. Yeet yeet. I will not do that. Whatever scroodles your noodles, my dudes. Yeah. No, fuck all that. You're only referencing the show because you like the show. Oh, okay. Oh wait, it didn't automatically Oh hey, double slivers. Nice, I got nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I All got right. a sliver. Now, where was. Uh... What haven't we finished? Two and three? Yeah, I was working on three. Oh, did I not do the screen share? Or did I already kill the screen share for that? I don't fucking remember. Whatever. I don't know. Have you ever eaten. But yeah, so deep streaming, you feeling better now, man? We were, we were laughing about the fact that. Uh, that that your vegetables were what you did you in and that is the way to determine if you're who i think you are or not because you'll know exactly who who yeah if you're who i think you are you'll know exactly what i'm talking about if you don't you're gonna be like what the fuck but then i'll know that you know that you know that i know that you know you know you just went princess bride <laughs> I love Princess. Bride. All day from it. All right. Uh, you also stayed logged in. You're still on pause. Oh, how many people told you? My pause. When? Cause like I could have sworn I watched you turn your computer off. Must run alone. Yeah, I don't think Bane likes Princess Pride as he plays the Princess Pride cube. And thank you for them biddies, kinetic. I always appreciate you. Kinetic. Three of them. <laughs> You can do me on the mountain in the cold fire rain. You can do it on the countryside. Walk plains. Give us any closure. 
cowboys need to trust. This town might be big enough. Because it's a virtual system, and even though you've turned it off physically, you did not virtually log out. Now, ready for every single person who doesn't realize that they know this song to realize they know this song? Ready? Not ready. I should play this on the floor one day just to see the management be like, what the actual fresh hell has happened in this quarter? Well, I'll be. Hey, yo, Shan, how's it going tonight? Yoshen? Huh? Yoshen? Yoshen, yeah. Yoshen, Yoshen. Huh? What's Yoshen's power level? Uh, we, we don't quantify here that uh, we're against animes that quantify the power levels and name the moves. I disagree. Yamcha's the best. It's a Chiaotzu! Oh, you big enough! From Saudi To America And Russia And China Oh, and uh, deep streaming. Uh, we actually had our uh, our friend in Narnia uh, He was he was in the stream earlier with us He was hanging out in Discord and uh, playing some Diablo it's cool. Also play Gangs Con. Uh, hmm. I mean, I could play Moscow by Genghis Khan. You know what I really want to be for Halloween one year? Yashirobi. Yajirobi? Oh, fuck yeah, man. Like, so Yashirobi was, like, such a fucking sleeper in the show. <laughs> so he legit cut off fucking, uh, um, uh, Giant monkey Vegeta's tail, didn't he? I don't remember. They reference back to Sully's subject that he just got. Wait, what? Which? Which? Which part? PRB in case there's another raid. <laughs> right. Hey, Zelanius, how's it going tonight? Oh, yeah, yeah, we don't like animes that quantify how we're right. All right, so I'm at Siege Breaker. Do I have to kill this boss? No, I don't right? think so. Not right now. We need Not at this player. difficulty. Yeah. What was the song that I just said that I was going to play next? Each breaker, we need to do it master or better. Yeah. Nonius? I'm really confused. There's an ancient device here, but I can't. Sorry about that. So you're saying no to doing it? Yeah, I'm good. Very good and Shonen eventually devolves into super power level. Yeah. Rocking, rocking and rolling down to the beach of strolling. See ya. Oh my god. It's no. not fun. Stop, Stop it now. When that song starts playing, I know it's time to go to bed. Yeah. 
who's in the uh, cave? Let's see. What's even more sad is I can hear it through your like microphone. Oh, you can actually hear through mine. <laughs> yeah. I can turn it up for you. Um, kill me. Run, 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 jump. Actually, I'm not even feeling that one right now anyways. No, I don't need to just go all the way into my meme shit. What was the other one that I wanted to... There's something I'm kind of fucking whatever. I'll just go back to regular music. Heavy Bieber. Huh? Heavy Bieber. There you go. Old meme music. Heavy Bieber? Bieber. Just put on the. Featuring Scoutatrist. Ed Sheeran Disturbed? Yeah, type that in the YouTube. It's brilliant. I. I just went back to like normal, normal music. Anyway, Alright, give me a sec. Let me try that. Alright, I'm about to cue Magda. Cast and join or not. Uh, do we need her yep. for anything or is it just a bounty? On this difficulty, no, but bounty. Yeah. That said, I'm. No. I need the XP, so. Just do it yourself, man. Just do it. Decline then. Wait, decline? Uh, I mean, if you don't want to do it. Oh, actually, give me a second. I think I'm almost done doing. Wait, this is—is is this the thing that I need to do first? Yes. I should be able to finish this before the timer. Nice. There we go. <laughs> Don't be a normie, Bane. Another, uh... Dregs of Lies. Ooh, that's the one that I need. Yes, I got one as well. All right. All right, I'm cool with that. Oh, that is broken for... Yeah, I see why. Uh -huh. That gem itself is the reason that I'm going Witch Doctor. I might roll a demon. Fuck. Or a necro. I might roll a necro. Oh, pet pet necro? Yeah. Well, even if I don't do pet necro, simulacrums. Oh, yeah. So I can do the, uh, the jet, the, uh, the gem necro and. By the way, in case anyone needs a weapon upgrade, if you're willing to use two hands, it's in town. I just need the gem upgrade thingies, which we've had one of. All right, so my bags are full. game like D2 and the Necro has 40 million? No. No, actually, I am. Uh, Witch Doctor is basically the Pet Swarm build. Necros are weird. Strong, but few. Yeah, they're, you know, it's arguably one of the one of the strongest classes overall, but I just, I, I was so used to D2 Necro, I couldn't get into D3 Necro when it launched. Well, and that's the thing is they patched a D2 Necro because they had too many people running too many. Yeah. So they made the D2 Necros more like the D3 Necros before D3 came out. Doesn't matter. I still go skeleton swarm. Yeah, but you can still only have like, I think, eight of them. Oh. Uh
Whereas it used to be one skeleton per level. Yeah, that might have been been a little little much there. Yeah, a little a uh, little excessive. Twenty four skeletons per per person. Trying to run that on a Pentium three processor. Good fucking luck. Yeah, that's uh, that's challenge mode. That's when you PvP not their not their character but their computer. Oh. We jumped into your public game with six of us and 150 units. Yeah, pretty much. Congrats, we just robbed your Amazon. Although it's still, I will still take, I would still prefer that to the fucker that sits with her goddamn boas on directly outside of town. And the moment you step out, they just shoot you in the fucking head. Is there a reason we didn't do Caverns of Frost? Act three. Uh, somebody went there. I thought somebody was still in there. It had an arrow pointing. I don't know if anybody finished it or was uh. still inside. No. Wasn't done. Hey, cool. I got 45 seconds to kill Gom. Gom, no, no. I got a mace. That sounds amazing. See if it's any better than the piece of shit that I have on me. Oh. I got the big bonk stick. Go directly to Horny Jail? As long as there's horny people waiting for me. It's, it's think if you send all the people to horny jail what do you think they're gonna do there together hopefully me yeah. horny jail was invented by the perverts We're trapped in here with we. What you ask is I think you have a poor definition of the word trapped. <laughs> the safe word is Rorschach. I will not do that. Good news, there's a safe word. Bad news, it's in Bantu. <laughs> Better news, we have a translator for Bantu. Worse news, they're sadomasochist. Worse news, they're the one with the strap on? No, no, worse news. They're the one wearing the gag. Hey, it's Chiltara. It sounds like to me. I'm level 66. How you guys working on the working on your channels? Want to port to me? I'm porting. I do want to port to you. Yeah, 
She's Peggy. Also, her name is Barbara. Take it off when he's certainly coming back with PvP. Yeah. So as I was saying, like, tomorrow's probably gonna be a little bit more chill, a little bit not quite as pure fucking chaos. But it really doesn't change shit in the PvP. We kind of just wing it anyways. We got a really solid PvP group crew for Stream Raiders. So it it's kind of just, alright, let's let's just have fun with it. So catch yeah. in the uh in the whatever the fuck I fire up tomorrow. Yay! So Rift? What? Are we do we want to do some rifts to get uh Thelonious and I up to seventy? Oh yeah, before we pop these. Oh yeah. That would make sense. Anyone need a th Neanderthal? Next no. rolled. Hey, Chaos, how's it going, man? And I need to start the Stream Raiders. Streamers. Streamer. Streamer. Bob Dole. I saw the weirdest fucking headline today, and it was basically how Biden was honoring Bob Dole as like an icon and a pillar. And I'm like, when was the last time anybody fucking said Bob Dole to reference the person and not just, what was it, a, is that a family guy stint? Bob Dole. Mm -hmm. Bob Dole. Bob Dole. Bob Dole. I'm pretty sure, yes. Deeky deeky. Dick around. Dear Diary. Jackpot. So once we do these, all I need to do is kill Adria and Siegebreaker at 70 on Master and a Nefrift on Master and Chapter 3 will be done. Yay, and that means four Ps. And in doing that, I will also reach level 70 and complete a Nefrift on Expert or higher. Ooh. How does that make you feel? Like Impatient. Keeping your innards. Like my innards want to become outards. Yeah, get it. But not like the sexy way, but like the no Cenobite step. way. What are you doing? No step scepter, what are you doing? That step ladder has been just like a step ladder to me. And yet again, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the Come on in, the enemies are soft and the blood is warm. Yeah, alright. Poor Bane broke on that one. Yeah, no, I'm just like, I've, I've got, <laughs> no, no, I, I, yeah, not, not gonna, not gonna touch that one. Also, I've got a cow stick if we just want to pop one of those. Ooh, why didn't you say something sooner? Uh, because I figured one more rift would do the trick because he's at level 61. Remember, these are rifts at hard. Yeah, I know. And it's also just a cow stick. Like, I don't think it's gonna get to 10 levels on its own. Also, I kinda hate doing them. There's the truth. <laughs> I had to let him hang himself enough. Yeah. yeah. It's like, and here's the rope. Uh, Bloodshard Gobby on me. Ooh. Come get your gambling tokens. Wait, what? Blood Thief on me. Oh. Oh, you're over there. I'm looking around like all of us ran to me. Northwest. Isn't that... I'm making that joke either. Isn't that Kanye's kid? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I... Yeah. I Isn't nuked him. Kim went from one mentally challenged person to another. I will not 
Who's the current one? She's dating um, that guy from Saturday Night Live. Oh, yeah. Pete hey, Davidson? Yeah, the guy who's known for his dad dying in 9 11. Oh, this is gonna be fun. It's no. like 3 a.m. I don't. <laughs> yeah. We're, 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 we're done with the sense making that left hours ago. Alright, hold on, I'm gonna pop that. Oh, you popped it, damn it. Uh, I didn't mean to, it just happened. No worries. <laughs> it's okay, it happens to everyone. It's just, it's been a while since I can. Just kinda got a little excited. Head up high. No, I wasn't even thinking about it. Are you thinking about baseball? I don't know. I'm not really thinking at all. There's like a tuna castro in my fridge I kind of want. Yeah, that sounds kind of amazing right now. Uh, after this run, I think we're going to go step away, grab my sub. And go to no, we, we got to get you to max level. Right? Oh, I can, I can get max level while feasting on a sub. <laughs> Giggity. You say that like that would be the first time it's happened in that context, but no. Well, no I never. I did not imply the, the the presence or lack of it happening before. I'll pop the fucking. Gesture of Orpheus. That is loud. All right, hang on. I'm gonna go grab my sub and a drink. I'll be right back. Good luck. If I don't make it back, tell your wife I love her. Well, hope, don't don't leave yet. Let me let me open the fucking let me open the thing first and then walk in. All right. I'll clear the doorway. My kung fu kicks. Rakers, striders, yeah. All right, Thelonious is hitting around. That's good enough for me to start running around and killing shit. Like you, you do have a red gem in the helm, right? That's a loud silence. That's a no. It is a loud silence. So I did a little test today. Uh oh. Did you pass? Well, it wasn't me being tested. Who was it? My child. Did they win? Uh, well, a product was tested on my child. Was it poison? I thought that's illegal. It depends on the the methodology. This method, no. Um. All right, child testing's back. You heard it here first, guys. Yes. Doozy moms choose GIF because their kids approve. Well, I got some impossible meat. You're quoting hard on this one. I like impossible meat. It's horrible I, for you, though. High sodium, but my god. Uh, yep. 
any other context, that would have been the perfect fucking joke. But I was, I gave it to her. She's like, good. I was like, yeah. No meat in it. She's like, yeah, there is. So I was like, want meat? That's it's not true. That's impossible. Kind of how it feels. That's not true. That's highly unlikely. I will not do that. Don't evict me. I'm still collecting. <laughs> Is it people? Ah. Uh... No, it's mushrooms and beets for the most part. But a veggie burger that bleeds is a nifty thing. <laughs> That's what she said. Probably. Good. Don't do it. We gotta do some more Nephilim whiffs. You guys missed a bunch of farmers. I'm clicking on you because I thought that you were running ahead and you're, you're not. They're not even in here, Keith. It cannot Where are you done. going? Oh, I can still get XP. No, wait, wait here. He has the pylon thingy. What you ask is I do. I'll be out of here in just a minute. I'm just collecting all the money that you guys left behind. I have cows. Yeah, we will get more gold and higher difficulties. Yeah, but slain farmers drop several stacks. We also have a full thing of bounties that we are waiting to crack if you're looking True. for money. We need to get you guys the 70 to crack. <laughs> all right, well. Nobody came to me in my pylon. Where were? Oh, I'll I'll come to you. I'm sad. On my way. You can just pour. There's stuff. We did it. I should Yay. hope so. I deal like a hundred million damage with my kick. Why do I keep making cows? Keep it, sir. Are you using a cow stick? Uh, Found down. Yes. The bovine bardiche. Cow stick. Yes. Bard yeah, I'm using cow stick. It's my weapon of choice. So many cows were beating them with their own cows. Moo 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 moo. That's epic. I will not do that. Cowabunga. No. Hey, chat said it, not me. It's totally their fault. Cowabunga. Oh, no shit. I gotta go back to town. Hey, Heath. Yeah. What do you say to the mailman when you walk out of the house and, like, you're face to face, like, that awkward situation? Dad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at a pylon. Can you come click it, please? He ran away again. Then I'm clicking it. Fuck it. I can't just not click things. It's too loud. Like it's it was so very hard. wrong, and I actually came right back. You couldn't wait. I'm sorry. It was never taught patience. See, I have 
trauma from people leaving me and not coming back. Especially for milk. I mean, I wouldn't leave you for milk, but like... Being impatient, yes. I think he's saying he's leaving you. For Bane. Okay. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> that, that should probably not be my response to every fucking raid that comes in, should it? <laughs> that is the incorrect response. <laughs> You're like, that motherfucker just stopped streaming for a couple weeks and look at him, can't even take a fucking raid anymore. Hey, Dresden, how's it going, man? God. It's 3 a.m. Oh, Pummel Party. Oh, that's like that free fucking... Uh, is that the... It's like Mario Party, right? It's well, like well, Mario Party's games, right? Raiders. For those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Bane Falcon. I like beards. I like beer. I like bacon. Wait, did they just... Is that the one where they just did a Night Before Christmas thing? Because oh. it looks so cute. And yeah, welcome in, Tricky Nikki. Pummel Party? I don't know. I remember seeing somebody play it like a year ago. But, uh, yeah, no, we're just rocking out on the new Diablo season. We're going to do some uh, Stream Raiders PvP tomorrow. Uh, just kind of doing our good times with good friends and, and, and beer and me being able to stay up late because I don't have to work in the morning. And yeah, it's fun. Oh. Bane. Yeah. I'm going to throw two games out there. I want to know what you think. Okay. Gang Beasts. I'm hungry. I don't know why you'd be hungry there, but okay. Um, would you play it, though? Huh? Gang Beasts, would you play it? Uh, that's not the question you asked. What do you think of the game? Well, you said, you know, there are two I'm names out there, and I'm going to ask, it. what do you think? I'm First, I'm hungry. I'm What's it. the second one? Uh, do it. You're probably hungry, too. But it really doesn't matter. I need a serious answer. Oh, I was uh, the, my second answer was going to be quesadilla. I think 12 is the answer. Uh, nothing wrong with that. You guys figured you should get some rest because of five. In the, yeah. Like, well, hey, yeah, all good, man. Taking down. Wait, taking down light. What the fuck do you do, Dresden? Gang Beast? I have no idea what the fuck that is. And also, I've got such a backlog of everything else. I'm afraid of saying, yes, I'm interested in playing a game because I, I, it'll probably be forever until I get to it. That is also too loud. Why Why are half of these songs too loud? Because that's the way Gandhi intended. Well, Gang Beasts is a physics-based fighter game. Okay. Where you play uh, guys that look kind of like Oogie Boogie from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay, and what's like, like what what do you get from defeating things? Uh, the joy of beating your friends. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And like throwing them into meat grinders and such. Yes. <laughs> They're not mm. your tool. The other game is called Rubber Bandits, and it's currently on Games Pass. Mm. And it's essentially a similar game. Or think uh, Payday meets Fall Guys. Oh, Payday. Yeah, like Payday 2, the heist. Not the candy bar? No, I was thinking... Um, it's, it's Crackdown, right? The superhero cops? I guess. Payday is the, the one where you're the criminal. I know, I know what Payday is. It's Phasmophobia, but with, with crime.
more like Ocean's Four, but okay. I will not do that. It's a party-based game where you use the equipment provided to do the different things, and random shit occurs. Phasmophobia, but with crime. Fair enough. Crimophobia. Now with three seashells. Or like think Smash Brothers with Prime and guns. That's nothing like Smash. What's the Smash Brothers part? The way the gameplay unfolds, where it's party based and not like HP oriented immediately. Just had a sandwich, not a supper. Whoops, I had the thing. No, I hit the I hit the thing. Ow. There we go. And of course there's nothing up here. Motherfucker. You golly Bane, aren't we just a couple of lucky chunts? I got a shot. Smash Brothers, but not at all. <laughs> oh, it's it's as much like Smash Brothers as, you know, hate it, it is do Plasma. But, yeah, you know? It's like Battletoads, but double. Dude, I love Battletoads. Oh god, they're flying in over everything. What you ask is impossible. Mine. Craft. Tom. Beer. Weeper. Van. Helsing. Nice. Boobs. Yeah. All right, Thelonious port to me. Hey, Thelonious is isn't even playing with us. Just dying. Actually, with the legendary I got, I actually can do a little bit better now. Unfortunately, 
So, I found something unfortunate out, Bane. Oh. Um. So, there is a company who a lot of people have heard of, but don't necessarily know to the extent at which they're involved in uh, internet stuff. Uh, they're they're called Tencent. <laughs> Are you joking, right? No, no, no. Things online? No, no, no. Wait, no. Was that a joke? No, there's follow-up. Uh, because there are people watching and listening. That don't know who Tencent is? Probably. Or don't know the extent to which Tencent is involved in things. Involved in, like, owning the world? Sure. Tencent has a Chinese uh, social media site called QQ. Mm-hmm. Well, they were taking down LGBT people's profiles. As they should. Oh. <laughs> You're Sorry. really talking about tiny social media, so like, what are you expecting? But wait, there's more. Tencent also owns the upcoming Twitch competitor, Provo. Yeah, which is why I'm, you know, this... This one might be fucking Bezos, but at least it isn't China. But they also own uh, Play, A-L-E-I. Mm -hmm. And videos recently released um, made the stuff that came out of Blizzard look tame. Fun. There was... Not 70 yet. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Compared by American standards? Um, they had a... Um, no, this is pretty rough by even foreign standards. Um, one of the videos that came out, and this these were at an official event. Um, they had male employees holding a bottle between their legs and women unscrewing the cap with their mouths. On stage. Yeah, happens. So, yeah. And then they had another one where the male employees got to give a vigorous rub down uh, publicly to their female co-workers. Frontally. Yeah, I mean, Asia, bro. No, nah, even other people, even other Asian countries were like, uh, right. no. Uh, is there a point to this other than Chinese megalomaniac company is also bad? Um, that if it's it's kind of the same disclaimer that you gave when the Blizzard thing started going down. These, yeah, but I don't play Tencent shit outside. Well, that just did. Uh, so when you see games like Don't Starve Together or anything on Epic Store. Because they own that as well. Pokemon Unite. Yeah. Call of Duty Mobile. Mm -hmm. League of Legends. So as it starts coming out, I'm giving you the same uh, disclaimer. Okay. You'll be prepared that if if the company is owned by Tencent, people might be poopy about it. I know you are such epic as of things. Yeah. I mean, so... I, I just, I just want to play video games and not have to, like... Yep, like, what am I want playing video games and not worrying about some random Chinese company having a really shitty party. Yeah, like, what am I gonna do about it? Like... It's like Blizzard. Like I'm playing Diablo 3 right now. I just I think about that kind of stuff and like then I think about the rest of the like crazy stuff in the world. I'm like, where do I draw the line? Like 
do I stop drinking milk? Do I stop eating meat? Do I stop wearing wool? Like, there's so much fucked up shit. Oh, I agree. Like I said, I was just giving Bane the same courtesy he gave me when the Blizzard thing. Because uh, this is starting to get a lot of attention. Do you, do you play anything Tencent? Uh, I'd have to double check. Because like you said, they have their fingers in. Yeah, they have been a lot. But those were the big ones that I, like... I think League of Legends would probably be the biggest. PUBG, Path of Exile. Yeah, PoE. Games. Yeah. But I mean, like, here's the thing, like, Tencent owning or being in partnership with PoE, like, the guys in New Zealand, Triple G, that make PoE, like, they're not doing this shit. It's not. Oh, I agree. Like, I know. So, like,. I think the biggest thing that upsets me is like people are going to see this they're going to boycott death of exile well they're just ruining an entire company and all of their jobs and livelihoods for those people it's it's something that's really hard oh i wholly agree like like what do you do do you just do you tell triple g oh like end your partnership with them and then we'll play just, again like yeah no it's not gonna happen like i said just trying to give bane the same uh courtesy he gave me because i have had people starting him oh no i get it i was just thinking i'm not gonna yeah well i appreciate the heads up also i don't know any 10 cent game that i play you know what 10 cent game you can play me 10 cents Polonius is still. I got a nickel and a couple pennies. Is that good enough? Yep. Just draw a 10 on him. Alright. I'll, I'll, put, I'll put the nickel on the end of the stream so I can just, you know, keep pulling it out after. Polonius, like, I swear to God, if you don't turn 70 in like five minutes. Right. <laughs> I feel like he is taking longer to get to 70 than like. Than, than, than we did for our entire everything. My At 67. <laughs> hmm. I think I got the um, the distance shard shard of hatred when you're 25 yards away or have three or four red, enemies. Red flames the red gem. You're, you, you've got one now, right? Yeah, I have the, um... No, Telonius. Um, yeah. Sliver of Terror. Oh, I guess we're out of the rift. Yep. Bye. See ya. How far... Can, can we just... By the way, I got a Griswold Scribbling. I love that item. It's not... It's, like, useless, but it's worth 50k. <laughs> Nice. Do you guys like to dance or? Oh, you you can dance if you want to. Mm. As long as you leave your friends behind. Oh, I can't. All right, I'm turning these quests in. See ya. So what happened? I'm I'm trying real hard not to do that on you guys. Just so you know. Yeah. Oh, it's like you can leave your friends behind, and I'm like, all right, cool. Turning these quests in. Deuces. Peace. Right. I just, I just want to do that so that I can, so we can finish chapter two, and I can get my fucking set pieces, so that I can actually carry them faster if we need to. I'm going to bed as soon as uh, get to the seventy, and we can pop those. Can't we pop those anyways? Does it matter? I don't know. Dead? No. It depends on how much of a friend you want to be. <laughs> like, you no, can. Like, they aren't level stuck like other things. Uh, no, they scale. Act. Or do they scale to the. I don't. 
I don't know if they scale to player, if they scale to uh, I don't game know difficulty. The level in this one, I'm popping about that. So the, like, if he is not either 70 or 69 after this, I'm. I'm just He's not gonna be. Who? Who is lobbing those barrels? Me. What move is that? How dare you, How dare you lob barrels? Bombardment. You're just trying to be friendly. Oh, channel piling by me. Come, come. On channel. my way. Just had to kill a, a blood goblin. There's so much blood. Blood in and blood out, my dude. Blood everywhere. But a channeling pylon is right up my alley. Um. Um. Let me give myself a nice little starter nest with death breath. Put on Sage's apogee. mic I use it is a neat worker bee do you dislike it do you like it are you attracted to its bright shiny yellow color I will say it is an XLR mic uh, I go into a recording interface but they are working on some just paint only sometimes Mm -hmm. What about the rest of the time? Paint eats him. Guess what I got? Paint? No. A Hellforge Ember. God damn it. Yo, me too. Cool. Yeah. What do you get? Yeah, it's a, a neat worker bee. They actually have a nicer model called the King Bee that they just redid because a lot of people don't like the fact that this is like a square mic. They don't like the bee aesthetics. Frankly, I love the bee aesthetics. But again, it's XLR, requires phantom power. Sorry about muting there for a second. I had a question about my microphone. Ooh. It's a Swiffer 4000. No, it's a neat worker bee. Sounds neat. It is. It has a little glowing bee on it and everything. And it's phantom powered. But it has one of the best signal to noise ratios and one of the lowest self noise on the market. So, Ooh. for a ninety dollar mic, it's not bad. Like it directly competes with like three and four hundred dollar microphones. It's ridiculous. That's cool. My um, my father's a musician. He probably dig these. That's all he's done his entire life. Up until uh, July. Studio. Yeah. 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 Up until uh, the end of July, I were was managing a music store for the last five years. Here's some sandwich paper. <laughs> yeah, Red's like, yeah, the microphone was so good, but but she she heard your sandwich with paper. Yeah, I had to crumple it up. I'm sorry. You should um, mess around with RTX. 
I don't have an RTX capable card. Oh, that's sad. It's it's so nice, dude. No, I have a different uh, noise cancellation on. Just for some reason, it didn't get out. Wait, why is Chris off for this? What the fuck? No, Chris on. That's why. Crisp wasn't enabled. I like crisps. Oh, crisp is, uh... The noise suppression... Uh, plugin that Discord has built in. Uses AI. No, I like crisps. Yeah, well... As long as you mean Pringles, you're right. Yeah, I like their... It is, well, it's Three, it's plugged into what is essentially a mixer. Um, it's what's uh, called a audio interface. Essentially, unlike a mixer, which has all the sliders, uh, this just has gain. So it's designed to be as transparent as possible, and then you edit all the audio uh, on your computer. Shield pylon. my interface uh i'm using a motu m4 but that would be overkill for most people um like a behringer umc series or a scarlet uh 2i4 or something like that would be fine for most people my my audio system is way overkill like overkill overkill I actually have two interfaces. The other one's a cheap uh, M Audio uh, M Track Duo, which is a good one. Mingo would be a cool pet. No, strong no. Uh, they shit on themselves a lot. They're assholes. They're assholes. So and that's why you're not my pet. He's only level 68. Kick him out. I'm what? halfway through 68. Do you, what do you what do you have in your helmet? Red gem. Uh, red gem. Which level? It's okay. just a uh, level one right now. We, we go one more time. We go one more time. We go one more. We go one more time. What's the percentage on that? 33%? Oh, so that's at a level 1. Oh, sorry. The marquee. It's level 1 of what I will act, what I actually keep for those get, gems, get typically. Go get in the hole. I'm going. Get the hole. Now stay. You go the Floridians, they know the Flamingo and it's what yeah, yeah. No, seriously, Flamingos are assholes. Mm -hmm. Why are half of these things there we go, that's good. Yeah. I knew a Alright, So the M Track Duo that I use uh is hooked up to my streaming PC and I actually split my mic signal. Or to my gaming PC. So Steve. It allows me I was a carpenter. The freedom to be able to use my mic on both computers without having to do some funky funky shit to wire it around. I think it like 
4 a.m. My life just becomes an acid trip. Yeah. Well, in that case, allow me to strongly recommend uh, the streamers uh, Clubhouse Global, especially okay. on a Wednesday night. I'm straight edge. That's fine. Yeah, he likes to watch the face of concerts. No, no, no. They're, they're not even the worst one. If you want a fun time, go watch uh, It's Me Nut. I don't like music. Oh, It's Me Nut isn't really music. I don't like his name. Fine. I don't support it. The only people I support are Heath and Obama. Well, I'm insulted. Why? Because I'm neither of those people. But you didn't create rocket science. Wait, what do you think? Which one of us did, me or Obama? <laughs> Anyways. No, Red, you get yourself a Snickers bar. <laughs> and then you... You share. You can go... You can get by... Yeah, the BM800 is a generic circuit design for the mic, and you're probably running into a little USB dongle. Uh, that thing goes bad real quick. Putting that to a cheap mixer like the... There's actually an M-Audio uh, M-Track Solo. Uh, you, you want an interface. That's really what you want. I just remember the other part of this. What's the actual drop rate percentage of getting a legendary out of the Haradric caches on hard? Hmm. Oh, that's even worse. That, that's why you're getting a lot of stuff. I found a pylon. Oh. Uh... Ooh, pretty. You're 69. Yeah. You have 200 grand. Sorry, I just had to mistreat him. Well, do you need, like, my email? Or, like, my shipping address? Or... For the candy? Yeah, just email him a, uh... Uh, uh, Reese's PC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a singular one. No, 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 no. more. Who's get, who's getting that? Red's going to email uh, Jake a single Reese's PC. He's going to email him a Reese's PC. Yes. Mm -hmm. Singular. That's a, that's a hell of a trick. Emailing it. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna printer it. Who did he print it? Yeah. That's the word. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, Bane? Yep. Do it. Talonius, what are you doing? You need to come to us. I am. Thumb faster. Oh, well, never mind. Are you kidding? Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Holy shit, this is the fucking metal cover of a Dido song. Who's covering it? Uh, Fall of Envy. Nice. Power pylon. Up goes everything. Bell Bandas. Panera. They're really good. Not to be confused with Pantera. Talking about the bread place. Yeah, Sarah bread. Yeah, you know how long it would take to make a pneumatic tube from wherever you are to me. Like I'm, f I'm all for it. I'm just saying. <laughs> Duke. Now that M track solo would be the like, be the budgetist method I would recommend. Uh, I don't know what your budget looks like, but that is definitely the the best intro option. 
Um, you can step up to like a Personas audio box, that something like that. Nice. No, they weren't. And if you're looking at uh, interfaces, that was weird. Snake. Um, <laughs> and you're not sure what to get, you can always reach out. Tobias, how many more XP? <laughs> Tobias. <laughs> Tabitha. Tony. Todalis. Mm hmm. About halfway um, through. We're almost there, team. Keep it going. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, whoa. Living. Whoa, whoa. Can I do it? 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 Uh, I'm coming. Oh, we're halfway there. Whoa, whoa. I'm sleeping in my chair. You got the resist there. I can't make the jump. Oh, it didn't even oh, work. Are you fucking kidding me? What? What? Oh, wow. Uh, that's funny, though. Right, Red? Ooh, no, Moss! That's pretty good cover. I'm kind of digging this. Alright. I'm not going back in. We're turning this shit in. Dude, no, you got a little good 70. He's so close. How far are you? Uh, three and a half bars. I gotta check. Dude, that's just a one, like, riff. We just killed the riff boss. That takes no time. Greetings, Nephilim. We gotta do it for Tolonius. The shoer, the shoe person, the, sh the cobbler. We'll probably just do Leoric's Manor. Oh, thank you for that. I will uh, use it sometime. I can see if Deb Hell is here. I am surprised that didn't kill me just now. Nope. Don't just remember what doesn't kill you isn't trying hard enough. That's true. Um, yeah, it, that's the most affordable. That, which doesn't kill me better run like hell. <laughs> She said you can't find my go fast button. But I'm a gamer, I literally can. <laughs> I'll do it. <clears throat> no, no, no. No. So what you do is you're uh, you get you need an XLR cable. Click it. Um. Click it. Click so you just plug it. XLR mic. It. XLR into this. Go, go, go. This will USB into your computer. It's like a an external. USB sound card, if that makes sense. You'll also get better audio if you plug your headphones into it. And the fucking exit. What the f Um, my nephew has one of the Behringers, hey, and it works well. Hey. Thank God. My brother has a Behringer, and it works... It has some weirdness to it, but it works well enough. Um, 
I had the 404 HD and it was yeah. fine until it wasn't. I really liked them. But I'd say that this one has a little bit less self noise. Longer than our species will be around. I kind of feel like that's the case, like legitimately. You know, how long has Et 2 Brutus been been out? They should just send copies of it into space. Since at least last Tuesday. Is that the future? Tuesday? Yesterday's tomorrow's future or whatever? Tomorrow is just your future yesterday. Yeah, that, that one too. Which has a double meaning. This is why I like that one. You know what I like? Double cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers? Penetration? Dude, when you said that, cheeseburgers just came to mind so fast. Right. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm starting to get on like Jake's level now, which is dangerous. It's not dangerous unless you're driving. But I've crashed three cars, so... Like, today? Just, just for a start? Just for fun? Just like, mm -hmm. Oh my god. Crash Hang three cars in the morning? Crash three cars at night? Crash three cars before. It's it's a six of one. Makes like sense. honestly, there's nothing wrong with the Behringer ones. I'd say the Behringer ones feel better made, right. but the electronics inside are a little bit, you know. All the kahunas. This is this is for all the wiggly wogglies. Five bounties, it's gonna be glorious. Wow. I, I don't think I got a single legendary. Like, I got patterns, but. Uh, I don't know, whatever that was. Tons of plans, dude. Tons of set plans. I got a legendary shield and bracers. That's it. Yeah, you did get a ton of fucking plans, like... Right. Can you... Like, crafting is useless, though, so... No, there's some things that I actually use as plans. Yeah, like, very rare, though. You know? There's there's even uh, bar builds that use the plans. Uh, does anyone use a shield? Follow or yeah. And, uh... Who's the thorns build? Oh, they, they can't drop those. The fucking bag. Can't trade those. Can't trade it. Uh, Rip. Also, yeah, I got mantle of channeling. And I got this for you for your fucking forms build. That you can't uh. take because you know life sucks. Oh. I got a hell trapper. Lovely. Don't forget to, uh, hand in your chapter to, how do I hand it in again? We haven't done chapter two yet. Yeah, but how do I get my chapter one again? It auto does. It auto does. Good for me. It only, you only have to opt into it once you hit Slayer. Right, well, chapter one doesn't have a reward. Uh, yeah, it's chapter two and above. So, so I don't know who's still going to be up for a bit, but 
I want to do expert level. Yeah. No, that's gonna be also, that is battle being ready. I'm getting off, guys. Oops. Or we can just jump over to master. Do you see Bane? Want to be masters with me? Uh, I want to take a look at some of my stuff first. Or to weapon property to a socket. You guys have a good night. No, you. Or morning. One of those is probably better. Shouldn't have done that. All right. Channeling your inner Hagrid. Right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Pick up your mantle of channeling. No one can take it. Huh? <laughs> Oh no, we can use that? It's from one of the boxes. Oh no, I think it might have actually been from two hours ago. Oi. I got one too. Like, it doesn't do me any good. Well, it will. Yeah, like, I'm not using channeling. Mine will. Because, uh, Tempest Rush. Yes. And my set. For this season that they're dropping me is Monkey King Nuoko. Ooh. Weeping Wind. I want this pet very badly. There was a game that came out for the 360 called Naughty Bear, and that's all I can see. That bear. Five gems. So all I need to do is a Nephrift at Master Higher, Adria 70 Master Higher, Siegebreaker 70 Master Higher. And that'll get me through chapters two and three. Nice. It will come with a USB cable. It will not come with an XLR cable. But you can get an XLR cable on the cheap. So. I recommend seismic cables. Um, get one. You can get a, si a solid seismic cable. For. So you said. Greater Rift. Uh, Nef Rift. So yeah, uh, Nef Rift on Expert or Higher will get me Chapter Two done. Yep, and then Nef Rift on Master or Higher, and then Adria and Siegebreaker will get three done. So if we just jump up to Master, yep, Adria Siegebreaker, and the Rift, yeah, make the run, do the thing, kill the Rift. Dag's a solid brand, too. Who has lead? Yeah. Eh? I do not have. Hmm. Do 
give lead to me? I don't know. Well, I don't know if I have it, but I know that I can't change the difficulty. But I don't know if that's because of you guys might still be in game. I am not in game. I am on menu. Check it now. Me. Nope, I am. I do not have lead. Only available to party lead. Only available party leader. We're going to master. So you have it on act one. Has joined my party. My foes gave oh, did it away. switch? My yeah, bad. of course. Eight, seven, six, five. We got the Nef Rift, then we got Adria and Seed Rift. I can do the long run. Which one's the long one? Oh, they're both are. Well, I already clicked on this one. Seed Rift, alright. Chance to run to. Adria, what I've been saying. I'll lose them. What you ask is important. Your flaws are revealed. I will not do that. Got Adria. I'm almost here. Give me a second. I need spirit. Yay, Paragon Point. Let me uh me do the port thing real quick. Alright. Take it. Guard of Hatred.
Bane and I are on it tonight. We're just choo choo. Right. It, yeah. It, 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 we're, we are at the point of like, we do this, we get massive fucking loot. Oh, hey. Good chess. I just heard weird music. What was that? Back here. Here, this will help. <laughs> Quick, scatter! On me. On my way. I will not do that. Become clearer. I need to go back. There we go. Chapter two and chapter three. Chapters, chapters, who's got the chapters? Feels good. Oh, it's almost two. Probably time for you to take off on stream. Hey, deep stream. Thank you for jumping in. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Always, always a pleasure to have all the friends. Oh, I forgot that I disabled my overlay. That's why I'm like, wait, when did you say that? 44 degrees of cold in the room? It was the last that Yeah. So my roommates actually turn on the heat tonight. I'm like, ooh, I guess it is actually getting chilly. It's like, it doesn't feel oppressive. It, it feels like, you know, the appropriate thing to do. But I'm like, oh, yeah. What the fuck do you do? Soul Harvest gains the effect. These are out. Yeah. Then, then maybe you should not do more more crafting just a thought <laughs> but i'm almost done are you though are you Finish Santa Jack and Sandy Claus. Nice.
place. Something else for it, didn't I? No. No. Oh, did I break that? I guess I did. Because I'm like, who the fuck's ever going to use something with haunt? Not me. So I ditched it. And, and now I need it. Because I'm not good at this. So I kind of like the, this is such a weird trade-off and I don't know. Huh? Fragment of destruction. Move unhindered through enemies. I have. Yeah. Uh, each enemy you pass through receives the mark of destruction for seven seconds. Marked enemy that dies removes one second from one of your skills on cooldown. If the mark of destruction expires before the enemy dies, you lose 2% of your maximum health as damage. Yep. Marks are not applied if you are below 35% health. Yep. It does better things later. I mean, I'm going to upgrade all of them at some point, I assume. Ooh, extra gold for monsters, extra experience. Reduce resource cost, 25% life, reduce cooldown of all skills. Well, fuck. I mean, most of the stuff I hit doesn't survive for seven seconds. Yes, I have played Path of Exile. It's actually still installed on my PC. So what do we need to do? Oh. To forge a weapon to a socket. Key warden, key warden, key warden. Key warden. E2, T4, T4. Apparently what I ask is impossible. I've made a note of, of this complaint. Let me take care of that one real quick. Doing. 
doesn't really answer the question huh doesn't really answer the question <laughs> uh uh whatever i can't even call that a build let's see here I need to suck it, damn it. Oh, I'm trying to do my rift real quick. Mm, not a bad idea. Probably going to be ugly. Was it T. Jurf 20? Yeah. No, I'm going to do the same. Because what? T. Four pieces. The. Uh... I'm gonna do some dumb shit. In the worst case, this fails miserably. not the right I'd like to say it's ugly, but I hit for a hundred million, so. Nice. I mean, 30 million on the low end. that as long as I'm killing stuff with sweeping wind up it stays up. Yeah, True. Uh stream, the music that's currently playing right now is the new Harris Heller album called Evergreen. It is one of the winter theme uh, lo fi albums. The other ones are a little too Christmassy. Uh but this one is just wintry enough. Like this is uh Chilling at like a ski cabin sort of music. Hmm. Like, no jingle bells, but it still clearly has that winter vibe. So, and since it's uh, stream beats, it is the MCA free. So, if that's something that bothers you, too bad. Uh, oh, you're concerned about having you know, music muted. You're in luck. Like, if this music being DMCA free bothers you. <laughs> Actually, it's it's even more than DMCA free. It is almost copyright uh, free. Like, one of the kind of things the only reason they have it is to avoid corporations from fucking them. No, Harris Heller makes a shit ton of money with this. Nice. Um, because, so here's the thing. When you stream a song, you get like a third of a cent, right? So, say you have, you know, an album with 15, you know, 
15 tracks. So you're getting five cents per album play. So then you take that and the album gets played on loop. Right? Uh, all right. So that kind of adds up per person over hours of people streaming. And then you multiply by how many streamers are doing it. And smash cut to Harris Heller making over $150,000 a month. Passively. Nice. By letting people stream his music. Which is why whenever I talk to musicians, I'm like, listen, letting people stream your music is a good thing. Yeah. And make you money. Because it's not like we're running out and like, oh, going to keep shuffling and DJing this bullshit. No, we're going to put the album on and let it loop for like five or six times. Because yeah. let's face it, we're lazy. Yeah, it's like, hey, I'm doing an eight hour stream today. And I've listened to two albums. So what's that say? Oh, man. Timer's at one third. I'm at uh, 65 percent ish. You got it. Better. Plus, I got my uh, my stink pants. Nice. I've had. <laughs> they're still level 16. Eh, that works. When I play solo, I still have that paranoia of like hardcore. Yeah, I know if I'm not right now. What was that? No, one of the songs on this I know. And I'm like, why am why is that familiar? I'm nowhere near the places on YouTube where I know this from, but I guess hey cool they're from other things stuff. I will not do that. I'm recognizing some of the DMCA metal things from here as being some of the DMCA metal things from other things that I Oh yeah. Yeah, copyright free music. There's only so much of it. Um, and then there's like semi copyright free stuff where you'll have, like if you have a subscription, you can use it as much as you want. Like pretzel. I think that's kind of a lame way of doing it when, you know, you have much cooler entities just handing it out for free because it's a mutualistic benefit. Ugh. Damn it, Ember, get back here. Bonk. Two hit kill on Ember. That was fun. Bane of the Powerful. Yeah, I wonder what gem I'm going to level up. Unfortunately, that was only level 13. Yeah. But maybe since I spanked it so brutally, they'll be like, yo. I got four G Rift stones anyway. Don't need to apologize for audio questions. Um, can you leave the audio interface always on, or do you turn it on and off daily? Uh, six of one. Uh, you'll hear different answers from different people. I leave mine on all the time. Uh, the M Audio one that I have doesn't have any sort of display on it, so there's nothing really to like cause a burn issue. Uh, my Motu, I probably should turn it off because it has an LCD. But it's LCD, so it'll last for a while. Hey, I can now do level 15. What level is that making you do? Oh, I'm doing it the other way. How's that? I'm doing a uh, Torment 4 Nephilim Rift. 
so I do one of these, and then I'll have 20 unlocked. You know what that means, right? Uh, After we do this, we go hunting Key Wardens. <laughs> After we do this, I'm going to wind down and determine do I want sleep or food. See, I'm at this unfortunate moment where I can't do that. Where what? I'm at the unfortunate time where I can't do that. Oh, yeah. right as I'm hitting like a triple elite pack stream raiders battle is ready That works. Kind oh, of hey, condo pile and bar. Guardian. Good start. Zunamasa's helm. Ouch. I don't use the helm when I'm on Zunamasa's. Well, something you can wear for now. No, I've got the set helm that I need to wear for right now of the starter set so I can get to the point of doing the rest of this shit. Ah. Makes you feel any better. I already had to tear down my ancient that I had. Oh. Like, yeah, yeah, it's just fucking hell. Uh, At least it wasn't a primal. But I, not yet. Primals will start fucking you over very soon. Oh, good, Red. Thank you for hanging out again tonight. And as always, definitely a pleasure. Sleep well. We will catch you on the flip side. So I made a Death's Bargain build a while back. That was really fun. Nice. Where it had nothing but life per hit. And then all my damage came from uh, my life per second. Huh. Alright. Like, it wasn't going to high-end anything, but it was just funny because it was an AoE. Just constantly dealing it. Yeah. It was like, I just walk around blowing stuff up. So I assume you already finished your uh your your T4. Yep. Yeah. I'm about halfway done mine. 
I tried a T6 and then I evaporated and then I'm like, wait, I'm using my build wrong. That is way too loud. Besides my initial conduit pylon, I haven't seen any. What? Besides my initial conduit, I haven't seen any pylons or shrines. I just hit one conduit. And I'm like, ooh, nice. Or ring. Of course, the enemies are spaced out just enough to let my sweeping wind die down. Of course. Why, why would it be otherwise? really need the belt for the but not even a belt like for the set but mm -hmm. makes it so my sweeping wind stacks it doesn't stack oh yeah Is that the build where the sweeping wind just, or where the wind, yeah, the sweeping wind is a circle, so that's the one where it just takes over, like, the entire screen and fills everything? Uh, something like that. It doesn't have where, to. Where it grows wider and wider. No. Uh, what it is is sweeping wind always stays up, and then you, like, I usually use the two-piece for this set, which is, uh, uh, your damage taken is reduced by 50% while sweeping wind is active. But uh, four pieces every second sweeping wind spawns a decoy next to the last enemy you hit that taunts nearby enemies, then explodes for a thousand percent weapon damage for each stack of sweeping wind you have. Uh, so I want the the thing that makes it so that I get a total of 50, uh, 13 stacks, not three. Right. Um, and then when I get six piece, it's a lashing tail kick, tempest rush, and wave of light have their damage increased by fifteen hundred percent for each stack of sweeping wind you have. Having that go up to you know twelve uh, thirteen, yeah, it's it's the big boom hit. Uh, I like the one though that makes it so that uh, as long as you have sweeping wind up, tempest rush costs, uh, tempest rush regenerates mana. That sounds pleasant. <laughs> so then you just start like sprinting through everything and killing it all and. Taking almost no damage. And then murdering things harder and yeah. <laughs> and then rinse repeat. And never stop. Not rinse repeat and just never stop. <laughs> I 
like I've heard the other one. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess like that. Nice. You went big, huh? Huh? You went 21. Yeah. Also, yay, 481 on the leaderboards Witch Doctor. Woo. <laughs> like that fucking matters in the first hour. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I still gotta do my, uh... Oh, yeah, uh, Kinetic. I heard that, like, there's eight different fucking points where it's just gonna break you and rip your fucking soul out. What is? Um, the new expansion's, uh, main story quest for Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't pull punches. It, like everybody is saying, they they have completely outdone themselves. But no, that's not the right button. That one is. There we go. You're not the right button. Surprise. Ah. Hi. Why would you do that? I'm like a D tier streamer at best. Send your people to someone good. Oh. <laughs> Let me at least give Twitch a once over before I before I say fuck you now. Are you okay? I won't be mad. I won't be mad about Blackthorn. Pissed. Ah, fuck it. I'm lazy. You're easy. <laughs> Sounds like my. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my love life. All right. Everybody who's still here, still awake. You guys fucking rock. Even with the DC earlier. And even though he knows this is coming because he's literally in the fucking voice chat. Yeah, dude, the duo's worth it. Like I said, I have the duo for that exact reason. I play guitar and I put my vocals through it. If you're on, if you're not subscribed, copy that first one. If you are, copy that block of text. It will come through if you're actually subscribed. Unlike my Streamlabs bot, which I might be getting rid of, which is why I haven't resubbed it. But so, we're gonna go be saying hi by having two PCs. I can do my guitar room. stuff in here. I can do my Mostly other stuff there, and I can stream my guitar stuff. Try to find somebody else. I love you too, boo boo. All right. In all honesty, I could raid into um, uh, Dioxide, who is one of the best demon hunters out there. If you guys ever want some demon hunter uh, tips, definitely check him out. I could raid into uh, Princess of Darkness, who is also rocking and has a great community and things like that. Otherwise, most of the people are playing Stream Raiders, Phasmo couple other things here or there i'm not really feeling any of that stuff right now so yeah fuck it i'll just drop them in on you because if <laughs> if, if if this worked out well enough to this point with you in here i might as well go ahead and keep a good thing going hey so uh yeah guys we're gonna be back in with stream readers pvp during the day today uh whenever i wake up uh yeah Ugh. Knock that out for about four hours or so. And, uh, yeah, then we will do things and get stuff and continue finding ways to stream and also do full-time job. Yay, fun stuff. Trick is to not sleep. Huh? The trick is to not sleep. Yeah, no, fuck that. Like, I'm literally debating right now between sleep and food. And, and it might just be sleep that wins because I am tired. But I'm also hungry. But for food, I'd have to wait for food to get here. Regardless, rating in. Love you guys. Be safe. Be well. Be healthy. 
catch you on the flip side. Peace. Dippity dippity. Hello, Baconators. I'd say I'm surprised, but I'm not. I was wow. there. Wow. What up, Kinetic? Look, radar, radar's over here. What? Right. Who comes here? I'm like the Kathy Griffin of streaming. Like, I'm D-list at best. <laughs> God, we, we all kind of are. <laughs> So what's up, everybody? My name is Sin. I'm a variety streamer. I stream pretty much every day. I take requests and recommendations, uh, and I look to collaborate. So if there's a game you want to see me play, a game you think I should play, or a game you'd like to see me play with you, let me know. Uh, I was just playing this game, uh, Diablo 3. You might have heard of it at some point in the past, like, almost 20 years. <laughs> um, With uh, Bane, who, who dragged you people over here for some... Reason. Thank you for that, by the way. Wait, what I do? You subjected your people. Oh, that seems like a horrible idea. Oh. Especially since I'm level 70 and I'm Paragon 28 and my pants are level 16. That, that's all you need to know about how I play these games. The pants have been working, the pants stay on. No. I know. Oh, Grubhub drivers are done, so I can't double dip and accidentally get a Grubhub thing tonight. Grubhub has a promotion right now for Final Fantasy XIV that if you Ooh. use the code for the new expansion or whatever it is, uh, you you get a uh, you get an emote in game for your character to eat a slice of pizza. Well, that's cute. It, it, it is so fucking arbitrary that I'm like, that actually sounds awesome. And I'm totally going to order Grub. Like Grubhub's my base delivery service, anyways. But I'm like, I will totally order Grubhub just for that. I don't have enough spirit. I'll always wonder why, like, certain rifts just seem easier than the level that they actually are. Uh, mob density, creature type. No, like the creatures just drop. Yeah. Bunch of little tiny things versus the big uglies. Also, you're, are you supposed to still be on the face screen? I don't know. No one complained about it. I'm kind of waiting to see. <laughs> <laughs> now the true question is how long have you been on that screen no i just brought it on as soon as you're ready oh, okay. i've t i've been tempted to do that just run an entire night with it to see yeah. how long it takes somebody to be like um are we supposed to be seeing something oh <sighs> Probably should have brought, like, a minion. Yeah, I thought that too, about halfway through, and then I'm like, no. It feels cheap. Yeah, they, they, they don't deserve this yet. I just have to be careful that everything I run through, I have to kill very quickly. Kinetic says, you don't have any other ideas, game. Any other kind of ideas. Oh, then bad ideas? Yeah. No, no, that's not true. I also have drunk ideas. Those are just bad ideas in a different package. Yeah, but they're so much worse. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Bad ideas with an excuse. No. <laughs> excuse implies I'm trying to rationalize it. <laughs> They're bad ideas with jet fuel.
So how's everyone's nights doing? More importantly, what can I do to make your nights better? I assume many of you are asleep, as it is currently uh, 5.30 in the morning Eastern Time, which puts it at what? 2.30 Pacific? Yeah, I don't want to think about that. But yes. Back here. You're not going to damage me with that. There we go. I've spent millions of gold trying to get this one weapon to have a socket. So I have to do it through the Mystic. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a shield paladin. Fellow degenerate. My dear sir, I actually start work uh, in about 40 minutes. Assuming my my work arrives on time. It haven't been lately. It's been closer to 7 a.m. And I have an hour and a half. Ah uh, yes, the the classic combination of a shield and the fart pants. <laughs> e thirty. Stop giving me the same portrait. I don't want it. I will not do that. How are you doing, France? It's been a while. That scene's over. All right, well, rest well. That I'd go pass out, but I'm starting work in the next uh, 30 to 90 minutes. But I'm going to be here the whole time. Mostly because I'm very pissed that I didn't get a chance to do the thing from last season. Oh, I totally forgot to, do, uh, to to farm up the rest of the ethereals. I remembered and I kept trying and it always was giving me the same one over and over. Apparently there was a way to uh, kind of not glitch it, but uh, puzzle rings on low level characters. Yeah, tried. It didn't work? No. I had like 20 puzzle rings saved up. I had like nine of the same one for Necromancer. If I could have re-rolled it to different ones, that would have been fine. Yeah. Like, that wasn't an option they gave us. It was just like a middle finger. Hey, these guys have brought more, more bobbles. Nope, don't like that. That's not friendly. They're mean. Puking all over the floor and then throwing stuff at me. Not fair. So, Bane, can I make a suggestion? Sure. Eat first. I'm currently scrolling through and looking at what I want to order. Check out the meltdown. And hard to look. It cannot be done. 
Granted, it's not Grubhub, I don't think. Said you can always check out the meltdown. It doesn't hurt, but I don't think they're melt. I don't think they're Grubhub. Like my, my my choices right now are basically a gas station, uh, twenty four twenty four hour McDonald's, twenty four hour Del Taco, twenty four hour uh, uh, Taco Bell. Hey, that guy got melted. Ooh, LOD. I can start that build already. Yay. These are the shirt I need. Oh, it's not. Still gonna want it better. Okay, like legitimate question here. Like I, I I'm for some god awful reason actually wondering about this. What kind of masochist orders a large black coffee? with Taco Bell. Someone who thinks that their colon just isn't cleansed enough after the Taco Bell. <laughs> like, that's, that's all I'm getting. Have a great connect. It is legitimately a, a, a combo option for your Taco Bell meal. <laughs> like, <laughs> what is inside of you that needs to be removed so badly everything for that person everything needs to go <laughs> fire sale throw the whole person out oh, that is horrible that is too expensive oh there's your strop and don't need either don't want either I know I'll get a kajillion of them. Give me stock it. Stock it to me. Listen, Miriam, you're not Kadala. Don't do this. Mm -hmm. My sins? Yes, my sins need to be cleansed, but I'm still not going to use Taco Bell and black coffee. Right. Like, I get it, but there's a line. And, like, it's weird because I would sooner eat Taco Bell than some of the other taco places out there. Like, I know a lot of people stand Chipotle hard, but Chipotle has had way more, like, major health issues come out of their kitchens than pretty much anyone else. It's yeah. like. Like, I'd rather take my chances with Taco Bell and Chipotle. But if it was like, have Chipotle or Taco Bell and black coffee, as much as I like black coffee, uh, I'm going I'm gonna take my chances with a Chipotle. Yeah, no. I don't want to be turned inside out. That, like, legitimately do not need to be made. But, like, I'm a fan of Coke Black, which was Coca-Cola and black coffee. Which which should tell you everything about how I feel in regards to black coffee as a beverage. Doesn't belong with Taco Bell. Well, I guess they're trying to say if you get their breakfast burritos, it, it's a thing. But 
I don't know. Close while you're browsing their menu. What the fuck? How the? Oh, you bitch. Hey, person, get fucked. You don't need to order through us. <coughs> yeah, the uh, that meltdown that I was telling you about, their hours were what caught my attention first. Yeah. But I was like, oh man, wonder what's open. Like the meltdown, never heard of it. I'm like, order now. All right, what's what are their what's their hours? I typed this in so much. Why are you having a problem? Like I could have the food. Now, DoorDash is being cool to me because I've never ordered to them, so they're like, "Yeah, we're not going to charge you anything." So, like, forty-five to fifty-five minutes, I could get something. But like, and no delivery fee. But, but their hours had me because it was like, "Come here, hours." Yeah, full menu is available from 5.35 a.m. to 3.44 a.m. What the f- They're closed for like an hour or so? Bean, I guess? <laughs> Maybe. The Denny's? I don't think so. But Denny's doesn't close. Especially not to clean. <laughs> Fuck no. That's where they get their flavor from. Well, I, I see one negative review. Like five star, five star, one star. OMG, delicious. Food's great. Ordered breakfast melt and ended up with salmonella poisoning. <laughs> that wasn't advertised. I don't know, homie. Maybe wash your hands first. Oh, by the way, I got a puzzle ring for next time we play. Nice. Yes. All right. So, so she's not willing to give me a socket, so I got to go hunt key wardens. I go kill Belial at T2. Uh, I'm gonna go, go hunt a key warden. See how that goes. He said nervously. Famous last words. He warden this way. I figure out how I can get the uh, how the sweeping wind comes up because it doesn't seem to come up reliably. Kill Odeg, that's that's cool. to get Taco Bell. This is like right there and they've got some event menu items that I really enjoy right now. Yeah. I would kill to have a Del Taco down here. I don't think might soon. Dude, they, Steak and Shake is going under because they decided to stop it from being 24-7 and make it uh, kiosk only. 
I'm sorry. I don't think I've ever been to a steak and shake in daylight hours. Ah. Oh, they close at like 10. Oh my god, I hate you. Mm, that... You've left us with one McDonald's, a Starbucks, and a Denny's, and a Waffle House. Like, I hate you. You have forsaken me. Stop doing that. There's two. Yeah, no, that, that, is, that is unnatural. That is... I agree. And apparently so does everyone else. Because it looks like they're... Uh, not going to be around much longer. Yeah. Way up there. I will not do that. <clears throat> All right. Oh, hey, goblin. <laughs> Deep move, people. Can't be going giving me a phobia about not getting damaged. Ah, uh, no way. Don't hate me. Baron just dropped me a door to the vault. Nice. No, not the cow level. I don't. No. I don't want this. I don't want it. Thought I saw the gold animation. I didn't. I saw gold falling. So I want to thank you again for the raid earlier. Yeah. Most of the people come for stream raiders, so I don't, you know. Don't entertain quite as well. Somebody called me a stream raider streamer the other day, and I'm like, well, I. <sighs> yes, but no. Right. I'm like, you're, 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 you're not wrong, and I feel bad about that, but I, I do other things. Right, guys? Right? What kind of taco? A lot. A lot. Good answer. Give me a I got. Crispy chicken taco. Nice. Ranch chicken roller. Uh, green sauce chicken roller. Chipotle sauce chicken roller, a stuffed quesadilla taco with carne asada, a uh, quesadilla, uh, beer battered fish taco, two caramel cheese bites, and a spray. 
for the longest time the only thing i could get a talk about was their uh, apple twists and the caramel apple or their cinnamon twists and their caramel apple and banana oh god i missed that one Like, I was having a problem with my throat, so it was just killing me eating anything even close to spiced. Yeah. Now it's like, hey, I don't taste anything. <laughs> Hello, Key Warden. That's right outside the gate. <clears throat> yeah, correct. I'm gonna be all ogre you. Do I do I need to order food at you know two almost three in the morning? No. You need to wake up your roommates by cooking. Fuck no. <laughs> but but also, does the thought of going to bed being you know food coma and, and fat and happy? After you know very strict budgeting over the past couple months while while waiting for first job paycheck, file. So I know I can take Gom at this difficulty. Belial might be a trick. What do you? What difficulty are you on? Uh, format four. No, you got it. Gom is easy. Gom is not my concern. Yeah, Belial's also fucking good. Hey, which one's Belial? Oh, he's the, 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 the one at the end of the... Yeah, oh, fuck him. I'm really good with my words tonight. Pulitzer Prize winning bullshit right here, my dude. Now. Do not touch me. Oh well. Remember, it's not hardcore. Fire Chain's Desecrator Shielding Vortex made it really difficult to kill a group of them. Do, 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 do. So earlier we were talking about how uh, people do dumb things with firearms, yeah? It was brought to my attention that there was a TikTok trend of dudes loading a firearm and pointing it at their testicles. Exactly. TikTok, TikTok is the devil. Huh? I said, uh, TikTok is the devil. But... Yes. Uh, sorry, it was AFK for a second there. Of course. Uh, I looked at the, uh, thermostat and I'm like, yeah, man, like the, the heat kicked on and it's like, it's actually really kind of warm in here right now. Huh, I wonder what it is. 70. We got a PC cooking right there. No, like, it was... <laughs> Apparently, it was fucking cold, cold. Oh, yeah, no, we're in our 40s tonight. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? That, that's a... That's an acceptable... So let's, let's get this shit on. So, uh, while you're AFK, I, I had mentioned... Remember how, uh... Earlier we were discussing that, you know, people do dumb things with firearms. Uh, yeah. Uh, there was a TikTok trend of dudes loading a gun and pointing it at their testicles and jiggling the trigger. You know what we call that? 
Darwin Award on technicality? Yeah. As they're removing themselves from the uh, gene pool. What? Yeah. You might be alive, but you're not reproducing, my son. Still counts as a Darwin Award. It's like, you know, guys. I just read possibly the only Kotaku article headline that I that I ever give a fuck about is, you know, first and foremost, fuck Kotaku. Yes. Keanu Reeves is super excited you all tried to mod Cyberpunk 2077 to fuck him. Sounds about right. Yeah, that, that's an actual Kotaku I... article that I, that I don't hate. Yeah. Rax. I'm genuinely concerned about how they're going to do the new Matrix movie. Yes, natural selection indeed. Yeah. And there are videos of, of it happening on TikTok. Um, I... I was I was chatting with some people online the other day, and essentially the their entire conversation boiled down to how like every single game that they've played over the past past five years is garbage. We need to find better games. They're not looking so, hard well, enough. This one was bad, and that one was bad, and this one sucks for this reason, and that one's bad for that reason, and this one's bad for that, like, and so on and so forth. And I'm like, what was the last thing that you actually liked playing? Like, well, the current one. And I'm like, and then you just shot on everything else. You know, that. And uh, what was it? Uh, Cowboy Bebop. You know, saying, nope, we're only getting season one, no season two. Like, in theory or impossibility the matrix like well my th i'm intrigued to see what they do like right but like i want to watch the movie to see how they like undo it right how, how are they unjesus in the end yeah yeah and like uh, well, my whole thing is everybody's there's a lot of people who are already chopping at the bit to be like they're gonna fuck that up too and i'm like can can we just, can everybody collectively... Wait for them to fuck it up first? Yeah. No, no, just, just, just take a step back and find something you enjoy. Yeah. If you enjoy not watching this movie, then don't watch this movie. But don't say how this, you know, ruined the integrity of everything else and destroyed your precious childhood memories of... Now that said, it is also good to give... Well, like decent criticism, fair criticism, like the whole Sonic the Hedgehog thing. Yes, we changed Sonic from being a fucking atrocity into being a movie that I wholeheartedly enjoy. Yeah. Um. Even even the doofy male, you know, male lead or whatever. Yeah. I, I didn't hate him. I, was... I had someone try to defend um, the new Call of Duty Vanguard. And there's two things that really get me. Uh, holographic optics in World War II which technically existed but they were used on anti-aircraft uh, like some rare anti-aircraft uh, guns and they were powered off of a car battery so you're not putting it on your uh, your 1911 and then the other one was uh, one of the one of the firearms I think it was the Sturm. Uh, the whole bolt like reciprocated out the back of the gun into the, the player's face. That does not sound. Not how? It, no, it's not how it worked. First of all, but like that seems like one of those animations that you look at and go, "That that's the gun hitting him in the face." Like I think we probably should have looked at that. Yeah. And like I brought that criticism up and someone was like, You can't Yeah, you know, just have fun with the game. I'm like, I have fun with the game, but like a fair criticism too. I know Belial moat me with that thing. Oh, I I had Discord pulled up over it. Yeah, he he uh he <coughs> wounded me. <clears throat> He got his whacking stick. Oh, yeah. 
That's why everything else is T4 and he's T2. Yeah, just don't get hit. I don't get hit. Seems easy enough. I have a poser and I just get hit. God. You know. People deal with Dark Souls all the time. But like, so again, my roommate's approach for Cowboy Bebop being like, hey, these are legitimate issues that I have with it because they had a platform to essentially make a really, really stellar black character, black coded character to be somebody to look up to and aspire towards. And instead they played out one of the most overused tropes, the absentee black father. Like that's a criticism saying, how dare, dare they use Johnny Cho for this before they even fucking had anything anywhere you're you're just looking for a reason to to, to, to piss yourself over it like it, that how dare they use johnny cho and how dare they make jet black black those are not valid criticisms of it no apparently even though they they credit the episode uh or the manga apparently it is not Part of that. Uh, hold on. His origin plays out in nearly identical fashion. Yeah. His origin, like yeah. the cops part, the, the 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 that part was cool. <laughs> now, to be fair. Yeah. If you if you actually watch Cowboy Bebop, he's not an absentee father. He does everything he can to be there. And it even at one point <clears throat> um uh, we see him sitting there telecommed into a wow. recital. Yeah. While Spike's getting his shit kicked in outside. Yeah. It was still the fact that he was Yes, he's doing what he can to phone in to do this, to get her a present. But very early on, it's like, but Kim's finally, or, you know, she's finally letting me talk to my daughter. So very much the whole aspect of he went to jail for five years. He is attempting to reconnect, but he was still gone. It, it was an angle they didn't need to play. And it was an angle that they didn't need to play up to that extent because it did become Jet's main driving force. And now that it was pointed out, like, I can't unsee it. But, but yeah, so back on track for The Matrix, I'm interested in seeing, yeah, how they undo the end of the third movie and allow for expansion and i'm also looking forward to see how many people try to throw a conniption fit about it because no matter what they do somebody's going to shit themselves oh absolutely you know, there's probably people already shitting themselves because the audacity of of it not being the wachowski brothers or wait, wait, wachowski no that's not the right i mean there are people shitting themselves over that yeah that, that was their names right wachowski yeah okay yeah yeah, that it's not going to be listed as the Wachowski brothers anymore. It's like, well, people grow. Sure, said he. Yeah. And isn't it actually the Wachowski sisters yep. now? Yep. Like, both of them? Uh, as far as I know. Yeah. So, get fucked. I don't know. Let's try this again. Oh, I dropped it down to T2. <clears throat> yeah. uh. Oh, much better. Hey, look at that. Paragon Ford. There are precisely... Three things I want from the new Matrix movie. T2. 
Keanu Reeves looking like a badass, but playing some fucking Jesus type stoner returned from the grave. Uh, Trinity looking hot as hell. And I rage against the machine song in the credits. That's it. That, that, that is all I request for the movie. Now, you were saying that you wanted a, uh, that, that you're nervous about the new Firefly. Oh, I'm not nervous. I'm fairly confident that Disney's going to completely fuck it up. See, my thing is, the Firefly was, when it was on Fox, was as risky as, say, Pirates of the Caribbean. I could see that. And with the way Disney handled that, there's a chance that they do some decency to it. There's also within all of it, because nothing's been confirmed in any possible point, but the rumors circling Firefly is that they they are intentionally aiming to remove the adult elements from the show in order to make it more marketable to a young teen audience. They might wind up doing it animated. Which I have mixed emotions. Oh. Something like that, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be horrible. <clears throat> but I'm but, sorry, like you, you you can't have, you know, the best little whorehouse in Texas in space. Yeah. Uh <laughs> ooh, look, they've got boy whores too. Uh, the entirety of Anara's character, the majority of Jane's character, it, you're, uh, oh, I agree. It, if you're gonna do it, just don't tear the bandit off and just fucking do it. Well, I was gonna say more, you know. <clears throat> don't dig up the grave don't dig up the grave just to actively shit in it Away with her munchkin. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna burn some of my shit so I can put a stocking in this thing. Go broke trying. Definitely don't. Don't care about that. There's, there's a lot of options. I really hope they, they decide to lean. Yeah. Remember, they also own Marvel, and they're having to push a little bit more mature in that. Right. So, uh, yeah, you, you, you want to know the way for me to take back any sort of a version that I have with this to just instantly be like, you know what? Fine. I'll shut the fuck up and see what happens. Hmm. Put Feige in front and in, in charge of the Firefly reboot. I mean, yeah, do it. The, the, yeah. It he he already has it unlocked. He's got he 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 more than proved his chops with Marvel. They gave him. Star Wars access, and he made arguably the best Star Wars content in the past five years. I would trust him, and almost only him, maybe Fevro, with Firefly. Oh. 
Oh, Bloomy, what's up? What are you doing, you beautiful soul? Or go the other option. Give it to James Gunn. I can see that. That's the person I forgot to shout out earlier because it was really just me. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. You sound like a weirdo. How you doing? Replace my pen. Maybe now that I've got all those, you know, all of those recipes, I can come up with something deep. Totally read that as boomy, and now I'm thinking about uh, Avatar. It goes very well. Frustratingly, uh, not getting up much of the stuff I need at the moment. So, chapter four, almost done. Five Nefrif, empty. So, I can do that, that. I think this is the set that's easy to do. I need to bring legendary power. I need to put a... I know it says ring, but it's not really a ring. It's just... I think maybe... Oh, there it is. How are you doing, Gloomy? And more importantly, what can I do to make your night better? Hey, with my buddy Bane. That's the one I tagged. He said he sounds weird, but he doesn't. Huh? Oh. I'm like, who said that? I'm like, wait, it was me. God, I'm fucking out of it. Me, I slandered myself. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, aren't we the ones to do that the best? <laughs> was I? We, we, we always protect our friends. We try not to let our friends talk down on it themselves. And it's always us who are the hardest on us. I am I definitely the hardest on Teleport here. <clears throat> So, Bane, you said, yeah, after this run, I'm going to be popping up some Valheim because I, I can do a little bit of light building. I want to show you the nonsense that I built. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's legitimate nonsense. Like, people look at my my building and they're like, that. <laughs> like, they built an entire community and I'm like, ha <laughs> Welcome to Fort Oceanside. I must wait for you to step in your Currently in the in the midst of transitioning to a larger facility. We gotta talk to the people who run the server and be like, hey, when are we gonna push for the next uh resource level because I want to make stone stuff kind of can't do that is this a server that, that you, you like snuck in because they kept it up all the time no it's actually a friend of mine so, like I got oh. whitelisted on it but like when we spawned we like we beat the boss who was like right near where we spawn in luckily and they all headed south and I'm like I'm going to check out north and I found a peninsula and I'm like this peninsula will be my home Henceforth. <laughs> Step one, turn from peninsula to island. Yep. Step two, turn from island to mountain. Yep. 
because the game has trolls. And the trolls, if they come across your house, can damage it severely. However, they cannot climb sheer rock faces. So my house is actually built up higher than the trolls. Like the ground that it's on. So, wait, what you're saying is that there's trolls in the dungeon? Uh, no. That's the thing, is there will never be trolls in my dungeon. Which, I want to say I'm really disappointed that they never, like, went deeper into that. Like, Hogwarts has a dungeon? It's a school. <laughs> like, that seems like something that needs to be discussed. Like, Professor Hagrid, why is there a... A disciplinary guillotine. Ha. Huh. Didn't have shown you that. <laughs> no, you kidding me? If Hagrid had a fucking guillotine, he'd be like, that's for capitalists. Nah, he'd be like, that's for uh, cutting cabbage. Yeah. Uh, big, stubborn heads of cabbage. That poached, the uh, radish. I would totally have an execution section for poachers. Nah, he's too soft, unfortunately. No, I, th I think that would be the one thing. I think that would legitimately be the one thing. Like, you know, if Fang ever catches his nail on the carpet and whimpers the wrong way, Haggard becomes a puddle. Somebody legitimately tries to poach dragons and things to, to kill them to use their body parts for other stuff. You see a side of Hagrid that isn't supposed to be seen. I also want to know, besides the, there being a troll in the dungeon, where do they summon the troll from? How'd they get him into the dungeon? Is there, like, a bay door? <laughs> yeah. Like, this is something that they never kind of... Like, there's a whole lot of unexplained stuff there. For what it's worth, if you guys don't uh, watch Bloomy or Bane... Uh, living life the wrong way, my friends. Hmm. They're better streamers than I will ever be. Well, I don't know. I'm not going to have an AI system with mirrored redundancy to, to launch Skynet with, with my streaming. Listen, if Reggie opts to launch Skynet, that's on Reggie. All right? Essentially, I'm just going to make like a like a buffer for the video to come into and then get processed and then another buffer for after it's processed to go out. And upon coming in, it'll just be mirrored. Something like 27 seconds, where it's like an odd number. <laughs> so you're not like, ah, feel. <laughs> yeah, it'll throw people off the pattern. Like 23 seconds, maybe. Just long enough that you're not like, hey, wait a second, he's copying. Not so long that I can't, like, do up motions myself. Where the. <laughs> Gods, you set a randomizer for the AI or for the uh, for the VTubers. Well, that's and that's the other thing. You can control VTubers with like hotkeys, so I can just get like a like a stream deck or something and just control my yeah. VTuber using that or a numpad because I don't have a numpad on my keyboard. Jesus Christ! The light actually fuck it. I don't know. Okay, at that point, are you launching Skynet or the Matrix? Neither. I'm I'm making a virtual pet. Okay. It's it's a, just a 
like an online Tamagotchi. I was gonna say, everybody else is like Tamagotchi. You're like the, the mirror. Digimon. Learns AI and. Totally takes over the world. I mean, what? Choker can get choked, bitch. I have triumphed. This is a triumph. Yeah. Good to see. You're only five dollars off of Rogue Legacy too. That's. I know. If it was more. I don't it. Yeah. Like, I know that I'm gonna get gameplay out of it. I know I'm going to enjoy it, but yeah, twenty bucks still seems a little, little much for it. What sucks is I have a gift card right here. That I I could probably do that with. Yeah. But it would behoove me to have oh, someone right. give me the money off of my card, my PayPal, and then get the ten percent off on that. Or the the ten the ten percent back or one percent back or whatever. My PayPal card gives me the monies. I only need one more thing to complete chapter four. He's gatekeeping. Cost me almost a million gold to do. Uh, dude, no, but don't. I'm uh, sorry, brain. Fucking goddamn bullshit. Don't use a legendary. Why? Unless you specifically want to sink it into that exact legendary. I am for the so time being. Use a rare item. Use a yellow. Significantly cheaper. The time being, I was going to. Yeah. Hey, there we go. It actually gave it to me this time. Enlist. Yay, I got the new pet. And there was much rejoicing. So I can put away, uh, old growth and take out what is your name <laughs> did you just call it your chalupa oh my child oh what I is can't. your name child there he is oh blaine's bear blaine was a man of discerning taste who kept his this bear as a pet he soon discovered it had a taste for human brains and now it has found its way to you oh oh boy there we go. Hold on. I'll show you guys something. Once I'm done that, I'm going to open up the other game. But. Back to what you said. Did I see a piece of this? So this is a real game an actual game that you could buy yeah that right there sums up the game entirely called naughty bear Made a Dead by Daylight cameo? What? Oh, a naughty birthday. I believe my food is about to be here. Yum. No worries, save time. The goal on Naughty Bear was to scare and kill all the other bears. What? 
Merci. Plus, there's an update. Why would you do this? Xbox, she's got updated. Check it out. All right, I got my my bag o snacks, All right. and uh, I think I'm actually gonna hop out of Discord to stuff my face. So, All right. so uh, Keep yeah. my work going. I appreciate it, and uh, definitely check this game out. Um, because there's there's been some petitions to try to get it pushed to PC, and when you see scenes like that. You shoving a police bear's like burning a teddy bear, shoving a, a SWAT bear's head in the toilet. Seems pleasant. Well, it's a stealth game. Like you're supposed to hop out and scare them until they go insane and uh, unstuff themselves, or you go unstuff them. <laughs> just the phrasing there is just absolutely beautiful. You defluff uh, them. Yes. All right. All right. Well, I'll work. I'm going to get my food on. See you. One second. saying work is starting in just a minute that was kind of convenient timing let's see who's on i would love if you guys would stay for this raid find someone that i know you guys will love there Bander. Yeah, Bander. Flags is already off? Alright. Bander is a friend of stream. He's uh, part of the Wags crew. Uh, good dude. Just a great dude. Uh, from the underside of our lovely planet. So, yeah. You guys have any... If you guys have any requests, criticisms, complaints, feel free to let me know. I want to hear them. I'm going to be back tonight playing some more games, probably some Valheim, probably some Halo, probably some whatever the hell the people are playing, which I think is going to be uh, Overwatch. Keep being awesome. Stay beautiful. I will see you lovely people tonight. Thank you again for coming out. Thank you again to Bloomy and Bane for the raids. I appreciate you. Um, Zemeti for the follow. I love all of you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you.